Saturdays at seven, Sundays at four. Let's play Morrowind. Where's your uniform? I know it's not seven yet, Pigeon. That's why I'm sat here doing nothing, just staring at the game, waiting for it to get to seven. I could start. We could start right now. The stream is ready. But I am a stickler for punctuation, so we will sit here and wait the next seven minutes and 20 seconds. Josh, because of you, I'm playing Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition, and it's killing me every step. That's what Baldur's Gate's about. You make some underpowered characters, you die, you learn the game, you restart, you make an overpowered fighter mage thief, and you solo the game. Have I cuddled my dog today? What a silly question. I was literally just cuddling up in bed, napping with the dogs until I remembered I had a stream to do. Saturdays at 7. I am nothing if not semi-consistent. That's my superpower. Just a level of semi-consistency. Not too much, just semi-consistent. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It's Saturday. Let's play Morrowind. Let's do a little bit of Blood Moon. Let's get back into it. Oh no, the green screen's not aligned. Just there. The Hang on. Give me a second. He's going more across this way. I was not prepared for this stream. The green screen needs to come slightly more. Do not look at the man behind the curtain. There we go. The stream is perfect. Do not worry about the technical limitations. Absolutely 100% perfect. No one even noticed. Nobody even knew. Absolutely perfect. Good evening, guys. How's everyone doing today? Oh, man. I, yeah, I've had a haircut. All right? It was needed. Let's be fair. It was needed. Thank, thank you. You appreciating the semi-slick cut going on? I'm hoping it looks better. Prepare to be whelmed. I'm confused. The poem seems wrong. It's 8 p.m. It's not 8 p.m. It's 7 p.m. It's 7 p.m. on the greatest place on earth, the country that invented time, England land. We invented that for you. Like I say, a couple of years ago, we went, this is silly. We all need to be on the same page at the same time. We also invented pages. Therefore, we had, to, and we invented drawing boards, which was good because before that, when an idea failed, we had nothing to go back to. So we thought that that was a consistent thing that we needed. That was an integrity change, if anything. Guys, I've got some... I've got some news for you. I would say it's big news, but let's be real. It's not big news in the, you know, scale of news that happens every day. It's probably relatively minor news. It's a, a streamer has teamed up with a company. That's not really important news for anyone, is it? Like if you were to walk out onto the average street and say, Yo! What do you think of Josh Drive Hayes? They'd look at you and they'd go, please stop asking me that question, Josh. You've asked me that several times. I'm never going to answer you. I don't know who you are. It's quite creepy that you're stalking me. Please go away. That's what they would say. Um, and then I would continue asking them until they watched me. That's how I get all of my viewers. So yeah, big things happening. Big things are happening. You have a part in the new Warhammer series being sidekick to Henry Cavill. No, no, no. Henry hasn't asked me personally yet if I would be involved in that. He's not yet uh, delivered me a handwritten letter saying, Josh... I require you to be my personal servitor, my thrall in this series. As soon as he does that, I'll say yes. But don't get, you're becoming a J mod. No, no, I don't hate myself enough for that. I've been a P mod for a long enough time. I've, I've served my time in the RuneScape trenches. No, uh, bigger than that. Only fans, not quite as big as that. Okay, we're going to get there. But in all seriousness, I do have something to show you. Uh, something very exciting. First of all, we are going to continue playing Blood Moon. I have lots of plans for Blood Moon. Uh, if you guys remember correctly, I've still got my amulet of jumping, which allows me to just fling myself. Oh god, I can't see a thing. There's too much fog. Uh, cast the amulet of falling and... Ah, we're in the sea. Cool, good start. Oh, we've jumped off the island. Fantastic. Let me just swim back to the island, because otherwise I'll be quite scared because I hate the open ocean. Amulet of Van Halen. Yeah, of course we called it the amulet of Van Halen. It casts jump. What else are you going to call an amulet that only casts jump? We've also got the Colovian Parachute, which is a tiny hat that casts Slowfall. You know, just in case we want to make sure we're okay with that. Might as well. But no, I've got a genuine bit of exciting news for you guys. Like, So I, I don't take sponsorships, just because I don't agree. I've got two rules when it comes to sponsorships. I actually did a long post on Patreon. If you're a supporter on Patreon, you've already seen this. But what happened was... I um, I put a long post on Patreon. I've got two rules when it comes to sponsorships. One, I must actually use the product. Like, if you come to me and say, hey, will you advertise this product? Do I actually use it? If I don't use it, the answer is no. I don't even care if it's good. If I don't use your product, the answer is no, straight away. Because that would be disingenuous of me. The other question is, do I think it's worth advertising? Because I could use a product, but not think it's got any value to the audience. That's what it is. But there is a product that I use and I think has value to you. And I can neither confirm nor deny that 
them sending me a load of waifu cups was partly responsible for me saying, you know what, gamer subs, you cheeky scamps, you little, you little rascals, you. Yeah, okay. Now everyone is joking in the chat saying, Josh, waifu cup when? Do you want the genuine answer? If this partnership goes well, months. It's just water, you know. I drank a lot earlier when I was in the gym, and I don't want to drink too much in one day, but I'll use the cup. But I would like all of you to appreciate the fact that I have also created a graphic specifically for this situation, this exact situation, because I knew, I knew at some point I would have to mention it on stream because they asked me to. They said, Josh, if you're going to team up with us and if you're going to take a code, code Josh for 10% off, you need to mention us at least once on the stream. That's a contractual obligation. So I created this graphic that I can now proudly play. I'd like you all to be incredibly proud of me. Because it actually took me hours to make that. Because I had no idea how to do it. Um, in case you had to wonder, I had to find the font. I had to find the kind of reflection graphic on the side of it. I had to type it in, add a green screen to it manually, uh, chroma key out the green, put it onto a video editing software, have it fade in, have it fade out, find the sound on YouTube, download that, add the sound to the background, it plays sound. So there you go, Gamer Sups. I'll say it again, but no, in all reality, um, you can... In fact, if someone types in to the chat, exclamation mark, drink, it should pop up with a hyperlink. There's no sound, don't worry. There we go. People are always like, Josh, what are you drinking? Drink Gamer Sups. You get 10% off with the code, Josh. Do you all feel successfully sold to? Now, do you all feel suitably shilled out? I hope you do. That was what I was going for. Have we had enough shilling? Can we go back to the game. All right, cool. You're all you're all salty. You're so capitalized. I like to start the stream with a good, healthy, healthy dose of capitalism. If I can't start the stream like that, why are we even starting it? All right, cool. You have ascended to level 19. You're really good, maybe the best, and that's why it's so hard to get better. But you just keep trying, because that's the way you are. You know what I appreciate with Morrowind level up kind of discussions is if you've been on this stream from the start you'll know that the level up discussions like some of them are really positive and you're like yeah and some of them are really abusive and offensive and they're like yeah you're old now you're old and weak you're gonna die that's what it is and i don't feel good with those ones but this one's pretty good this one's pretty positive i'm happy with this one i'm like yeah we got that. Okay, so I'm going to level up my agility, make myself a little speedy boy. Uh, maybe go with strength to carry some more stuff. We're at 97 strength. We are smacking stuff with this spear. And endurance is already 100. We're doing really well with that. That's pretty good. Now, people are asking in the chat, am I going to get my own Gamer Subs flavor? I would like that. I would very much like that. I, I think, and I've had this conversation with them, because to be fair, I actually spoke to someone pretty high up in the company, and they were pretty cool, pretty chill. Uh, they were like, yo, Josh, look, this is a big risk. We, we don't know if your audience is going to like it. I'm like, I don't care. I like it. Send me shit. And they said, okay, if this goes well, then we will look at getting you your own flavor. And I said, look, I want, I want like a sweaty vest flavor. That's what I want. If we can, this works well for like six months. We can have that chat. I can sit down with them and I can be like, yo, come on. This is, uh, the people want this. Make this happen. But no, a waifu cup and a flavor is definitely, definitely on the cards. Okay, what do we level up? Intelligence or willpower? I think I'm, I'm smart enough, but I can always use a bit more willpower. All right, now we can move around a bit faster. Do a bit more speed, zoomy stuff. If you've not been here for the Blood Moon expansion pack, allow me to explain. We are following the trials of... What was the dude's name? Trials of someone. Avar Stonesinger, that was the one. Remember? Remember that we... We read the epic of Avar Stonesinger. Long-time viewer, first-time chat. It was awesome to see fellow 30-somethings thrive. Yeah, fellow Solidarity, fellow 30-something. Uh, as Kingdom Hearts is now available on PC, will you play it on a Was It Any Good? The next Was It Any Good is Tomb Raider 2. And I've spent the entire week replaying Tomb Raider 2 because Tomb Raider 2 is really hard. Like, legit, very difficult to finish. 
Uh, thankfully, you can quick save whatever the hell you want. And the remaster of Tomb Raider 1, 2, and 3, actually very good. You know? Skipping Tomb Raider 1. I've already done Tomb Raider 1 on the um, on the Was It Good series. It was one of the most successful videos. But no, if you've actually played... If anyone has got the Tomb Raider remaster, again, not sponsored by those guys, but that's a legitimate, really good remaster. Uh, Tomb Raider 3 apparently is even harder. Um, still... You mean Uncharted. Okay, so I will play Uncharted at some point, but I'll get the Tomb Raider ones out of the way first, because that was my one of my first loves when it comes to games. Okay. Right, what have we got? We've the story of Avar Stonesinger. Now, what was the first stone that he went through? I think the first stone that he went through was the Water Stone, wasn't it? It was definitely the Water Stone first. I'm trying to follow the, the legend of Avar Stonesinger in the same order that we actually read it in. I don't think you need to, but I want to for the thematic use of it. J45, welcome to the stream. I've always wanted him to conquer for worst MMO. It's on the list. So the uh, the games that I get recommended or requested the most are Wakfu, Dofus, Conquer Online, Moo, and for some reason, World of Warcraft. But let's just be honest, WoW's not happening. I explained last stream, that is the panic button. That is the retirement button. That is the I need a million views right now button. And I don't need to press that yet. I'm, I'm okay just making, you know, my silly little videos for a while, making you guys a little bit, you know, a bit of jokes, a bit of japes going on, a little bit of, bit of cheeky banter, cheeky bants, jump in the bantmobile, drive to banterbury, you know, get bant and deck involved, that kind of stuff. But until then, I'm okay with everything. So the water stone first. Uh, where the heck is the water stone? We should have a map. Location of the stone. So the water stone is... Okay, so the west of the island. Cool. All the way on the west of the island, so basically over there. Uh, fastest way to get there is... I'm going to rest for now, see if this snowstorm will abate. It probably won't. So now we just jump. There we go. Amulet of Van Halen. Leap ourselves all the way over. Cast jump. Slow fall just before we crash down. And then we can continue leaping our way all across the island. Fast travel. We've basically invented fast travel. That's what we've done. It's I think it's the easiest way to make huge strides, quite literally, all the way across the island. We're halfway already. We're halfway, see. Deploy the parachute. The Colovian parachute on my head. That is what keeps me alive. There's a little it's a campfire over there. What's going on? I want to go and chat to these guys. Well, but it's going to happen in the future. Yeah, eventually it'll happen in the future when I run out of games to do. Oh, I see. Charged by a naked man. The traditional Blood Moon experience. He's got grief on him. We're taking it. Always take a naked man's alcohol. That is one of the 36 lessons of Vivek. I, I think it is. I never actually read them, but I'm, it probably is. Okay. Oh. Okay. Smugglers. See, these guys are actually a bit tough. Remember that last stream we got rid of basically all of our overpowered equipment. We threw it all away. Well, like, I don't need this. None of this is relevant, and it was making the game too easy. So we just threw away everything else. That's what we did. Yeah, he's uh, he's definitely wearing his budgie smugglers over there. He's definitely he that's he's a smuggler of budgies. That's what he is. The thirty-six sermons of Vivek. Look at these guys. They can't. They cannot handle a boat. So we've got rid of our overpowered items, but we're still we're still pretty damn powerful because this spear. This is gonna knock people down isn't it? It really, truly is. Boats are very difficult to ha Oh, apparently you can... Can you activate it? No, there's no, like... No, it's not a, a thing you can activate. But is there... Is there treasure hidden around here? Have the smugglers maybe dropped something off? Left something here? We do... We do love the spear. It's very true. We 100% do love the spear, though. It's, without a doubt, one of my favourite favorite weapons. Can't rest. Enemies are nearby. Let's just stab this boar a couple of times. We earned this spear. We earned it fair and square from Shiogorath. And I think it's important. The, tr the true treasure was the friends we made and the smugglers we killed along the way. So yeah, replaying Tomb Raider 2, that's going to be on the next Was It Good. Probably take me about a week to edit that. I'm in the process of writing the script and script writing. It, it truly does take a while because I write, I try and write as thoroughly as I possibly can. Ooh. The Joglier Barrow. 
can we pop inside the Jogalier Barrow? I don't think this is on our main quest, but I'm always, I'm always intrigued by just random other barrows. I always want to know what there is, you know? There might be something good. Oh, oh Draugr. Okay, so Draugr and Morrowind are really fast. Skyrim, obviously, these things are, are super slow, but Draug Draugr and Morrowind are actually very scary. These guys are super quick. Oh, hello. What have we found here? We found a fall of the Snow Prince. An account of the Battle of Mosring as transcribed by Lokheim, chronicler to the chieftain Ingeldar Whiteye. How long is it? Oh, I don't get to a 12 page story. It's, it's a good story. Just trust me. Believe me, it's a good story. Why do you pronounce words like fast and grass wrong? Would you rather I say fast and grass? That's how really posh people say. I'm fake posh. Oh, hello. The Spear of the Snow Prince. Cast when strikes. Weakness to frost, frost damage, disintegrate armor. That's a pretty good thing. Ancient steel greaves, ancient steel boots, a nice spear. Some pauldrons. Thank you for the donation. That's remarkably kind of you. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully everyone's having a lovely day. Can't see anything else that's like super rare and powerful there. It's very kind of you. Saturdays at seven, Sundays at four. Haircut so nice. Thank you. Henry Cavill would do it twice. Hey. Hey, if Henry Cavill wants to do it once, he needs to get his people in touch with my people. And by my people, I mean me. I don't have people. Just contact me. You can just email me. It's fine. At least he's not American. I thank my thank God every day for that. Are Skyrim Dragos older or just lazy? They got older. That's what it was. I don't know if this was meant to be like a special secret place in the game or if we need to come back for the Snow Prince later, but we know where they are. So we can pop back here if we ever need to. Maybe this is important in the future. We are your people. He has to go through all... You know what? Yeah, okay, cool. Twitch chat. You are my people. From now on, when I say to a business, speak to my people, they have to collectively bargain with all of you. Put together. I hope you... You understand what you're getting into when you agree to that. Why are you playing a game from 1960? Uh, first of all, it's from 2002. And secondly, because I am an older millennial, and this makes me feel safe, and this lets me revert back to childhood, and I get to ignore the kids with their, their Twig Tocks, and their dances, and their Insta Facebooks, whatever that kind of stuff they've got here. I get to ignore their, their griddies, I get to ignore their mewing, that kind of stuff, and I get to go back to simpler days, when leveling up was a really complicated affair, and you could just put on a yellow hat, and that was peak fashion. That was totally okay. That was good. That's what I do. We like to just go back to a simpler time. A time... A time before Skyrim. Because I'm an old Enoir. That's what I am. Safe times when everyone wasn't talking about glizzies. I still don't know what they are. I don't want to know. Don't explain. If you know in the chat, I... Respectfully, I just don't care. That's what it is. You can know, that's fine. You can keep that knowledge. It's esoteric, random knowledge. I don't need to know it. There's a, I've got a limited amount of brain power, and a lot of it is taken up with understanding Morrowind. I can't dedicate too much of it to understanding popular culture. I spent all of my brain power effectively learning culture from the kind of mid-2000s. That's, I'm still annoyed when memes don't come in four-panel rage comic form. That's what it is. That's how old I am. I'm still irritated when the troll face isn't used more. When the uh, troll science, that was my thing. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm kind of, you know, out of touch, but I'd have to browse funny junk. I'd have to browse I funny for that kind of stuff. I'd get all of my social stuff through Bebo or MySpace. The trollololol. Back when cracked.com was funny. That kind of stuff. Remember? Remember the good old days? Oh, this is okay. From now on, this stream is just old man waxes nostalgic about the old internet. You'd you'd log on, you'd read whatever was on Cracked, you'd update your Bebo to make it so as soon as someone that you knew joined, it would immediately play a song. Remember that? JD, thank you very much for the gifts. That's remarkably kind of you. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Now, I do have one concern, and that is, I should have a rolling banner that rolls on the bottom of the stream every 20 minutes to advertise gamer subs. 
I put that on there. I want to see if it works. I'm just, I'm, I'm eagerly watching the stream. Let me just double check that that's, that's definitely there. Because if it isn't, they would actually send a, a very dangerous uh, squad to my house. That's what they would send. Need to occasionally just make sure that's... Yeah, there we go. There it is. There we go. You've all been advertised at. Uh, in all seriousness, the best flavor, without a doubt, is either the soda pressed pear or the uh, blowhole blast. It just is. I don't make the rules. It just is. And you can use code Josh. I was very impressed that I got code Josh. Like, it's just a four... A four letter code. I was remarkably impressed with myself. Where is the water stone? Where are you? If I was a magical stone, where would I be? The problem is that it looks like all of the other stones. And all we have to go off is it's north of the river. That's pretty much it. Alright, so, like, the river, the river's there. And we kind of have to go north-ish of it. Right, let's go and find the magical water stone, wherever it may be. I think there's also meant to be a, a video overlay that plays if someone uses code Josh. That, uh, I haven't seen that happen yet, but it should do. I'm excited to see if that actually works. I have no idea if it does or doesn't. I didn't set any of this up. They, they, they did this. I just play Morrowind. Like I said, man, I just play Morrowind. Would you recommend playing the Elder Scrolls games in order? No, not at all. I would very much recommend that you start with either Morrowind, Skyrim, or Oblivion. The best way to look at it is if you imagine a sliding scale from heavy RPG with some action elements to heavy action game with some RPG elements, Morrowind is a heavy RPG with a little bit of action. Skyrim is a heavy action game with a little bit of RPG, and Oblivion is kind of in the middle. That's kind of in between. That's what it is. I wouldn't recommend you play the first one, just The Elder Scrolls, because honestly, it is... That has... It's Arena, isn't it? It's Elder Scrolls Arena, and then I think you've got Daggerfall. There was like a Battle Spire mid-game as well. I would... I don't think it's worth getting into that one first. Daggerfall has a Unity remake, which I've actually heard really good stuff about. And I downloaded it and played it, and it was really fun for a bit. So, uh, ah, that's a big water stone, definitely. So I will probably end up playing Daggerfall at some point. Will I play it on stream? No idea. It is a brutal, unforgiving game. Hey, we found the water stone! Fantastic! Your journal has been updated. Travel west to a small island off the coast and follow the swimmer to seek the water of life. Okay, so the swimmer, if I remember correctly, was a black hawker that we are looking for. Wish I had time to play either game anymore. That is one of the cruelest realities of life. People are like, when I'm older, will I have money to play games? And like, yeah, you will. You won't have the time or the energy. Yeah, that's the trade-off you don't realize. You don't realize that you're making that deal with the devil. Yeah, you'll have the money, you'll have the consoles. You won't have the time. You won't have the energy. Sometimes you won't even have the money either. And that's when you just... That's terrible in all ways. But no, in general, people are like, Oh my god, it's... I think I realized I had a problem when I've got board games still in their wrapper. Because I bought them because I played them like once at a friend's house and thought they were really fun. And so I bought them with this really dumb idea that I would have time to play them. The only problem with board games is that you need like four people to be able to play them. And... Hanging out with four people means you've got to find three other people that you actively like. Okay, so we're following the hawker. Follow the hawker. Now, I have got water breathing for two minutes. So I need to constantly cast this just so I don't drown. Josh, please just don't remind me of not having time to play games. It makes me want... I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but unfortunately, that is the reality of being an adult. When you are an adult what will happen is you will trade off your youth for all the things that you wanted to have when you were young, but you will also trade off the time to actually enjoy having them. That's, it's horrible. That's really horrible. Okay, let's follow this boy, this little, look at this boy here. Look at him. That's, when you say here comes the boy, that's him. That is actually the boy. All the budget went on the swimming animation. The hawker is a good boy as well. 
The Hawker is one of the best boys. Now, I'm going to keep casting Water Breathing because I don't want to drown. That would be bad. Don't hit me with truth like that. I didn't realize when I was young, but the saying youth is wasted on the young, oh, it's very, it's horribly true. I don't like it at all. Let's see what's around here. But no, youth is very much wasted on the young. This is my old man screams at clouds discussion for the day. Uh, I'm glad that you're all here for it. But without a doubt, you can all get off my yard after we've finished playing Morrowind. I recently started playing with a new group of guys. One went on a rant about... Oh, I see. Yeah, that rant. So, it's very difficult to find people that you don't hate. It really is a challenge. It's taken me a long time, and I think I've found, like, three people that I hang out with, and I'm like, yeah, you're cool. That's Old man screams at Cloud and then compliments Hawkers. That's just how I live my life. That's just the type of stream that we've got. I like the fish lips said so true, the first one you came into. The first thing you ever said was like, yeah, yeah, it's true. Okay, so we can all agree to hate the youths of today and agree that everything that was... Your journal has been updated. I'm guessing it's this cave down here it wants me to swim to. Very much dis... Oh, look at the swimming animation. We do indeed wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. In we go. Right, so we're looking for the waters of something. A gamer sups is on my screen. Yeah, it should be. See? It should be. That's because I have teamed up. And then when I take my gamer sips of my gamer sups, that was a line that I thought was good for the advertising, but the advertising people over at gamer sups said, Josh, whatever the hell you do, do not use that line. It is dire. It is terrible. Don't use it. It would be embarrassing to be associated with it. But you know what? No, I stand by it. You can agree all you want. I stand by it. And I'm going to use it more. They said if the... Uh, they said if the sponsorship and the partnership goes well, uh, they'll give me a waifu cup. Like, I'll be able to design one. And I mean, that's worth any amount of shilling. Let's be honest. Company comes over to you and says, Yo, we'll let you design a waifu cup. Fantastic. Yay capitalism. Let's do it. But what waifu cup? Don't know. Don't know. We'll decide that. Well, we'll think about that when it gets to it, but we will get there. Now, there should be a... Oh, skeleton. Hello, bony boy. Get some calcium. Uh, okay, what you got on here? Any games on your phone? Nordic Silver Claymore. Thousand value sword. Might need that in the future, seeing as I dropped all of my very valuable things. I don't know if you guys remembered that, but I... That was a really good idea at the time. And then... Have you any experience with their tea? Yeah, I've used their basic tea bags before. I thought they were fine. It's very hard to mess up a tea bag. I thought they were okay. That is going to be a... That's the waters of life. Your journal has been updated. We also found potion of water breathing and quality potion of swift swimming, which I assume you need to get back. I like how you could just soft lock yourself here if, uh, if any of that wasn't there. Okay, cool. I'm glad I chose the Argonian, because it's made this whole part of the game a hell of a lot easier. Now, can we put the lusty Argonian waifu on a cup? I think Bethesda would probably have a problem with that. I think Todd Howard personally comes to your house and steals all of your stuff, if you do that. So we might need to... That, I think, is probably a tad beyond my negotiating power. It is possible to listen to Josh about the reality of time versus money, but it's also possible to spend as little as possible while working, and then, yeah, you've got to find free time. You've got to find the enjoyable time somewhere. It's, and what I don't like, I've, what I very much don't like, is I don't like it when you see, normally it's like super successful people who are completely out of touch with reality, say, oh, you don't work all the time. You've got to be able to take some time for yourself. You've got to remember to find time. And I'm thinking, yeah, that's great. But some people need to work a hell of a lot because shit be expensive, yo. You know, bills, food, clothes, debt, stuff like that. It's got that vibe of, oh, just have mummy and daddy buy you a house. You know, why can't you just go to the bank and get more money? It's, I... I really, really, really try to never ever say something that would come across as, well, just be rich, just have money. It, it's so bloody annoying 
when people do that to anyone. Because everyone's life and, you know, experience and place is different. This has gone from a rant about children being annoying today with their weird TikToks to out-of-touch rich people. And I feel that's the kind of vibe that we very much sit on in this stream. That's the, that's the knife edge. Occasionally we go to complaining about stuff, and occasionally we go to complaining about other stuff. That's pretty much it. In between that, we tend to play Morrowind. Oh, Beast to Beast! Oh man, I watched one of your latest videos, actually. Um, the, the woman that was serving her, like, one-year-old donuts? Welcome to the stream, man. It's always good to see you. But that was insane. Is, is that not parody? For those of you guys who don't know, a Beast to Beast has a fantastic YouTube channel where he talks about his fitness journey, and the dude is a beast now. Like, the dude is jacked. Um, in fact, if you ever come around, man, I'm getting there, you know? I'm getting a hench now. I'm picking up the weights and putting them back down. But no, he's got this um, awesome kind of reaction style video where he watches really dumb TikToks and then critiques them, which I find very entertaining. But yeah, man, was that not... Seriously, was that not satire? That parody? At some point, that has got to be child abuse. It's ridiculous. Oh, okay, cool. What are we doing next? We have got the waters of life. That was the first thing. I have retrieved the water of life. I should return with them to the water stone. Would have been helpful if I had remembered where that is. Amulet of Van Helsing, go! Not Van Helsing, sorry, Van Halen. Van Helsing is the vampire dude. Let's just jump all the way over here. That bear is standing on its hind legs. Let's just... Oh, yep, yeah, you're a plague bear. You can die. Where was the water stone? All this... All this is not helping. All this bloody snow. Who'd have thought an ice island would be so gosh darn snowy? There you are, Mr. Waterstone. Come on. There we go. Let's just leap to you and then cast the parachute and land safely. Okay, so we have returned the waters of life to the water stone and we have given it the bubbles. Then we have stabbed a naked man, as is tradition in the game. Do we touch his staff? No, we don't. He is lying face down in the snow. That is asserting so much dominance. I, I actually feel a little bit inferior. Just standing next to him. I've been applying for jobs in game development. Well done. Good luck. Uh, I'm a fresh from my country and there are no game companies that make actual games, even if they are they hire experienced people. Oh yeah, that's one of those things like uh, entry level, five years experience needed. It's dumb, isn't it? It's really, really dumb. My question is, how do I enjoy working on things that I don't want to work on or find interesting or fun? Ah, the, the reality. Okay, cool. So, let's have this discussion. One, when you see, it's like that, that iceberg thing. When you see something that you want to do as a, as a job, as a living, you have to understand that that specific individual thing is probably an extremely small part of the overall process. If you want to be an actor, you will not be working in massive Hollywood productions immediately. Chances are you'll have to do some TV work. Maybe you'll have to do some advert work. You'll have to do a hell of a lot of role play work, which is when companies hire actors to pretend to be customers or medical kind of staff hire actors and tell them you have to have this exact issue and our doctors, our trainee doctors, are going to try and diagnose you. I have a lot of friends that make a lot of money doing that. They, I mean, every week they have to go into a hospital with a different illness and work with uh, trainee doctors to get diagnosed. You have to do a lot of crap jobs to find the one or two good jobs. I mean, put it this way. I had a friend, really good friend, a guy called Dean. He was in Game of Thrones for a while. He was uh, a character with some lines in Game of Thrones. Fantastic. That's pretty cool. That finished filming, within two or three weeks, he was holding a Pizza Hut sign on the corner of a street because there was no acting work and he needed money. So he went to do that. A few weeks after that, he was able to get cast in some kind of Anton Deck thing on TV and BBC in the UK. A few weeks after that, he was in Star Wars. He was one of the X-Wing pilots. And a few weeks after that, he was back bartending. And then a few weeks after that, I think now he's in, um, 
Broadchurch. It's like a TV drama thing over in the UK. But he's doing fine for himself. Anyway, that thing, that dude was grinding. You know, I knew the guy at university, and he was one of the few. And I met a couple of people at university, and some people just have this vibe of they're going to succeed. They're going to do really well. I don't know what they're going to do well at, but they're going to do really well. So, when I met, um, when I met Dean, I knew he was going to do really damn well. And he has done well for himself. But if you want to make video games, there will be a time where maybe you're making crap mobile phone games. And as much as I might not like those games, I respect that somebody has to make them. And you've got to put food on the table. You've got to pay your bills. You've got to, you know, get through life. That's okay. You've got to take those crap jobs. Maybe one day you'll be designing a quest for the next World of Warcraft. Maybe the next day you'll be designing a burger for a mobile phone gacha game. Who knows? And when you say, how do you enjoy every element of stuff that you don't want to do? Sometimes you don't need to enjoy it. You just need to do it and know that it's part of the process. I don't necessarily enjoy waking up early to go to the gym. It's not something that I wake up and I'm full of joy and I'm happy, but there is a there is a decision that you have to make where constant endless joy will not always gel with the goal that you want to have at the end of your life. I mean, as they say, comfort is the enemy of ambition. And when someone says, oh, I don't want to do that, I don't enjoy it, you might not enjoy hiking up a mountain. It might hurt. Your legs will burn. You will run out of food. You will be thirsty. It will not be a 100% full fun experience the whole time. But when you have completed it, there is a great feeling of achievement. There is a great positive feeling of, I have achieved. I've done that. And you feel good about yourself. And one of the things when you say, how do you enjoy doing the stuff that you don't want to do to get to the place you don't want to get to? You don't need to enjoy it. Don't sit there thinking, I'm not enjoying this. I, I should. No, no. Step back and go, look, I don't enjoy this. This is not fun. But... I am going to do it because this is part of the process in order to get there. You don't need to enjoy every part of the process. Sometimes you just have to understand that the end goal of the process is worth going through the shit to get to it. I feel accomplished never doing it again. Yeah, I mean, some people, they run a marathon. That, by the way, that skybox in the distance is gorgeous. Some people run a marathon. You think you feel good at the end of a marathon? Before you cross that finish line, you feel like crap. You cross it, then you feel good. Then you feel good. And I think one of the... And again, I'm going to sound like an old man boomer at this point, but tell me if you agree or not. One of the things that I see in a lot of students from, honestly, infants to primary school to secondary school, college, university, I see a lot of students give up if they don't like every part of a process. They want to be successful, but they often don't want to go through the process of the negative experiences that bring you to that success. I really hate that. I mean, I, I love my job as a YouTuber. I love my job as a Twitch streamer. This I am so incredibly grateful and privileged and happy that I get to do this. This is an absolute dream come true for me. It's fantastic. Do I like every single part of it? No, I hate editing so much. But I don't sit there and think, oh, I wish I just had a YouTube video ready. I sit there and think, right, time to edit. This is my job. This is what I go through. This is what we have to do. So yeah, patience is the key to it. Sometimes something will suck and you just have to keep pushing through until you get to the bit that you like. And people say to me, why don't you just hire an editor? No. I know exactly how I want my videos edited. I know the exact moment that I want them to cut to. Just hire an editor. Okay, that's fine. That's a fair thing to make. Consider this. I've just finished playing Tomb Raider 2. Tomb Raider 2 took me 18 hours to finish, taking notes while I play the game. I record every single second of my entire gameplay. When I say in my script, and then I found an item behind a box, I know exactly, roughly within that playthrough, where that moment is and I can cut to it within a couple of minutes. I know kind of roughly where to get to it. If I were to send that 18 hours of footage to an editor and say, hey, here's the voiceover, I haven't given you any timestamps because I don't take timestamps. I just remember when stuff happens. I would then expect an editor to sit and watch all 18 hours of footage and match it up with my voiceover. 
you're paying an editor by the hour. You're paying them for their time to sit and watch the footage. Then you're paying them for their time to edit. Then you're paying them for their time to render it and send it over to you. I would end up paying hundreds, potentially thousands, to an editor to do that when I can just sit and do it myself. Hey, the Gamersubs logo worked. See, it ran onto the stream. What a perfect way to end the rant. If you go to Gamersubs and use code Josh, you can get money off some powder. There we go. Capitalism. Yay. Yeah. Am I not a billionaire? I know. It's so unfair. I'm not. And I've stopped having avocado toast and everything. I've stopped having my five pounds a day coffee, which was very easy because I didn't have that anyway. I love that boom mentality. Oh, you children could afford houses if you stopped having your five pound a day coffee. Okay, cool. Let's uh, let's just do some quick maths and uh, check that. Five pound a day times, uh, let's say that you miss one or two in the year. So let's say 360. That's uh, 1,800 pounds. What's the average house price in the UK? That's about 200,000 pounds. And... You need roughly a 10% deposit when you purchase a house. That'd be about £20,000. So if you did stop having your £5 a day coffee and you saved £1,800 a year, you would have a down payment for a house in only 12 years. Not counting for inflation or any kind of, you know, increase or decrease in anything else. Fantastic. That's great. Guys, just have the coffee. I love that. I very much love that. It's like, you said to old people, what did I do? Oh, we, we saved up, did you? Oh, we paid our own way through university and college. How much did it cost? Oh, £300 a year, and I worked down at the local butchers for £10 an hour. All right, cool. Cool. The problem with people that don't understand how money works is that no matter how many graphs and charts you show them, nothing will be quite as important to them as their feelings. And they feel that you aren't working hard enough. Chances are you're probably working harder than almost any generation that came before in very, very taxing, very menial jobs. And this is not to downplay the achievements of any previous generation. It's saying that every single generation thinks the one that comes after it is lazy. They're not. And look, I love the advice of just go around to the, the shops, hand your CVs to them. Uh, that doesn't work. That's not worked for a hell of a long time. In fact, I had a rather vindicating moment with my mum a couple of years ago, because my mum very much gave me the advice of, oh yeah, just just walk into the shop, just hand in your CV, your firm handshake, talk to the manager, you get a job. And I had to explain to her, look, mum, I love you, but this is not how job hunting works anymore. It is all online. It is write a CV, it is upload it, it is go through their own stupid proprietary system where you write out everything on your CV again for some reason, and then upload your CV, just in case they want it twice, just to not be heard to, no, not be replied to. And then unfortunately, she lost her job, and had to go and go job hunting. And after a couple of months, she walked up to me and she said, I'm really sorry. I was wrong. I can't find the job at all. This is terrible. And I'm like, you know what? I don't want to, I'm not going to say I told you so, but I will help you fill out the online CVs. But there was a, a moment of vindication where I was like, you get it now. You get it. I mean, put it, <laughs> put it this way. My granddad has a stamp collection and he is priced up his stamp collection. He's tried to work out how much his stamp collection is worth. He's been pricing it from a book that is 23 years old, that contains all the prices for the stamps. 23 years ago. And I'm thinking, Grandad, God bless you, I love you. But no. This is not. We don't do this. Just, you are going to love Google amazing. My mum still has a printed out map in her car, like an atlas. One of those, you know, UK driving atlases from like 1996. It's very lucky that nothing has been built in the UK since 1996, because if it had been, that would be wrong. Get that lady a phone. She's got one. She just refuses to use the GPS. She's like, 
that. Well, what if it's wrong? I'm like, no, you're spot on. You're absolutely correct. It's very, very likely that the you know world class military technology is incorrect, whereas your 30 year old printed out map in the footwell of your car that I've stamped on since I was a child, that's probably more accurate. Let's trust that instead. Yeah. Directions printed out from MapQuest. That's how old I am. This is the airship. Remember the dude that wanted the amulet of sleep with anyone? That we gave it to him. Uh, this is the airship that he was looking for. I wonder if we can take anything from it. That's cool. You don't often see stuff moving in Morrowind. All right. Oh, hello. Hello, Manabi. A little steel dagger. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna rob you. The the indignity. You don't need that. Okay. Let's see if we can work out what's happened with with this exact uh, thing going on here. We've got an airship crash. We've got stuff scattered everywhere. I don't need those coins. And uh, we have a book. Airship Captain's Journal. Journal of Captain Roberto Jodoin, Commander, Beauchamp Expedition. Are we... You could at least bury them. No, no. The snow owns them now. What kind of voice does an airship captain need? Are we going for like a good old tally-ho British captain kind of thing? Entry one. Today is the day. Beauchamp's airship seems sturdy enough, and the crew is ready to set sail. We'll travel north-northwest until we reach the island of Solstheim. According to Beauchamp, the Hrothman's Bane wolf formation is somewhere near the Mose Ring Mountains. The barrow we're set to explore is located at the Wolf's Eye. We'll get Beauchamp's precious magic item back and be back at the Guild of Mages in a few days. What could possibly go wrong? Entry four. Damn conjurers, sorcerers, inventors, scientists, and all their academic ilk. Beauchamp promised me his airship would hold together. Promised me it could be sailed, just like a seabound craft. All lies. This monstrosity is barely holding together. We've been trailing bits and pieces of it ever since we left Old Rune. Just an hour ago, we lost one of the Dwemer cogs from the main engine. If this were a frigate or sloop, it'd be holding together just fine. But alas, trying to control an airship is like setting to sea in a barrel with a spoon for an oar. Entry six. Bland ho! Entry seven. It's normal for a crew member to get edgy, but the Argonian finally went berserk. I told him repeatedly before we left Old Rune that an airship sails in the sky, not on the water. He told me he understood, but his fear of heights must have finally taken sway. In a frenzied state, he grabbed the wheel and almost forced us into the sea. I had no choice but to run him through. Swims in Swells was his name, and a good crew member he was before this unfortunate incident. Would have preferred a burial at sea, but considering our current situation, we had no choice but to toss his body overboard. We aimed for the ocean, but by that time the airship had drifted over Solstheim. Alas, I fear we missed, and his corpse landed somewhere on the southeastern shore. I love it. I love the idea we can probably go and find this. Entry 9. We've located Hrothman's Bane. At least Beauchamp was right about something. The wolf for me. We've kind of gone into, um... <laughs> what was the character from Blackadder? We've kind of gone into... Oh, I, the character's name has immediately escaped me. The Not Melchit. Melchit was the other one. Uh, not Brian Blessed. The... You're, it wasn't Melchit. Melchit was the... Flashheart, that was it. We've gone to Lord Flashheart. We're continuing it. Entry 9. We've located Rothman's Bane. At least Beauchamp was right about something. The wolf formation runs from west to east, with the head and the eye toward the eastern end. We'll look for a place to set down, and then explore Rothman's Barrow, assuming that is where Beauchamp said it would be. I must also note that the going is slower than I'd like. There's a fell chill in the air, and I don't trust the dark clouds that have gathered over the mountains. Entry 11. We have been assailed by a blizzard, the likes of which I have never seen. I feared a storm, but ne could never have imagined anything like this. Beauchamp's contraption is coming apart at the seams, and I don't think we can hold altitude. There's nowhere to land, but land we must. Are you saying Sean Connery? <laughs> he was a pilot in Blackadder Goes Forth. He was. Getting Matt Berry vibes right now. <laughs> Matt Berry. Entry 12. Dead. All of them dead. Most of the crew were killed instantly when the airship went down. The few that made it soon succumbed to the cold. I alone survived. Need to make a camp. Snow is blocking my way into the ship's hold. I go to the barrow in the morning. I can hardly write. 
My hands are nearly frozen. Entry 13. So cold. So hungry. Madness taking me. I can feel it. I see his eyes. Night eyes. Wolf eyes. Hear them. So hungry. Eye of the wolf coming. White wolf. So go. And then the captain died. Are we reading the next in Sean Connery? Have I ever thought about dubbing? I don't think I'd be able to do a better job than uh, Ghost Stories did with potentially the greatest dub I have ever seen. Any of you seen Ghost Stories? <laughs> His last castle arg. Right, let's see what's on the ship, if we can loot anything from it. I don't know if you can get up to it, but uh, if only we could jump really high. Oh, that's, that, that's too high. Okay, we, we didn't need to jump quite this high. Aim for the ship. We made it. Oh, yeah. What's in here? No, we will. I will voice over every character and book that I can find. That's just a thing that we do. All right, we've got a little airship going on here, a little engine. Nothing, nothing specific. Can we not go in to the airship? Cyrodiilic brandy. We could take that and get a little bit drunk, a little bit tipsy, a little bit squiffy. That's the British way of saying it. After nearly a year of patronage, I finally catch a live stream. Welcome. Thank you for supporting for a year. I hope you're having a lovely time. Let's play some Morrowind together. That's my plan. All right, let's go. Which way are we going? Uh, let's just have a quick check. I found the wreckage of the crashed airship and read the journal of its captain. It seems the crew had located Throthman's Barrow. I need to get the captain's journal back to Louis Bouchamp outside Old Rune. It will prove to him what happened. Oh, do I? I need to take this back to Louis Bouchamp, do I? I didn't even take it. You know what? Let's do that. Let's mark here and then just return to here after doing this. So, mark, mark here. We can then go and give this thing back. Amulet of Divine Intervention takes us here. How you doing, soldier? You good? Where's your uniform? Just wanted one day. One gosh darn day. Without it. Just one. That's all I wanted. Overshot the boat slightly. Overshot the boat slightly. We're going to go this way. Did he just dab? He may have dabbed on me. But yeah, for those of you who weren't here earlier, I am now in partnership with the Gamer Drink Gamer Sops. You can drink it. That was my application to their marketing team. I don't think they appreciated it, but, I mean, I stand by it. It's direct, it's simple, explains exactly what it does. It's just powdered drink that tastes nice that you put in water. There you go. Good stuff. All I ask for is a pair of boots. How hard could it be? It, it doesn't need to be that hard, mate. We'll go back. Hang on. Travel to Cool. And from Cool, I can travel to Old Rune. The Silt Strider, I believe, is over there. So let's just jump to it. Where's the Silt Strider? If I were a Silt Strider, where would I be? There! Is that you? Yeah, there we are. That's the Silt Strider. Let's go this way. Do you have a favourite flavour? So currently I'm drinking through the... Uh, what's it called? The Guacamole Gamer Fart. Because it's just strawberry and peach flavour, which is really nice. Uh, Blowhole Blast. And they also sent us some of the Soda Pressed Despair. Which is lovely. Uh, most of it, though, is quite... I tend to drink the caffeine stuff before I go for a workout, and it works for me pretty well. Right, let's go to Old Rune, and they also sent me a lot of waifu cups, which, that was the way to my heart, to be fair. When that happened, I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll listen. I'll sit down, we'll have a chat. Was that the actual name? Yes, it was. It was, straight up. You can use code JOSH for 10% off. Everything. You don't even need to go through my link to use it. It just works. You know? It just works. Todd Howard heard that and he's just like, what? We're talking about me? When do we get a Josh Strife Waifu Cup? If the integration with them is successful enough, a couple of months. Legit. Hey, dude. I must say, I find you most interesting right now. Please, go ahead. Lusty, you're here. Well, well I mean, you've returned. Have you, is that, do, do you know what has happened to my airship? I found the wreckage of the airship, crashed into the mountains on Solstheim. Sadly, there were no survivors. I have recovered the captain's journal for you. It explains everything. The airship crashed. Uh, crashed, smashed, was dashed into the mountains. Horrible. 
Horrible, such a loss of life and time and money and, oh yes, human life too. Mustn't forget the crew, people, after all. Well, I am thankful, grateful, really, that you've come to me with um, this information. 500 gold has been added to your inventory. Thank you, mate. I'm glad that you were really sad that everyone that you hired has died, but enjoy the mad... Enjoy the magic, you know, amulet of being able to bang people. And now I return to my quest. Thank you for the poem. You are welcome for the poem. You are straight up welcome. He doesn't... Almalexia is wearing our uniform. No, no, Almalexia should be praised. I'm going to sleep in the bed with the captain. I'm going to use him as a blanket. And my rest has been interrupted by a bear. Not the... Not the interruption I was hoping for. Right, let's get back to what we were doing. Cool. I now need two. So I've done the gift of water. What was next on the special story of Avar Stonesinger? We don't need to do it in order, but I am going to. Where is Almalexia and what did I do to her? Don't ask questions. I was going to follow that up with that you don't want to know the answer to, but no. No, that, that's a long enough sentence. Don't ask questions. Almalexia is where she needs to be. Straight up. What did I play T... I'm guessing you mean TR2. I played it on PC. Oh yeah, so Jad, the um, doors. Almalexia and doors. I discovered that you can cheese with them. She went to the farm upstate. She went to... She crossed the Rainbow Bridge. That's what happens. No questions. I was watching RuneFest 2010 and I think I saw you at 22 seconds with a red party hat. Can you confirm? I don't even need to watch that video. I know exactly which video you've linked me and I can confirm that is me. So, I went to RuneFest 2010 in a red party hat, uh, dressed up in cardboard bandos armor that I had made. I was one of the few people there cosplaying. And I went to RuneFest 2011, dressed up in, again, cardboard and duct tape, so all I had at the time to make stuff. Red primal armor from the dungeoneering skill. Not a minigame, skill. And I made the, the red primal armor... And my, my partner at the time was dressed up, I believe, as one of the Spirit Blue Mages. So yeah, if you were at RuneFest 2011 and you saw a guy walking around dressed as a red primal melee warrior, that was me. Wish I had the time for OSRS nowadays. It will eat your time away. I mean, RuneFest has been announced for this year again, and I would very much like to go. I would... I mean, I'll have to talk to Jagex. I'll get their people to talk to my people. And by that, I mean, I'll just talk to some of my friends who are J-Mods. Um, like, I, I've i got a, a J-Mod friend. I say friend. We were friends recently, until we played Age of Empires 2 together. And I would like to remind him, Mod Shogun, that trebuchets are bullshit. Stop it. And I'm building walls here. I'm building up a military, building a little militia force. And you're like, Haha, look at my range. Obviously, they can outrange towers. I know that's a very personal rant, but very strong feelings about this. I will send him this exact clip. I'm sure Visa will clip it at some point. But no, Shogun and I, uh, not only do we go way back, uh, I now have nothing but contempt for him using the incredibly unfair tactic. Actually, it was quite a funny game. Uh, Mr. Greggles, another friend of mine, myself and Mr. Greggles teamed up against Mod Shogun on Age of Empires 2, and we both still lost. So um, he's quite good at the game. Okay, what are we doing? Let's go and uh, work out the next thing that we're going to. Josh, did you get a haircut? I did. Is Strife my middle name? Nope, it, I just really like Final Fantasy VII. Why, did I why didn't I destroy the trebuchet? Because I built walls. I built walls to protect myself in my own base, and then I realised that I'd been hoisted on my own petard because... I'd like you all to appreciate that I just used the phrase hoisted on my own petard correctly. That I realised I couldn't actually get any attackers to the trebuchets to destroy them. They just sat there on the other side of the wall throwing stupid flaming boulders at my base and blowing everything up. Yeah, I... Uh I was unhappy with that. Josh, I really like FF7. Hey, it's a big name. Yeah, thank you. That's what it was. Okay, let's have a quick check. The Gift of Water. We've got that already. After the Gift of Water, we go to the Earth Stone. Right. Water followed by Earth. Earth Stone is actually south of the Water Stone. Sweet. So, kind of that direction. Jump. Is this the... 
smack into the big stone. Is it this one? It might be. We we might have found it pretty quickly. And I'd be... I don't think we have. Let's keep jumping until we see what looks like a big stone. It's difficult because the island is covered in big stones. But the earth stone is... I think it's a bit further south than where we are now. Yeah, it's actually quite far. So, like, we're talking down there kind of thing. So we'll just keep jumping. Is that a, a family of smugglers just hanging out? Because if it is, I'm going to land just right behind them. You should have picked an easier opponent. <laughs> they, they took a moment. They took a minute to work out what was happening, and then they were like, Oh! Oh, gotcha. Now we can... Oh, God, they're rangers. It's okay. I just need to stun lock one of them, and then we're good to go. What, what were you? Reavers. Interesting. Short... You know, I don't have a bow, so I should probably take a bow. That might be useful for something. I don't know if you've got a good bow. It's just a short bow, but some arrows. Yeah, just in case. We'll take some arrows. It would probably be useful to have some kind of ranged attack. At the minute, I don't have anything, so... Reavers just hanging out. They've left the Firefly universe. It's actually called a cargo of smugglers. Joshua has a new haircut. I like the old one better. Damn. I can go back and they can put it back on. I can just go back to the hairdressers and be like, yo, this is not working. Sort it out. Put it back on. Give it give it me back. I love to DM and play D&D since chat is saying stuff about D&D. I love Dungeons & Dragons very, very much. I really do. I Well, no, I enjoy tabletop roleplay. Uh, D&D just happens to be the most famous name within tabletop roleplay. But I can take other versions. Other, you know, things are available. Mainly Pathfinder. Is this the Earthstone? It is! Your journal has been updated. Travel northeast to the Cave of Hidden Music and learn the Song of the Earth. Northeast is this way. I'm going to assume the Cave of Hidden Music is this cave literally right here. That would be very convenient. It's not. That's the Blood Skull Barrow. Right. Cave of Hidden Music to the northeast. The problem is you've got no idea, like, how northeast that is. It, it could be a long northeast, like, really far away. I don't know. And we're not going north by southeast. It's not happening. Northeast is this way. What I am going to do is use my amazing jumping abilities to find out where the cave might be. There's a cave over there. There's a cave over there. Let's find out. Let's let's jump to where we might be able to get into a cave. Northeast. Oh, hello. What's that cave just there? That's a, that's a cavey looking cave. Is that on the map? Is it a local map? We haven't been here before. This could be the one. It's not the one. That's Kjolvir's dwelling. We We don't need that. Although, why don't we pop in and say hi to Kjolvir? Watches two seconds of the stream. Well, bye guys, gotta play Morrowind again. That is the danger of watching these old retro games. It's like Deus Ex. If you say it, someone will reinstall it. Hey, how's it going? My husband is mine. Do you understand me? Mine. That harlot, Erna, will pay. Oh my god, she will. Erna, the, the harlot. The absolute hussy. Oh, God, don't we hate her? Don't we hate Erna? That is such an Erna thing to do. Stealing a woman's man. I always found that weird, because, like, you can't own... You don't own your partner. They can't be stolen, but that that's just how it... That's that's what's happened, Erna. Guys, can I show something to you that I'm really proud of? Like, it's a, a graphic that I made. If you were here at the very start of the stream, you've seen this, but I'm proud of this. So when I was talking to the Gamersops people, they said to me, Josh... You are contractually obligated to mention gamer subs at least once on a stream. Once in six hours. But you must do it. So when I do it, I've created this that I'm going to send them. You ready? Here we go. I'm very proud of that. Right, let's get back to this hussy earner. Deal with her. Thank you. That is a legally binding graphic, right there. 
If anyone from the Game of Subs team is watching, yeah, you can't see. Immunity frames. Dodge rolled that. It's beautiful like your new haircut. Give that man VIP. Fantastic. Thank you very much. I don't know what Game of Subs is. It's just a powdered energy drink with some nootropics in it that I like the flavor of. They also sell cups that have anime girls on them, which is, you know, that's great. And I own far too many, don't judge me. Okay, Kjolvir, tell me about Erna. Well met, Lusty. So you're a visitor to our fair island, hmm? There's a certain look about you, friend. You're no stranger to death or killing. I have some dark business you may be able to help me with. Oh, uh, you color me intrigued. My husband, Brander, has been running around behind my back with a harlot named Erna the Quiet. I love my husband. He's my entire world, and that world isn't big enough for both Erna and me. I want Erna dead, but I'm no killer. Will you help me in this errand lusty? You'll be well compensated, of course. I mean, it kind of takes two to tango with this one. You know? It does take two to tango. It takes three to play refereed tango. It takes four to play a full game of Scalectrix. It takes five to play a game of the Resistance. It takes six to play a three-on-three -three game of Supreme Commander. But I will... Okay, you know, do we just kill this random... I mean, I'm no assassin, because I've not killed anyone apart from the demigoddess that we killed. Yeah. It takes six to do a Destiny 2 raid. It takes one to cast Armageddon. Pretty sure it takes... Actually, it takes four, two of which must be white to cast that. Or is that Wrath of God? Didn't you kill a monarch? Potato, potato, my friend. He was no true king. You know, he... He didn't... If he was really the king, God would have saved him didn't. I also killed God. So, I guess they weren't God either. You know what? That's fine. Uh, husband, Brandy has been running around with a harlot named Erna the Quiet. I'll do it. I need the coins. Excellent. I knew I was right about you, Lusty. Erna lives in the Skarl village. You can probably find her at her house. Kill the tramp and bring me back her ring as proof. You'll be rewarded and I'll have my Brander all to myself. All right, cool. I'm going to let your husband know that you are crazy. And, oh no. Hat buddies. I think, unfortunately, the sisterhood of the hat means that we now need to work together. I can't not. Could you just uh, look away from a second while I open this chest? I want to, I want to, I'm going to be real. I want to rob you, but I don't have my amulet of be invisible anymore. So this is much harder to do. Steal her bed. <laughs> well, we'll discuss what we do afterwards, but yeah, maybe going to talk to Erna the Quiet about those guys. Now, where's the... Where is... We've gone northeast. We still need to find... What is that? Hello? Are you... Are you... Oh, no, you're an enemy. Okay. You are, however... Oh, and there's a bear as well. Been attacked by a redhead and a bear. It's like that dream again. What have we got? Oh, you're a freeze hag. Okay. Yeah, I don't need your daggers. Or your soul gem. We don't need that. I do need to find out where the hell... Oh, that could be it. That looks like uh, a bit of an underground thing. It could either be there or over there. Let's go and find out. I'm going to find this cave of hidden song. I think I've been here before, though. I don't think this is it. That's the Jonglier Barrow. Oh, there we go. Cave of Hidden Music. Sweet. It's over here. Redhead and a Bear. Sounds like a Pixar movie. I, was, I don't think Pixar would go for the age rating it would need. Did that bear just shout, how does it feel to know death is near? Oh, no, she did. It's a freeze hag again. The freeze hags are quite dangerous because they can summon ghosts. However, I have a good spear. God damn, though, my health is low currently. I actually got taken to quite low health just then. I've got to use my special Eidolon's Ward Shield to boost it back up. Redhead and the Bear is just the film Brave. I hate how right you are about that. Uh, just because it's true doesn't mean that it's right. 
Here we go. Cave of Hidden Music. Let's see what I can find. Got to bring back... Bring back the music. Thank you, in many ways, for the music. The songs I'm singing. Incredibly fast Draugr. Spear has increased to 91. God damn, this... Oh, this Draugr is brutal. Holy hell. These guys have way more health. It's like a special Draugr. It's... Oh no, just a regular... Regular old Draugr. So that chest is locked. I'm gonna open it. Use my special skeleton key, but better. Spell. We failed at casting it. Sleep until healed. Cast it again. Sleep until healed. Cast it again. Sleep until healed. Cast it again. First try. I wasn't worried. You may have been. I wasn't. I panicked way more in Morrowind versus the Draugr compared to Skyrim. Oh, without a doubt. The enemies in Morrowind are scary. Enemies in Skyrim are just irritating. Right, what's in here? Oh, hello. That's that's some good stuff. What have we got? Armorer's hammer, always useful. I can fix some things. Steel dart. Steel shard mauler. Frost damage. War axe of wounds. Drain health on target. Could be good, but only 1 to 10. Uh, we've got some... That, they're not actually that great. There's some fire damage. There's some poison stuff. Ancestor's ring. Summon ancestral ghost for 60 seconds on self. Now that... That could be quite useful. We can summon a bit of a ghost. I mean, we can summon all of a ghost. For a bit. Let's just see what happens with that. Ancestral ring. And it's going to be near the top because of the fact that it's... Oh, we can get a little spooky boy. All right, Adventures of Lusty and the Spooky Boy. Let's do it. We need some kind of theme song for the Adventures of Lusty and Mr. Spoops. Let's just stab this. Draugr. Come on, Spooky Boy. Help me out, Mr. Spoops. Okay, he casts Fireball that has some kind of AoE. You can't talk to the ghost. Hey Josh, for a couple of years now I thought that RPGs could massively improve if they'd stopped using leveling or gear progression as the main gameplay core. Did you ever try to come up with your own progression system or core mechanic? Yeah, of course. As a child I invented loads of board games and card games and tried to make video games. So, here's something that I think is interesting. And I kind of, I put this together in my own mind many years ago and it's only recently been confirmed. Some people say to me what was the... What's the best way to start a YouTube channel? What's the best way to make a video game? What's the best way to write a book? What's the best way to do this? People ask all the time for advice about the best way to do stuff. You know, how do you fix this problem? How do you fix this system? Do you know what I've noticed about the kind of people that end up making things? They're really weird. They're also weirdly obsessed with doing stuff. I was watching some of H Bomber Guy's videos recently, and as a kid, he would make a load of small short skit videos and then i was watching about um, adam bon from adventure quest and as a kid he would make a load of small flash games even uh jazza jazza who is the the artist on youtube he worked on flash games for absolutely ages newgrounds.com and stuff like that i've noticed that the kind of people that end up in creative industries were weird kids because they just obsessively did something they were passionate about. So if you say, you know, have I created my own thing? Yeah, when I was a kid, I would sit for hours on the floor with bits of paper, drawing, um, making my own card games, writing rules for Warhammer because I couldn't afford the books at the time. And then I would uh, do all of this kind of creative stuff. I've still got a box somewhere of a game that I made and I tried to, I couldn't afford to, you know, plasti mold or go to a company to print off the things. So I ended up making... I'll see if I can find it. I ended up making character bits from a bit of cardboard and then a an office clip glued to a 2p coin that I could find. So when you say, you know, have I thought about systems to overcome problems? Yeah, because when you meet creative people, they were weird people. Weird people are great. Weird people make stuff. It's not always successful stuff, but my God, do they make it. So if you ever think... You know, what's the 
what's the key, the secret to being successful on YouTube, successful on Twitch, successful in the film industry? You've got to be okay with being weird. And you've got to be so passionately obsessed with stuff that you do it, and this is a very, very big thing, you do it even if other people discourage you from it. Has anyone in the chat, and be honest, because it's happened to a lot of people I know, have any of you ever had a real passion and someone has done something which kills that passion for you? Whether you love, you know, painting, drawing, writing, watching a certain film, watching a book, art, normally it's an art thing, and someone that you trust or love or hate has done something and you've gone, you know what, I'm not doing that anymore. One of the horrible realities is you've got to find a passion that you are so obsessed with that even if everyone was against you doing it, you'd still do it because it brings you innate interior joy. That's what it is. I still do it. I mean, let me think of uh, I think of some stupid stuff. Stupid stuff that I would do. Okay, so like when I was when I was a kid in. Uh, primary school and high school in England, we had these like plastic cups that you would get, uh, really weak, flimsy plastic with a drink already in it, and then like a, a kind of plastic foil top, like a circle top, and you would get given a crappy little orange straw, and you would have to stab it into the top and drink the drink. Some of you will know the drink that I'm going on about. Well, there was a thing in our school, like uh, you had to be a cool kid to do it, but instead of stabbing a straw through the top, you would turn the cup over and you would use your teeth and you would bite the bottom of it off just to make like a little hole and then you would just stand there with it upside down and you would drink from the little hole that you'd bitten into the cup, okay? I still do that. Like, I don't care who I'm with. I don't care if it's the CEO of a company. I don't care if it's a friend. I don't care if it's like a convention thing. I get one of those little tip-top cups. Thank you for putting the name in the chat. I'm drinking it like that because that's how I did it and that brings me a weird innate sense of personal joy. Keep doing that. If someone ever comes up to me and goes, that's stupid, stop doing that. All right, cool. That's your, that's your opinion. I respect that. I'm still going to keep doing it. If someone kills your passion, I know that we've gone on from, you know, your, your original question was, have I tried to design systems that would solve the problem of RPGs requiring vertical leveling instead of horizontal leveling? Yes, but I've tried to solve every single creative problem because it brings me an incredible sense of joy to try to solve problems, to be creative, even if it's not necessarily super productive. That's what I would do anyway. So if any of you want to get into the creative industry, if you want to make a game, people come to me and say, oh, how do I write a book? It's, it's very simple. You sit down, think of a story, and then try to arrange words that will tell somebody else that story. That's it. And people will say to me, Oh, but I'm not very good. Oh, okay, right. No, you, you didn't come to me and say, how do you write a good book? You said, how do you write a book? And you just do that. And the thing you write will be crap. And then you will learn through the process of doing it how to be less crap the next time you try something. And this actually all links back to the... We were talking about schools earlier, how I feel that schools have very much failed a lot of their modern students. I think that the best way to learn to do something well is to try and do it badly, work out why you're doing it badly, and then stop doing that. But continue to do the thing, just don't do the bad bits. And you only learn the bad bits by doing stuff. A lot. Everyone, well, a lot of school kids that I've seen nowadays are so incredibly terrified of failing. They do not want to fail because to them, the act of failing is itself a problem. Whereas actually the act of failing is a point that you reach when you've attempted a process and you've discovered that the process hasn't worked, which itself is a great amount of knowledge to gain. I know hundreds of ways not to make a YouTube video. And I only know that because I've made hundreds of bad videos. And now I make somewhat okay videos. They're not great. There's problems in them still, but you're going to go through it. Failure is failure is growing. That is true. Completely agree with that. So if you want to write a book, uh, if you want to do anything, if you want to design a system, just give it a go. How does it work? Let's say, right, okay, you want to write a story. What about? Where are you going to go to? Uh, what's the character's name? 
Where are they moving from and to that kind of stuff. Josh, I want to create content on YouTube, but I dislike my own voice. How do I get over the anxiety of it? Uh, you may dislike your own voice, but here's the great thing. You're not making videos that you would watch. You're making videos that the audience would watch, and the audience don't care about your voice. The audience literally just want to listen to you explain a good video to them. They just want to hear your jokes. They want to hear your input. They want to hear your thoughts. You aren't making a video for you. You might value the content that you've created, but ultimately you're making a video for them. It is a tool that you've got to get information to the audience. If you don't like the way that your voice sounds, you very much unfortunately have to just accept that that doesn't actually affect the efficiency of using the tool. The voice is just a means of communication with somebody else. As long as you can do that, it's working. I am very much of the 80-20 rule, the Pareto principle. It doesn't need to be perfect. It does need to exist. If you record something and you listen to yourself back and you think, oh my God, I hate my voice. Okay, cool. Once you've recorded a thousand things, you won't care anymore. It's one of those things where the first time you ever do it, you're incredibly critical of yourself. And the thousandth time you do it, it's not even a thing. You don't even care anymore. It's just, you just get over it. Perfect does not get anything done. Get something done, and then, once it's done, move on to the next thing. Take the lessons you've learned from one thing, apply it to the next. Perfect is the enemy of done. Yeah. Let's, and that's what this stream is, by the way. We, we complain about the youth. We then talk about the, the state of the world in general. We play some Morrowind occasionally make a dick joke that's the dichotomy of man that is how varied we get in this stream all the time playing morrowind so very much hope that's what you guys are after because that's what you're going to get in this stream you get classic 2002 rpg with modern day philosophical ramblings of middle class english guy there we go okay it's is it better than never starting but it's so hard to start when you tell yourself you're rubbish yeah, that's the great thing. You will be rubbish when you start, but no one expects you to be good. People just expect you to try. Anyone that's worth their salt at all for either something they've achieved or something that they expect you to achieve will understand that you starting is more impressive than telling people that you're going to start. I get hundreds of messages on Twitter, Instagram, Discord, you know, Twitch, YouTube combined a week from people telling me they're going to start a project. I don't have time to respond to all of these. I get maybe one or two messages a week from people saying, here is something I have made. I will try my hardest to respond to those because saying that you're gonna start something, super easy. Actually making anything, no matter how crap it may be, very impressive. You want an example of starting crap and getting better, go to Matt Pat's channel, Game Theory. Go back and watch his very first video ever uploaded. It's Matt Pat in the theatre playing the narrator for the stage show Blood Brothers. Just a random video uploaded. Go and watch his very first Game Theory video. It's not bad, but the audio is not balanced, the graphics aren't good, the theory isn't great. As a video compared to what he's got now, it sucks. But the great thing is, he had to make it to be able to compare it to what he has now. Let's just anger the Draugr and see if the Draugr can fight that. So I very much am of the opinion that I need to summon this ghost some more. Hang on, these Draugr are kicking my ass. They all start with trash. But I am so much more impressed when people create trash than when people say they're going to create something amazing. Because it often doesn't end up that way. It's just heal myself. Oh my god, my health nearly drained then. Good lord. I'm going to use my shield to heal myself up while my Storm Atronach takes care of some of these Draugrs. Fine, you've inspired me. Go and start. I don't care if what you make is terrible. I care that it exists. If someone hands me the worst cooked meal they've ever made, but it's the first meal they've made and says, hey, how can I improve? I will walk with you to the kitchen and we will try and learn how to cook together. I know certain things, I don't know others. I'll call up Chef PK. We'll see what he can help us with. He's a better cook than I am. But if someone comes up to me and says, 
I'm going to be the best chef ever. Okay. Go and do that. Go and make something. Step one, make something. Make something. Doctor, no, you are not making an MMO with 100% scientific dragons. We have been through this. The MMO community has survived the 100% scientifically accurate dragon fiasco. That saga has existed, it has come and it has died, and it will stay dead. By the grace of God, it will stay dead. 100% scientifically accurate dragons. Oh, that was a that was a moment in MMO history for you guys that uh, that aren't. Josh, what is the best way to be a good content consumer? That's a good question. I suppose the best way would be what do you want to consume and why? One of the best ways is just be mindful of what you're doing. Can you explain what scientifically accurate dragons are? No, no one can. That's the point. You know, the best way to be a consumer, apparently, according to Hasbro, that I've discovered recently, is to release spoilers for five different Magic the Gathering sets at once. There's product fatigue, Hasbro. I know that the Hasbro execs aren't going to hear me on top of their mountains of cocaine on, on their yachts, in the pools of their bigger yachts on their private island, but there is such a thing as too much magic. I like Magic the Gathering. I love me a game of magic. I've got a lovely modern deck, I've got a pioneer deck, I've got a commander deck, I'll sit down and play magic with you at any time. But when you want me to get excited about Outlaws of Thunder Junction, and Bloomborrow, and the Fallout set, and the Assassin's Creed set, and Modern Horizons 3, all at the same time, I'm not going to care about any of them. It is overwhelming, and you need to stop. Hasbro is... They're panicking, man. They're releasing everything. They're just hitting the buttons of every single thing they could possibly release ever. Just go for it. Right, I need to find some kind of song somewhere. The hell? I heard something. A locked chest. Not a problem. I've got my spell. My spell skeleton key, but better. Let's just open this. They they really have. Unfortunately, that is the end dwarven crossbow. And armor's hammers. You know what? A dwarven crossbow might be useful. Armor's hammers I'm going to use immediately. Because I may need to fix some stuff. Get ready for the dings. The dings have happened. Hopefully you all enjoyed the dings. And now I need to just move this down from there to there. Cool. Let's play Magic the Gathering, 8th and Kamigawa block. Oh, hell yeah. Good choice. Oh, nice. You found the Dragonbone Cuirass. We did find the Dragonbone Cuirass. In fact, I dropped off all of the overpowered items that were making the game too easy, and now we're effectively doing it again. I'm trying to work out what that noise is, because I'm hearing something, but I don't know what it is that I'm hearing. Still rocking the yellow hat, mate. We're going to wear that yellow hat till the end of the game. And I'm not getting rid of that for love nor money. What is down here? Another... Another locked chest. That's fine. I can sleep again. Then open it again. What's in here? The Ring of Wildfire. Fire damage. Okay. Gold and... Oh, the armor's hammers. Once again, we take those because they are exceptionally useful. The hat's a fashion statement. It really is. The hat is... It's a point. That's what it is. Oh. Oh, do we go deeper into the cave or do we go higher into the cave? <gasps> There's... Oh my god, there are so many locked chests. Thankfully, I just have a nap. And then the Nerevarine slept for a week as he moved between various levels of of unlocking various chests. Nothing ever this way. I'm glad I'm not the only one with a very, very small minimap. Hey, it's not the size of the minimap that matters, it's how you use it. What 
is this way. Interesting. Three pipes making some noises. In the cave of hidden music, I have found a large structure made of stalagmites and stalactites. An odd music seems to be coming from them. Okay. Is there a hollow stalagmite? Your journal has been updated. I have found when one of the hollow stalagmites is struck, it produces a musical note like the ones I hear in the cave. Okay, let's have a listen. It's mid, low, high, mid. Give it a second. No. Low, mid, high, mid. Which one? But that sounds like that. Aha! Was that the correct tune? Try it again. No, so it's... I need to hear... I need to turn this up slightly. Hang on. This is actually an audio puzzle. So I need to turn this up so you guys can hear it more and I can hear it more. This is straight up a musical note puzzle. Hey, we got it. Okay, so we recreated the sound. Now we need to listen again. Hang on. High, mid, low, high. High, mid, low, high. So... Oh, that's... Oh! Oh! After repeating the new pattern, the sound swells and then grew silent. I should return to the Earth Stone. Oh, cool, have we done it? Sweet. We have solved the puzzle of Earth. And is there any super secret treasure in this room that we can find? Let's see what we can find. There's got to be something down here. Like there's always. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's what we need. Two locked chests, of course. We have a quick nap. I will have a look into that. The gamer sense was tingling. It was. I knew there'd be something here. It was too perfect. It was just too perfect. Steel longbow, bolt, gold, armorer's hammer. They, they're giving me a lot of armorer's hammers this time. Not sure why, but a lot of armorer's hammers. When you play Baldur's Gate 3, I know you won't stream it, but will you record it? So, I will stream Baldur's Gate 3 as long as no one backseat games. And if people backseat game, I will just turn off the chat for a while, because I don't want anyone to be spoiling anything for me. But I will definitely consider it. I think the kind of community that we've cultivated is sensible enough to not ruin the game. And I would very much like to experience Baldur's Gate 3 at some point. So... If we can get to a point where I feel comfortable and safe streaming that without someone jumping on and going, haha, this character, you know, whatever, then we can do that. I would love to. I'd love to share that experience with you. I am, however, also aware that Baldur's Gate 3 is a hell of a lot of inventory management, and I don't know quite how I would make that the most entertaining thing in the world. Only emote mode or sub-only mode. I really don't want to ever do that on Twitch or YouTube. I I don't like the idea of limiting who can get involved with any of the content. I don't like that idea at all. I understand that it might have a benefit, but I would much rather everyone that arrives at the stream feels you know comfortable and confident being able to talk. Oh, uh, we found another... Oh, hang on. 
quality fortify health. I'll take that. We've found a couple more things. See what there is. You'll just dump all the items onto your strong companion. Yeah, I'm I'm not going to meta game it at all. Steel crossbow, 20 out of 20. That's 30 out of 30. Way better. And a steel... There's a lot of steel items here, which I think is quite good, actually. Yeah, let's go this way. Let's go back. Get some good mods and make it very clear. I've got some very good moderators in this chat. Normally you don't notice them. They're like Batman, just hanging out of the back, occasionally banning things. And hopefully if you don't notice the chat being moderated, then they're doing a great job. Lots of steel items. It's the Thief's Guild. Oh, because they steal things. A top-notch joke. 10 out of 10 right there. There are mods. Exactly. Exactly. You wouldn't notice them. Let's just jump out of here. Right, where was the Earthstone? Earthstone was kind of south, wasn't it? That way. So let's just leap all the way. And see what we see. Every time you beat someone with Blood Moon, you can whisper in their ear, I am Melania, Blade of Mikola. That still gives me flashbacks. I've finished Elden Ring, but my god, it was a slog. It truly was. Right, the Earthstone. There it is. There you are, big stony boy. Big pillar. Pillar in the open. Guess what? I fixed your problem. Your journal has been updated. I have completed the ritual, completed the gift of Earth ritual. Right. What did the dude do next? Because remember, we are doing this in order. Need to know exactly what Avar Stone Singer did after this. You don't mod here, just Discord. Discord mods are good too, to be fair. Oh yeah, the new Elden Ring DLC is announced. Shadow of the Earth Tree. Looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Quality second monitor content. Thank you. Some of you have got two monitors. You're not sure what to put on the second one. You want an easygoing stream. Maybe of a 2002 RPG. I've got you covered. Don't you worry. And I'll only advertise at you every now and again. Not all the time. I've got standards. I'm on the main stream. It's okay. We all make mistakes. You've still got time to change that. You have never been on my third monitor. Good. I like to sit firmly in the middle. I like to be whelming. Neither over nor under. Just whelmed. Yes, uh, Morrowind did come out in 2002. Uh, that means this game came out 22 years ago. There will be people in the chat younger than this game, which is quite scary. I don't like that. First time watcher, I've been watching YouTube videos of you a lot. Oh, thank you very much. Welcome to the Twitch stream. You get to enjoy all of the Twitch clips before they get made into clips. That's what we're here for. Your English accent is cool. Thank you. It's the only good thing about me. I've been riding that kind of, that high for years. I found the one thing I could do and I'm like, that's it. We're focusing on that. That's the money maker right there. Right, let's see where we're going to next. We have retrieved the gift of water. We have retrieved the gift of earth. And after the gift of earth, he traveled to the beast rock. Right, we must go to the beast rock. And this is where he spoke to the good beast. Where is the beast stone? Okay, so the Beast Stone is north of a lake, I believe, on the east side of the island. You're looking at around there kind of thing going on. So we'll just activate the amulet of Van Halen and we will jump. That's what we will do. We will activate and leap through the air because this is how we travel. This is how we do it. Your accent sounds very authentic. Did you use a coach? No, I was just born in England an easier opponent. and then continued to be English. That was that was the extent of my training. But thanks. I appreciate the fact that I sound authentically English. That makes me happy. That's that's all I've ever really wanted to go for. You know, to just sound like I I, I come from England. How do I get born English? You have to... Your mother and father must drink a lot of tea. That's pretty much how it works. That's the only way. The curse of the English accent is, of course, being born in England. Hey, we've got some good stuff. Yorkshire puddings are pretty banging. Yeah, they're pretty great. There's even a couple of shops that have started doing, like, wraps in Yorkshire puddings. I'm on board with that. I'm very much on board with that. Yorkshire pudding wrap. Imagine, like, a burrito wrap, 
but the burrito bit is Yorkshire pudding. And inside you've got beef, you've got lamb, you've got a little bit of... Um... Thank you for I'm the Beard for Do You Want to Moist? I, um... Oh, it's been a while since that story came around. Some of you may know that story. Some of you may not. Do... Do I need to retell it? Do I need to bring the newer viewers up to speed of the Josh Strife lore? Of where that phrase came from? I think the Beast Stone's over there as well. I think I've got it. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll tell... Pollet. That's a good point. Pollet. You guys are going to 50-50 this, aren't you? I'm very scared of your ability. Your, your power in polls after the stupid ring debacle we had last time. Do you want to moist story? Yes. Or no. Don't 50-50 this. You have two minutes to vote. Have fun. I cannot believe that you guys managed to get that stupid ring vote to 50-50. It was... It was the vote to destroy the Shadow Amulet, wasn't it? And I jokingly said, if you guys 50-50 this, I will... I will go and get the ring back. Which happened. Which I hated. Um, but I was very impressed. Okay, this is going to win. This is going to get to a, a yes. Because some of you don't know what this is. Do any of you in chat legit not know what this story is? Because I sometimes forget that there will be viewers that haven't gone back and watched hundreds of Josh Strife says clips. I sometimes forget there are some of you who aren't real fans, you know? And maybe you weren't here all the time. Maybe you didn't go and watch every single video on Josh Strife replays. Maybe you haven't been in the Discord for like three years. Fake fans, all of you. I can't believe that you would come into the stream and not even do your research. Not even done the Josh Strife lore research. Personally offended. Okay, now, so what happened was, many years ago, I was on a film set. It was actually a film set for the video game Elite Dangerous. So the Elite game is a kind of sci-fi uh, spaceship shooter, and they were making a short fan film to celebrate the release of Elite Dangerous. And I play one of the kind of ship captains that was you know, driving this you know, super cool little fighter around the place. It was really cool. I liked it. And I never played the game before, but I played the game when I was making the film. Good game. But I was standing... It wasn't my scene. I wasn't filming. I was standing on the, the film set, and one of the main actors was a younger actor. The guy was about 13, and he was, he was doing a scene, and they were taking ages and ages and ages to do this scene. And I was watching, and he was a pretty good actor. The problem was that we were acting outside, and it was a cold day. And I could tell that as he was doing take after take after take, his voice was beginning to crack. His voice was beginning to dry out. And my brain did a lot of things all in one go. My brain went, he needs a drink. His lips are cracked. He is beginning to sound dry. His lips are no longer as moist as they need to be to enunciate the words correctly. So I went over and I grabbed a bottle of water, and when they called cut for that scene, I, I kind of shouted over, and what I wanted to say was, hey man, your scenes are doing really well, but I can tell that your voice is getting a bit dry, have a drink of water, you know, sort that out. But my brain, for some reason, just had the word moisture trapped in it, so instead of going over and being all eloquent and saying, yo, you know, do you want all that, I kind of walked and went, do you want to moist? And then I just stared at him. And he looks at me exactly the way you would look at anyone who walks up to you and shouts, do you want to moist? And then hands him a bottle and he takes it and I just, I run. I, I'm like, I'm not, my scenes are done today. I'm gone. I was hanging out just to help. Turns out I am not helpful. It did not work. So he did moist. But... I think it was very much against his will at that point. Like, I I still maintain that I was doing the correct thing. I, my heart was in the right place. Unfortunately, my words were not. And that is a legitimate true story. The Beast Pillar. Here we go. Travel south, find the good beast, and ease its suffering. Okay, so are we killing this thing or not killing this thing? I... In the story, Avar did not kill 
the good beast. In the story, Avar saved the good beast from having an arrow stuck in its paw. You're a hawker. You are not the good beast, but you know, you can just hang out. You're cool. How f when it says travel south, like how far south are we going? In the in the story it was a bear. I, I hang on, let's just let's just jump really high and see if we can spot it. Oh, it's not got enough charge. Tactical nap. Jump. Spot a good beast. Spot like a bear somewhere. You guys see a bear anywhere? That didn't... Oh, hang. Is that a bear? Nope, that is a big bit of ice. Just said travel south. Forget... Oh, hello. Is that a... That's a wolf. Is it a good beast? Are you... No, you're a plague wolf. You can die. Only good beasts can survive. And getting the plague, obviously means you are no longer good. Look for a redhead. I mean, that's that's good advice in general. But we'll just we'll look around. We'll see what there is. We'll see what's going on. There's a thing over there happening. Oh, there's lots of things over there happening. Oh, there's lots of enemies. And a, a bear. Oh, they're attacking him. Hell no. You guys get off. I'm going to save this dude. You get away from there, Mr. Imp, whatever you are. The Good Beast. Your journal has been updated. I have defeated the Reichlings attacking the bear. This bear, however, is still wounded. It looks as though it has been pierced by a Reichling arrow that will need to be removed. Can I... You can. You can just interact with the bear and remove the arrow. That's pretty clever. They actually use the NPCs having an inventory as a quest mechanic. I don't think that's been used before, of just taking or giving things to and from people. Okay, sweet. We saved the good bear. I'm guessing we just... Oh, hang on. I have removed the Reichling arrow, but it is still injured. I should attempt to heal it or stay with it until it is well. All right, do we... The bear is fully healed from its wounds. <laughs> that was... That was very fast. The bear is Wolverine. Just really quick. One of you just said, now kill it. No. No, that's that's not how we do things here. That is not very Raven of you. How dare. You are not being the man Mr. Rogers thought you could be. If you just say, kill it right then. We only kill kings and gods, not innocent bears. All right, kings and gods probably deserved it. Probably done some shit to get there. But... Anything. We're not moisting the bear, either. I have completed the gift of beasts ritual. Okay, so what was the next ritual that Avar Stonesinger had to... I can't believe I've just told you the... the Do You Want to Moist story. There's only a few other stories, a few other legends within the Josh Strife lore that some of you may not have been here for. I'm trying to think of the, the legendary, the important lore that you need to know to be a real fan. Some of you have probably heard the banana story, and some of you have probably not. And now you might be intrigued with what the banana story is. The banana story, yeah. The banana, the moistery. <laughs> no, I'm not having the collection of lore and history be known as the moistery. Could you tell the very first lore story? I don't even know what that would be. Did you moisten a banana? No, no. No, we did not. The moistery is the history of John. It's Rufus in the lore. No, we try to forget Rufus, the child. When we return to Skyrim at some point, we will bring him back. Don't you worry. The banana story, I think, is a very... I don't think you deserve the banana story yet. You don't need that yet. Sora, thank you for the gift of subs. Man, remarkably be kind of you. Welcome to the stream. How have you been, dude? Hopefully you're having a lovely day. What the hell am I walking into? The banana story. Right. If I tell you the banana story, it's it's the most whelming story you'll ever hear. You will not be underwhelmed, but I guarantee you will not be overwhelmed. It is the most whelming story. Right. We've got the good beast. Hang on. I'll tell you in a second. I'm going to work at where we're going next. 
The beast stood over him. The beast guarded him. He travelled to the beast rock. You have done that. That's great. Cool. And then we go to the... The tree stone. Gotcha. Okay, cool. The tree stone next. Let's find where the tree stone is. The tree stone. Location of the stones. Tree stone is in the centre of the island. Kind of southwest of where we are now. So we're looking kind of... Kind of like that way. Let's just le leap to it if we can. Okay, the banana story. When I was about 17, I realized I had never eaten a banana. Not out of any specific reason to avoid bananas. I'm sure they're probably fine. I just never eaten one. The chance never arose. I was never given one as a child. Just never had access. I mean, I had access, but I chose not to. And then I thought, that's a bit weird. I could probably go and eat one. And I've got the ability. But then I thought, no. Because as it stands right now, I am a man who has never eaten a banana. If I go and eat one right now, I effectively am throwing away a 17-year streak of not eating a banana. I wonder how far I can take this. And so, I decided, when I was 17, that if I was to ever become famous, I would like to be able to put in my biography, Josh has never eaten a banana. Just like a little footnote at the bottom of, like, page 30 or something. Not a big thing. Just a little tiny footnote. And as the years went on, I realised that... If I did eat a banana, I would no longer be able to put that footnote in the book. And it's actually kind of become a rather important thing that I want to put in the book one day. So, I have still never eaten a banana. I don't have anything against banana flavour. I've got nothing against the fruit in general. I just think that I've been committed to something for 33 years now, and I kind of want to carry on with that. You know? That, that, that's it. That's the banana story. I simply have never eaten one because I've spent so long not eating one. If I were to start now, it, it feels like wasted time. Really? The first trees are gone. Travel east and find the one who has stolen the seeds. Beware. He who has the seeds controls the trees. Plant the first anew. Right. Let's go and get the seeds. This, that story did not whelm me. I'm sorry. You, you expect a great deal of me. If it neither whelmed nor under... It, it shouldn't overwhelm you. It shouldn't underwhelm you. You should be like, that was a story. That's all you should be. Do you have the seeds? You will die no, where you freeze stand. Head. Do you have them? What's on you? Uh, no. No seed. Bears! You guys have seeds on you? Give me your bear seed. Oh. That is not the kind of sentence that you normally say outside of very specific clubs. Let's just have a quick tactical nap before we run into battle again. Look, the bear attacked me. I had to fight back. Where? I said go east. Oh, it'll be over there. There it is. Now, Avar Stone Singer's legend, if you remember, he snuck past the angry trees, took the seeds, and ran away. There was Josh Mendley preparing for Baldur's Gate 3. What expansion are we on now? We are currently in Blood Moon, which is the Blood Moon expansion. So we're actually in Solstheim. That's the place where it takes place. Okay, let's... Uh, do I have any kind of invisibility? Do I have hide? I do. Failed. Hide again. Failed. Tactical nap. Do I have any? Oh, God. Interrupted by a bear. You're trying to have a nap and a bear runs up at you. Do we have any magical items that let me... We do. The mudrum ring. Fortify... Oh, God. The bear's still there. Let me fortify sneak. Then let me run past... Ah, there we go. Yeah, see? 
Spriggan. These things are really powerful. But if I steal... Oh, God, no. I pressed the wrong button. Wrong buttons were pressed. We're invisible again. Oh, oh my God, they're so powerful. I don't want to hurt you, Spriggans, but I will. I will hurt you so badly. I need to jump away. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, no, my hat's broken. Oh, God. Failed. That was not great. Moist them. They... They needed to be moisted more. There was not enough moisture going on in that fight. Hang on. Let me just... Okay, can I have a nap? Tactical nap until healed. And then I'm going to hit my hat with a hammer until it's fixed. Don't laugh. That's how this game works. First the hat, then the legs. He's broken, run over. No, no, we're okay. We're okay. I thought that I could steal the seeds from the dude, but apparently you can't. I really thought you could just pickpocket that guy. Where the hell is... Where are they? Where have they gone? It said go east. Not seeing them. They were in the forest somewhere, weren't they? We're going to find them. You can't steal them. You have to milk him. You... I'm assuming you meant to write kill, but instead wrote milk. Okay, yeah, fine. Let's go and milk the gremlin. Oh, if I can kill him and loot his body. Hey, strange seeds. Mine now. Yeah, thank you, ladies. Everyone chill. See? Yeah, you're nice and relaxed once I've got my seed back, aren't you? Don't... Don't take that out of context. Oh. Bugger, sorry, didn't mean to attack you. Oh, no, my goodness. What do you have on you? Did you just... All right, sweet, they just get back up, apparently. Cool. Didn't know they could just get back up. We need to go back, take the... Take the seed to the stone, the tree stone. It's all the way over there. Oh, God, I forgot to use my special don't die button. Oh, I've... I didn't put the hat back on. That's what happened. You've got to make sure you put your hat back on after fixing it. Otherwise, apparently, it doesn't count. Because that's how the game works. Just stab you. God, these guys are tough. That lance is powerful as well. Okay, tactical nap. We're making progress. Oh, I actually really like the snow effects in this game. When I played this as a kid, I had a really bad laptop, and the snow effects would just cause it to judder something awful. I could never, could never play with it on high graphics because of the particle effects. Expansion enemies buff. They are way harder. In fact, the final boss of this expansion is way harder than the final boss of the actual game, and we're doing him first. Do I, um... What do I do? I have recovered the seeds from the Reichling. There was a clearing northwest of the tree stone where they might be planted. Well, let's go northwest then. This looks pretty clear. Would you like to plant the strange seeds in the fertile soil? Yes, I would. That's my chat up line from now on. Your journal has been updated. Fantastic. Complete the ritual of the gift of trees. Yeah, don't threaten me with a good time. Let's see what the next thing Avar Stonesinger did. I like how we actually are following his uh, his story with this. Hit the tree stone. Find the good beast, done that. Found the tree stone, done that. And after the tree stone, where did we go? The sun. He continued on traveling to the sunstone. Speaking to the Allmaker. Let's go to... The Sunstone. Where is the Sunstone? The Sunstone is actually on the southeast tip of the island, which is not too far away, but we've never even been that way. So let's have a quick tactical nap so it stops snowing. It didn't stop snowing. Let's get jumping. Here we go. We are traveling through this game by just leaping from A to B. Because that's the fastest way to travel. Is that the sunstone? 
It's pretty sunny to me. Let's find out. For those of you who are a bit confused, you can fortify jump in Morrowind. And we have done that. The Sunstone. Go to the west and free the warm sun from the halls of Penumbra. All right, I'm going to have a quick... Uh, I want to rest so the snow stops because it's very intense. Can we just please get rid of the snow effect? There we... I mean, that's worse, but okay. Go to the west and free the sun from the Hall of Penumbra. Let's find out where that might may be. If I was the Hall of Penumbra, where would I be? I mean, that's... That right there is looking pretty framing. It's good game design if this is framing. And it wants me to go this way. Thought that was an enemy. It's just a rock. If that's the Hall of Penumbra, I'll be happy. I just want one bear that doesn't try to attack me. You know, just one. Sit down. Let me loot you. You have nothing that I care about. Let's just pop this way. Halls of Penumbra. It's dark. It's extremely dark. I have entered the Halls of Penumbra, which is seemingly devoid of light. Well, one of the benefits of killing a god is... Oh, we gave the sword back, didn't we? Okay, right. Immediately beginning to regret dropping off the Hope's Fire sword because that would have been super useful roundabout now. Didn't didn't think about that. Ring of Night Eye. We've got a Night Eye spell. That's fine. So Ring of Night Eye we can actually see in the dark very slightly. Where are you? Where are you, Ring of Night Eye? Did I give the ring back? Might have given the ring back that cast Night Eye. And the reason for this was I think I now know the Night Eye spell. So I can just cast that anyway, to be fair. Oh, there we go. Now I can see. Beautiful stuff. Hello, I'm here for 40k book recommendations. The first three books of the Horus Heresy. Also Space Wolf, because I like that book. It's just... Hello. It's like a little... Little torch on the wall. These Draugr are way more powerful. Very impressed. And I will keep casting Night Eye as and when I need to. Oh, yeah, there we go. Dark again. Failed. Anything by D Dan Abnett? Yeah, Dan Abnett. Good stuff. I used to listen to a lot of the Warhammer 40k audiobooks, and one of my favourites was Death Watch Mission Purge, which was just a really short story of a Death Watch kill team walking through a Space Hulk carrier that had been, I think it was infested with Tyranids, and that was like a, a good little story. I enjoyed that. There's a lot of good stories, actually, in, in the Warhammer mythos. I'm really hoping they're able to to turn a lot of them into very, very good uh, TV shows. With Henry Cavill at the helm, let's hope so. Dan is my favourite author, The Infinite and the Divine. Isn't The Infinite and the Divine about the Necrons? What I love is how Warhammer works on what I call Looney Tunes power scale. They're as powerful as they need to be at any given moment. You have ascended to level 20. You'll never be better than you are today. If you are lucky, by superhuman effort, you can avoid slipping backwards for a while. But sooner or later, you're going to lose a step, or drop a beat, or miss a detail, and you'll be gone forever. Thanks, Morrowind. Hey, have some existential dread with your level up, why not? Cheers, cheers, Todd. Appreciate it. All right, so strength, we've leveled it up. Speed, we've got two of it. May as well throw some into agility as well. Maximum fatigue. Beautiful. Now I'm now I'm just sad. That is the least encouraging level up screen ever, without a doubt. They don't even want you to play this anymore. 
They're straight up, they hate the fact you're here. And I keep failing to cast this spell. There we go. I need to play faster because obviously I'm against the, the spell timer. What's this? Cloth sack, cloth sack, cloth sack. What's in here? Oh, 100 gold. I'll take it. 100 gold. I hope this isn't a test. That you're not meant to take all this gold. Because I'm taking all of it. Sack at the back. Um, and that needs to be unlocked. So on Ducey's open door, we'll work on it. There we go. Dire Flame Sword and uh, Armor's Hammer and some other stuff. The Flame Sword value, not as good as what I've already got. So I'll fix my spear up a little bit. And then we will just continue onwards. Every time you use the fixing thing from that screen, it moves the box back to the wrong place. I've got to get my Night Eye back out. There's a 47% chance of me casting this. Now you've used noble chairs for a while, do you have any thoughts about the ergonomics and the build quality? Build quality is great. Ergonomics in most gaming chairs are relatively similar, which is as long as you sit up, they are fine. If you're going to be sitting in a chair for a hell of a long time, I would say that you should definitely look into getting one of the, is it the super expensive Herman Miller ones? Because they are just excellent for long time comfort. That's if you are doing nothing but sitting down for a hell of a long time. I mean, I use a noble chair, uh, the Warhammer 40k one. It does me fine. I'm comfy enough. I sit and edit in it for you know, five to six hours a day. And it's done me totally okay. I mean, But I've spent a lot of time working on making sure I sit up. You've got to make sure you sit up. You can't be having that shrimp posture. I know that we're all gamers, but you can't be doing it. You know, that, that shrimp posture, the whole curled over thing, don't do it. Okay, chest, lock level 50. Can we just pick that? I might be able to. I might have a lock pick that would work. Journeyman's lock pick. Let's see if this would work. Ah, it's too complex. What about the master's lock pick? Uh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, yeah, it's too complex. Right, that didn't work either. Hi Josh, big fan of the channel. Just wanted to pop in and say hi. Hope you're having fun in Morrowind. I am loving Morrowind. Thank you very much for popping in and saying hello. I very much enjoy this game. I have a good time with it. I need to refill my health. Or do we have any kind of on Ducey's magic items? Do we have any kind of scrolls? Oh, there we go. Scroll of Unhinging. 40 to 60 points on touch. This will either work or it won't. As anything would. Hey, we unlocked it. We have got the Heartbite Ring. Damage, health, 10 to 50 points on touch. That's good. Nordic Mail Boots and a Silver Bolt. That might be useful for the crossbow that we've got, but I'm still not seeing the, the thing that we need. Let's try and cast Night Eye again if I can. Come on, work. God damn it. Can I... Okay, now I can't see too much at all. So I'm very much going to need to just rely on the slightly higher brightness Twitch stream of the game, while at the same time exploring a cave I've never explored before. Is Morrowind and Skyrim soundtrack the same? No, so Morrowind obviously came first and then Jeremy Sewell borrowed a lot from it. Jeremy Sewell did both of them. And he, he really did take a hell of a lot of his work from Morrowind and repurpose it for a lot of the stuff in Skyrim. What's this? Chest, lock level 50. Once again, we need... To, okay, now we can rest until healed. Now I can get out the Onducey's open door spell, which should unlock it. There we go. Single gold coin. I'll take it. It's worth it. Was that flame sword a light source? Yes, it was. It would have been very useful to have kept it. However, we didn't want to become too overpowered, so I gave that sword back to... I think I gave that to Vivek, didn't I? Yeah, that was it. I gave it to Vivek. Josh, it pains me to do this. No, it doesn't. Don't pretend it pains you to do anything. But as the eagle ate Prometheus's liver, I must eat your sanity. Where's your uniform? 
You know what? One day I'm going to buy like... Oh, God, that's a bigger enemy down there. Let's just save the game. I'm going to buy like an actual Centurion helmet. And then when someone says, where's your uniform? I'm going to just put it on. On stream. Okay. Oh, journal's been updated. I have found a bright glowing object behind a wall of ice. And this dude has a glowing red eye. So let's just see if I can kill him. God damn. Okay, Mr. Lightkeeper Ghoul. You hit pretty hard. All right, new plan. New plan. Let's use my Spear of Bitter Mercy to summon an Atronach and let him do most of the work. Oh, including hitting me, apparently. Oh, he's dead. Hey, I can just keep stunning you. And then use my shield. That shield was the best thing we ever found. Oh, thank goodness. All right, give me your eye. Flaming Eye of the Light Keeper. Should we eat it? You can eat that. I am tempted to. Quick save. Okay, cool. That, um... I don't know what that does. Journal updated. No, it didn't. Can you imagine if it did? I... Apparently, if you eat the eye... You softlock your game. Fire damage on the wall. I don't think you can do enough. I don't even think I have a fire damage spell. Like, nothing I do does fire damage, unless I have a... I have, do I have a weapon that does fire damage? Frost damage? Damage health? I don't think I have any fire damage. At all. None of these do fire damage. Right, so I think that if you eat the eye that is essential for moving on, you softlock your game. There was that sword in the chest. Uh, no, you left fire damage on a ring in the barrow. Um, you know what? We can just quick load the game. It's fine. Don't worry about it. And then we pretend that we didn't eat the eye. Would you like to throw the flaming eye at the ice wall? Yes. There we go. Oh. What was back here? Was there anything? Can we... Can we get back there? Are we meant to be able to? I don't think you're meant to be able to. Oh, but it's... Okay, cool. Everything's lit. As the kids say. That's actually a really nice effect. The fact that all the lights are now on. Josh, did you watch the Spiffing Brit video on Morrowind? I don't think I have yet, but I've watched most of his stuff. I do enjoy the Spiffing Brit's content. He's a good guy. Let's just journey back through the ice cave, if I can remember the way. Which... Which way that way. Alright, cool. Yeah, I know where I'm going now. Thirteen days ago, you said you were streaming for three hours and forty minutes, and you're going to continue streaming for another three hours and forty minutes, but you only streamed for three hours and thirty-three minutes. Why, Josh? Why did you take the precious time away from us? Well, that was actually... I'm glad you brought that up, actually, uh, Metazolid. It was entirely your fault. I... I was kind of trying to spare you the embarrassment of not having to come to you with this issue, but your messages in chat, they left a lot to be desired. I felt that you weren't really engaged in the content. I was putting my, you know, all my effort into entertaining, and I don't think you were appreciating it. The vibes weren't right. It wasn't hitting well. And after doing that for a long time, I started to say to myself, why am I even trying? Why am I attempting to entertain this person when they are clearly not putting the effort and focus in that's required? It's like going to a comedy club and you were on your phone the entire time. And after doing that, I thought, you know what? I don't think these remaining seven minutes are going to save this stream in your eyes. So I stopped seven minutes early and I swore to secrecy to never tell you because I never wanted to embarrass you. So unfortunately, that is entirely your fault. And I think you need to take responsibility for what you did. 
I think we all need to sit here and take a moment just to wait and let you understand that's why that happened. Thanks for less content. You're welcome. Chat is responsible. Did he leave? Can you imagine? Popped in. Hey, you, uh, you, you only streamed for seven minutes less than you said you were going to stream over several hours. What happened? And then he just left, just runs away. Uh, earned a seven-minute break. Seven minutes of wait, to be honest. But no, I'm, I hope that was, that was uh, understandable that it was yours. Time him out for seven minutes. I will stay for another seven minutes after the stream as detention. Okay, fine. You know what? Once this stream finishes, I will do nothing but stare at the camera for seven minutes. And that, that is your punishment. You all don't think I will. I will do that. All right. I have completed the Gift of the Sun ritual. Let's see what the next thing is. Are we getting, like, boosts from this? It's cool. What was the next ritual that we needed to do? It was after the Sunstone. Okay, so you done the Sunstone. The Gift of the Sun was done. One final gift to recover. The Gift of the Winds. Travel to the Windstone. Okay. Release the wind from captivity. Where be the windstone? Let's see if I can find it. Windstone is to the north of the island, where the river forks. So, let's get jumping. Here we go. Seven minutes of staring into your eyes as punishment. Yes. Actually, no, That you'd like that too much. It will be seven minutes of me explaining obscure Morrowind lore. That's what it will be. I'm just going to start reading the wiki. Just arriving. How far into Souls time are we? We are about to finish, hopefully, all of the requirements to be accepted into the tribe. Oh, God. Little tiny angry gremlin creature. Die, angry gremlin. Let me loot you. Single gold coin. Get looted, nerd. I think we need to continue jumping this way. There's a hut just there. I wonder if it's important. Let's get my uh, spear out and go and have a look. Have I watched Tucker Carlson's one-hour interview with Dagoth Ur? Not yet. Hey, Gra Ring. You have no dealings with the likes of you. Be gone. He does not like me at all. Anar. Hida. I can't even go into your house. I don't want to go into your house, mate. You know what? House is stupid. I don't care about your house at all. If I was a big stone, where would I be? I would probably be hanging out with the other big stones. Hang on, let's just jump and see if we can spot it. Where's the big stone? Is that it? That l Oh, that's it. We found it. We got it. We found the right stone within the collection of stones. Need to build a ghost fence and build it <laughs> build it quickly. Is that from the interview? Travel south and east of the Lake of Ice to Glenshul's tomb and free the winds from the greedy man's bag. South and east to the Lake of Ice. That would be Lake Shalding? South and east over there. Free the winds from the greedy man's bag. Let's see what the journal says. Travel south and east to the Lake of Ice to Glenshul's tomb. Right, we've got to find Glenshul's tomb, whatever the heck that is. Let's keep leaping. Here is... Here it is. Is that a tomb right there? Be super handy if it was. Local. Right, local map. Move it around if I spot a little yellow dot anywhere. See if it's Glenshul. Oh! The Solstheim Caves of Fjolding are over here. I wonder if this is the Glenshul's tomb. Let's just swim down and see what we get. Is this the tomb? Gotta find the entrance to the cave first of all. I can breathe underwater. 
so I'm going to do this. Literally the first time I've ever caught Josh live. Panda, welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. What have you been up to recently? We are in Solstheim in Morrowind, attempting to complete the rituals. Okay, so it doesn't seem like there's actually an entrance down here that I can go into. So, whatever the caves of the Fjalding is, we ain't going in. That's, that's not for us. Love your content. Would love to stay and hang out and watch. Would I be mean to replay Morrowind? No, that's fine. Go and, go and replay Morrowind. I understand. I think right now it's on either Steam or good old games. Both versions, I think, are the same. I mean, good old games don't sponsor me, but they should. You cowards. Have your people speak to my people. And have my people... It's, it's just me. Talk, talk to me. Have someone that works for you message me and we'll sort it out. But seriously, make it make it happen, good old games. I buy lots of stuff off you. I bought the Tomb Raider remasters from you. Make it happen. That's like a company that I legit would definitely want to work with. I feel that I would be confident working with those guys. Doesn't, um... Mandalore. Mandalore Gaming, he works with good old games, doesn't he? I thought we were your people. Oh yeah, God, I forgot that now I've agreed that for some reason you guys have to negotiate all of my deals. I need to find this tomb of someone or something. What was it called again? Glenshul's tomb. South and east of the Lake of Ice to Glenshul's tomb. Ah, right. Where would Glenshul? Where would I be? Have a quick rest. Let's just jump around, see what we can spot. Guys, shout out if you see a tomb. We're looking for the tomb of Glenshul. Whatever they may be. Don't think there's any around here. But we're just going to jump around until something kind of pops out of the woodwork. Southeast from the lake. We can give it a go. I mean, no real... Oh, that might be it. Hang on, is that it? Or is that just a rock? Let's play the Bloodborne game. Not Bloodborne, Blood Moon. Bloodborne is a different game. The game is, is it a tomb or is it just a rock? Oh god, this guy blocked twice. Good block skill right there. The blades are also really good. It can be found in Fjellshar Coast, southeast of Lake Fjalding. Good, that's what I wanted. Southeast of Lake Fjalding. Let's just keep leaping ourselves this way. The thing is, this map is pretty hard to traverse, so keep having a nap until we go this way and find it. My phone is turned off. I don't even know where it is. That's the worst feeling. That's the kind of deep philosophical takes you get when you come to this stream. Some people say, oh... Josh, I've lost my phone. And I'm like, that is literally the worst thing that's ever happened to anyone ever. And then we talk ages about the state of the education system, the youth today, ancient RPGs, all that stuff. You get a lot of stuff when you come to this stream. You get a lot of stuff. Am I currently searching for an editor? Nope. I tried messaging you from my services, but most other platforms aren't meant for that. Yes, I tend to not do that because the amount of work that you would be required to do would be unrealistic. I would send you 18 uncut, unedited hours of Tomb Raider 2 gameplay. I would then send you a two-hour voiceover and say, spool through this 18 hours of footage and find the exact moments that I'm talking about for any given second and edit it together. And it would take you weeks. And I would rather not put anyone through that, because that just seems like a horrible situation for somebody to be in. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, woo. What's this, then? Is this... Is this the place? Tomb of Skilara. It's not. Can we... Can we, like, get in? It's like a tiny little pixel that I can see. There is not. Damn it. I thought there could be. So the Tomb of Skilara. It's not that one. Where the heck is this tomb? You said it was near the coast. Did you? Oh, hang on. Solstheim, Glindenhul Barrow. What was it called again? 
It was Glen Shule. It was Glen Shule. The mini map is kind of there. He says by the coast, did you? I saw your videos on YouTube. Pretty insightful. Thank you very much. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. How do you manage to translate southeast as northeast? Let's not point fingers at the right now I need your support more than your ridicule so fine we'll go south we'll see what's south that dude was just hanging around looking at the floor and then I jumped on top of him and smashed him not like that I mean I speared him again not like let's move on from this conversation it's not going anywhere good it, it doesn't matter. It absolutely doesn't matter. Uh, below the right point of interest on the three ones next to each other. Do you mean that one? It's kind of like over there. Let's see what we can spot. I jump. Oh, hello. What's that? Oh, Glen Shule's tomb. Jump right to it. Fantastic. Oh, hello, Draugr and Bone Dog. You know what I am worried about is if... The regular enemies are getting this powerful. Am I going to be able to kill the final boss? I legit don't know if I've got the health to tank the final boss because we gave all of our really good armor, weapons, and items away. It was it was not a sensible decision. There were a lot of poor choices that were repeatedly made. See, look, light armor skill increased. But it shouldn't have done because we shouldn't be wearing light armor. Should, however, use the shield to heal myself and then get back to stabbing. All right, cool. Everything's dead. Oh, you're not dead. Oh, there's a lot of bone wolves here. Goodness me. Come on, Draugr. I know that you died many years ago. Unfortunately, you must die again because I require the wind. Give me your wind. That's not like not like that. Not into that, but there we go. Spear skill increased to 96. I am good with my spear now. Right, what's the Oh hello? The greedy man's bag. Your journal has been updated. Oh, just by interacting with it, you technically open it. I should return to the windstone. Alright, cool. I can do that. What's... Oh, hello, locks. Let me just open some locks on Ducey's open door. You're only level 50, so that will work fine. Oh, hello. What have we got here? Nordic male left pauldron. Another dwarven crossbow. Ring of ice bolts. Restore health. Wild spark blade. Shock damage. Fire damage. No. No, I don't need any of you. This is fine. We're okay. We're good with what we've got right now. I'm not greedy. I mean, that was the greedy man. I don't need... To... If you can... There we go. If you can just about angle the cursor to find like an actual bit of skeleton as opposed to anything else. Let's see what there is. Dire flame arrow. Arrows might be good. Gold. Uh, a journeyman's lockpick. Lockpicks are often useful. Right, I think we have cleared out this tomb of anything that is relevant. Let's, yep, we've unlocked you. Right, let's go back outside. Let's go back to the windstone. Let it know that I have de-winded the tomb. And I think that's all of the trials past. Oh, no, hello all of you guys. You guys want to get stabbed as well? Yeah, apparently you do. You are really draining my health. Goodness me. Thankfully I've got this incredibly overpowered shield. It restores a ton. God, you guys hit hard. Especially when it's like... Did you just oh. heal? You cheeky rascal. You little... You little scamp. Healing when I'm not looking. My goodness. Right, where was the the stone? It was over here, wasn't it? Let's leap all the way over there, then. The object is broken and cannot be equipped. Oh, God. 
Oh, I always... I'm terrified whenever I land without my hat. As every DM knows, if you can do it, so can the enemies. That's very true. And more players should know. Yeah, they are just the cliff racers of Blood Moon, aren't they? Without a doubt. Okay, we've saved. Can we have a nap? Not yet. Okay, let's just leap toward the stone again. Nope, I haven't equipped my hat again. Remember, you've got to put your hat on, otherwise you forget to know how to use it. Use the Eidolon's reward to get healthier. One more jump and we should be close to finishing all the quests. It's this way. There's the stone. I see you. Run to it from now. Fortify doesn't increase your max health. You can't heal back up to the fortified amount. Oh, okay. The... Your hat... Yes, my hat is the light armor. So when it said light armor increased, it's because my hat had taken some damage. And the hat has so little structure that it breaks really quickly. Right. I have completed all the six rituals necessary and should return to Heartfang. Heartfang was in the Skull Village or Thrisk or the Mead Hall. I f Where was he? He was in one of them. Is he in the Skull Village or the Mead Hall? He's in the hall. Skull, yeah. The Skull Village. I think that was that way. Let's just see if it's this way. He moves to Balmora. Don't tell me that, because I will go all the way back. I've been catching your playthroughs on the Plays channel. Thank you for the amazing content. You are welcome. Started supporting on the Patreon. Thank you very much. I do work hard for that one quid a month. Don't worry. I've taken a GamerSups sponsorship. I can afford to get myself some waifu cups. See? we've I've sold out. It's okay. I've sold out for all of those sweet, sweet anime gamer girls. And I'm okay with that. I can stand by my decisions. I think Thrisk is this way, isn't it? Let's just leap this way and see what I can find. And land. Land amongst these guys and just get stabbing. Imagine how surprised you'd be if a, a lusty Argonian maid just landed amongst the boys and then started stabbing everyone. You'd, uh... You'd be a tad confused, wouldn't you? Just a little bit. I mean, if you're going to sell out, you might as well go for the anime waifus. Like, I, I had a choice, you know. It was this or Raid, and I thought, this has got more dignity. Let's just go looting. Got a chest? It is... It is not. However, there is stuff. Shadow Sting. Poison, five points for 20 seconds. Chameleon, 200 to 100% for 20 seconds. On me or the enemy? Because that's worth 5,000 gold. I'm taking it. Ebony Arrow of Slaying. Type Marksman. Cast when strikes. Damage health, 5,000 points. That would just kill anything. That's... I'm taking that. Five arrows of kill whatever immediately. A glove called Deceit and a glove called Treachery. And a ring called Ring of the Raven Eye. Okay, Deceit. Constant effect. Fortify sneak. 20 points on self. That's good. Can I wear that? Yes. Treachery. Fortify security. 20 points on self. And a ring. Fortify marksman. 20 points on self. And night eye. 20 points on self. Constantly. Okay. So I can just constantly see in the dark now. Forever. And I've got gloves that make me better at sneaking and security. And marksman. That's good. That is a good upgrade. I am also rather impressed that the Arrows of Slaying 
seem to just instantly kill anything we shoot with them. That would be pretty good. The constant night eye is going to get annoying after a while, but we we can take it off, don't worry. Fortify Marksman is useful. But hey, those two gloves are good. How much are they worth? Value two. Treachery and deceit. And there was a bloodstained note. S. Here is the equipment I told you about. Remember, the weak deserve no mercy. E. Right. I... Have I just stolen some, like, thief's cool stash? E. We have rushed E. That's what we've done. Maybe it's Erna, the oh, harlot. Oh, welcome to Thursk, friend. You should speak. So we're going to find the harlot well, Erna. Now, the if you're not the comeliest a badass axe right there. Come here. Where's the harlot Erna? Watch yourself near Eric. None of you there. Yo! Enjoy our mead and I have finished the, uh, all the quests. Hail, good lusty. Skeldir Wolfrunner is my name. I am the chieftain of Thrisk, and welcome you to our home. You will not find a bed. Look, I've already, I've done the thing. Oh, hang on. Oh, right, my bad. Skeldir, I'm sorry. I, I need someone called Heartfang. Ignore me, you, you're the wrong person. Thank you for the mead, though. That was great. You've given me mead. If you're tired, grab a bedroll and go to sleep. We don't stand on ceremony here at Thrisk. We live like family, as it should be. Can I... Do you, do you mean I can... I can sleep? In... In one of the beds, and you won't... You won't attack me? I love it here. This is my home. These are my people. I love them. It's, it's the only place in all of Morrowind where it's not a crime to be Enjoy a sleepy little guy. And kinship. I love him. You're my favorite person ever. Thrisk, tell me about Thrisk. What? Thrisk is the name of this mead hall. It was built over 500 years ago by a group of Nords who left the Skarl village. They were led by Throthmund the Red. What about the Skarl village? Uh, yes, you left the Skull Village, you, you've said that. We may not agree with their beliefs, but we respect them as fellow Nords. All right, cool. What about Raven Rock? It's on the southern shore, toward the west end of the island. Its name comes from the black colored coloring caused by all the ebony ore. Ebony ore? That's rare and valuable. You got any cool services? I like that. Bjornreel is the smith just outside. He can supply you with weapons and armor, or you could buy some mead. Talk to Ulfrun. This is the perfect place. Watch yourself near Eric, friend. How's it going, He's Svenja? A swine of a man. Hail, maid. Svenja Snowsong my is my name. Mother. We welcome guests here at Thrisk, so long as they behave themselves. Respect my home and my clan, and we get along just fine. One word of advice, though. Stay clear of Eric the Unworthy. He's more trouble than he's worth. Eric is the disgusting brute of a Nord. I've met Frostbores more charming than that oaf. He thinks he's a ladies' man, too. A pretty thing like you should have no problem earning his affections. Not that you'd want to. I'd like to teach him a little respect, but he is my clan brother after all. Still, I can't say that I'd cry in my mead if someone were to plant their axe in his chest. Eric the Unworthy. Apparently you hate him. Don't know where we find him, but all right, cool. You know what? These are the only people who have let me just hang out and not... Oh, it's you. <laughs> well, well. Aren't you a pretty little pup? What do you want? Speak up, wench. I'm a busy man. Uh, you want to talk about latest rumors, little secret? They say there's a pirate treasure buried somewhere on the island. Been here for a hundred years, and nobody's ever find it. Tell me about Skarl. Yeah, okay, cool. Same thing you're saying before. What about the werewolves on the island? People who turn into wolves. They sound worse than berserkers. Um, Eric, do you wanna? Why does that person over there hate you? Eric the Unworthy. If you ask him about his own name, he says, Oh, I'm worthy enough, little lass. 
I don't want to talk to you anymore, mate. You feel you feel icky. I feel I feel sticky being near you. Not in the good way. I, I don't like any of that. All of that was bad. So the Skull Village is where the other dude is. So we're gonna, gonna leap our way over to the Skull Village, try and find the guy. That wasn't the original Mead Hall, was it? That was not the Mead Hall that we need. The Mead Hall is somewhere else. I assume it's the village from over here. The Chieftain's Hut. Let's go and find it. The Shaman... Oh, he was in the hut, wasn't he? The Shaman was in the hut, and then he can ingratiate us back into the village. Icker the Unworthy. It wasn't the Mead Hall that we needed, but it was definitely the Mead Hall that we deserved. That's very true. That was the Ice Main... Where was the Shaman? The Shaman's Hut. I should go and speak to Heartfang. Shaman's Hut. No, you're Corst Windai. Heartfang was the... He was the main dude. He was the big boss. He was the head honcho. He was in the big village. You like to dance close. A bit late about GOG for offline games bought there. You can download an offline extoller. Yes, you can. You should definitely do that. The games are DRM free, and I appreciate that a lot whenever I buy them from there. There we go. You were told to perform the rituals needed to restore the power of the skull. What have you done? You've completed the ritual of the gifts. I'm impressed with your efforts, Outlander, but there is more to be done. You have shown a certain loyalty to the Skarl, and it surprises me. Tradition dictates that you now hold this. Base, Vavar Stonesinger. This is a treasure of the Skarl that I do not relish giving to an outsider. Still, you have earned it. But now, it is time to prove your wisdom. Though I believe your heart may be one with the Skarl, your mind must be as well. To that end, I would have you investigate a crime. It involves two of the Skarl, and your actions may decide their fate. Engar Icemain has been accused of theft. His accuser, Rigmore Halfhand, claims that Icemain stole furs from his house. These furs were indeed found in Icemain's residence. The Skarl do not take such things lightly. We have little, and each is given according to his need. This offence is punishable by exile or sacrifice to the wolves. Icemain will surely choose the wolves. Now speak with the Skarl. Find out what you can. Then report your findings to me, so the guilty may be punished appropriately. Interesting. Interesting. I am not playing with any mods apart from graphical. Graphical only? Nothing else. Okay, so. Speak to the people. Hmm. Let's have a look. So... Engar Icemain stole some furs. Yo, how's it going? Skarl Honor Guard. Tell me about Engar Icemain. He's a valiant warrior, and no thief. Any of the Skarl can tell you that. Anyone who would say differently is a liar. He's always proven to be brave and true, and it is impossible to imagine that he would be capable of this crime. Interesting. Okay, what about Rigmore Halfhand? He's a clever one. He's wise and crafty, and perhaps for this he's not well liked. Still, he is of skull, and we must take his accusations seriously. You're on your honor. Don't press your luck. So we've got a dude who's a little bit crafty, and we've got a dude who apparently is a great, powerful, and wise warrior. An honorable man. Doesn't sound like the kind of guy who would steal. Let's go and ask some uh, named people, shall we? Could be a framed crime. You never know. Could be a framed crime. We need to ask about the other dude. You look like a main character. Oh, Hagrad. Hagrad, tell me about Engar Icemane. Valiant warrior. And no thief. Wow, okay, cool. What do you think about uh, Rigmore Halfhand? He's a clever one. Interesting. So you, you say the same thing. Rigmore Halfhand. Engar, hey, it's you! You're the dude that's accused of stuff. You, who are to be my judge, what would you ask of me? I am Engar, 
Warrior of the Scarlet. Tell me what you think about uh, Rigmore Halfhand. I had no quarrel with Halfhand until this day. I thought him a friend to my family, to my wife, Reese Icemane especially. While I was on the hunt, he was known to keep counsel with her and others who remained in the village. But now this? From him? Reese is my wife, a wise and beautiful woman. Her life is not an easy one, as I am often gone for weeks on a hunt. But she is strong, and our children will be fine warriors. I, oh, <laughs> right, okay. Ooh. I can see where this is going, my friend. Straight away. All right, Reese Icemane. Let's you who are to be my let's ask about this. Yo, honor guard, tell me about Reese Icemane. She's a good woman, the wife of Engar Icemane. She must be strong while her husband spends long weeks away on the hunt. Yeah, yeah, that's that's one way of of putting it. Alvaring Whitebeard, yo, Reese Icemane, the the woman you know about her. She's a good woman. Yes, I'm sure uh, she on, is. Ice Mane's hut. Hey, it's you! You are the one who has to investigate a crime that's been blamed on my husband. How may I help you? Engar would never do such a thing as this. He's a man of honor, and we want for nothing. I, I cannot imagine what would drive Rigmore to make such an accusation. Perhaps he's jealous of my husband, and these charges are meant to disgrace him. Okay, tell me about your husband. He's a valiant warrior, and no thief. Tell me about uh, Reese. No, you're Reese. Tell me about Rigmore Halfhand. He's been a good friend to me until this accusation. We had spent some time together, but now he has decided to ruin my family. Okay, okay, cool. So, um, he's decided to ruin your family, has he? The I'm guessing the the furs were found here. We need to talk to the dude who's doing the accusing. Where's he? Where is Rigmore Halfhand? Oh, hang on. Erna the Quiet's hut. We've got business with you, Erna the Quiet. You, apparently, are a problem. Erna's note to Brandir. Dearest Brander, I have decided to take a walk on the banks of the Islid. The river is so beautiful this time of year, don't you think? Come find me, and we shall talk about our future and freedom from your shrew of a wife. Your love, Erna. Interesting. I'm going to take that note. We will discuss. We will discuss. There, a discussion will be had. What's up here? Scroll of Purity of Body. Cure common disease, cure blight. Well, I mean, if you're you're taking another man's woman, you're going to want to cast that on him first to make sure you guys are totally safe. So I respect that. There's a lot of respect going on there. You're, you're being safe. Good job. Environmental storytelling. That's mine now. I'm taking this. I might need that. What else is over here? Folded cloth, folded cloth. There's two tankards. Two flasks, two bowls, and two folded cloths. She is preparing. I like it. I like it a lot. We don't need any of that. But we could go and... Should we take a walk on the banks, see if we can find her? We might be able to find them. I still think we have to go and talk to... Was it Rigmore Halfhand? Rigmore, you are in this hut over here. Let's go chat to Rigmore. Too. Engar, tell me about your wife. She is my wife. Ah, right, good stuff. Good talk, dude. Glad we talked it through. You Wolski. like to walk a fine line, don't you? Wolski, what do you think about Engar Icemane? Okay, same thing. What about um, his wife? Yep, must be strong. And what about Rigmore Halfhand? Yeah, people don't like Rigmore. It seems. People are very... That's the smith. Where was Rigmore's house? Oh, north of where I currently am. That little hut just there. Cool. Let's go and see what there is. Let's go have a chat with you. What say you? Rigmore's hut. Hello, Rigmore. 
A Dance in the Fire, Chapter 1. Common pants, common shirt. Quality fortify health. Well, you... You want a little fortification every now and again? It's okay, I understand. Talk to me, bro. Yes. I understand you are investigating Engar Icemane's theft. A terrible thing. But you are sent to investigate a crime. What can I do for you, Outlander? He's always been a valuable member of the Skull, but he's not a caring man. He leaves his lovely wife for weeks at a time while on the hunt. He probably stole my furs because he wasn't able to provide enough for his family. Such a sad story. I can't understand why he would do such a thing. If Icemane had needed more furs, they would have been provided. But instead, he stole from my home. It is difficult to explain. I feel sorry for his lovely wife, who will be left all alone. A beautiful woman, deserving of better than her husband. Were I her mate, she would lead a much better life. Okay. Okay. Cool. Oh, that previous one. Erna the Choir wasn't at her house, but I found a note indicating she was taking a walk down by the river. The note was left for Brandir. Can only hope he hasn't already seen it. Eliminating Erna will be much easier without her lover's interference. You know what? I'm not bothered about those guys chatting anymore. I want to see what's going on over here. You have got some fine furs. I will give you that. There are some lovely... Lovely yes, furs. I understand you are investigating Engar Ice Main's theft. Yeah, he stole from you, didn't he, bro? I'm just having a look in your house, check there's nothing else suspicious around here. We all We're all making sure everything's above board and all good. So it seems to me like I'm guessing he planted his own furs in her house. Can we say investigating a theft to you? The accusations. Yes, it's a, it's a terrible situation. What do you think about the crime? And we can talk to the wife as well. Investigating a crime. What about the wife? Yeah, he, he probably did plan something else. Yo, you talk like to me. You like to walk a fine line, about the don't crime. you? The accusations. Yeah, the accusations are bad and all, but I I think there's a deeper thing going on here. Yo, very much think that. I don't think you actually... I don't think you committed this crime. I know what I'm accused of, and I know it's a lie. I have no need for the furs of Rigmore Halfhand. Interesting. I very much feel like him and the wife. He wants the wife. Half hand wants the wife. That's what he wants. White beard. Talk about a crime. But can we prove it? We're going to prove it. That's the problem. Has he planted something here? And he's going to be fed to the wolves. Or. Hello. Letter from Rigmore to Reesey. Dearest Reesey, why will you not see me? You know how I feel, and I know you feel the same about me. Please, simply consent to speak to me. Just a word. A moment with you would ease my soul. If I cannot be with you, I will have to resort to something drastic. Please, consider your feelings. Your husband is a lout, away for weeks at a time, with no consideration for your needs. I have always been there for you. And I always will be. We should be together, dear Reesey. Reesey! Yo! Answers! How's that, uh... You have found the letter, have you not? It is true that Rigmund and I had a brief affair, but that has ended. He refuses to let me go. Though I fear he has caused this trouble just to get rid of Engar. He must put a stop to this. My husband is a good man. And does not deserve this fate. All right, look, Reesey. I get it. Not saying you I agree, but I understand. However, not cool to effectively then blackmail a man to have him ostracized from the tribe to steal his wife. All right? Brief affair. Quick in and out. 20-minute adventure. That's all it was. But at the same time... 
Where, where's the dude's hut again? Was it this one? Yeah, Rigmore. Listen, mate, we need to have a chat. I get it, I understand. Don't agree, but I understand. But you cannot then be yes, effectively killing this you dude. you are investigating Angar Ice Main's theft. You found the letter. But, but, but why would... This is an outrage. I never... I only wanted the woman. Why did the fool have to choose the wolves? He could have simply left, and she and I could have been together forever. You know my crime. And I know you must tell Hartfang. Let us go to him. I will accept my fate. Right, Halfhand. Let's go and chat to the main dude. Come with me. You. Oh, you. You little scamp. You little rascal. You are going to get fed to the wolves, but... <laughs> yeah. You're a cheeky little, cheeky little lad, aren't you? What's going on? Hey, guess what we found? Guess what we found? So, Halfhand has invented this tale of theft over a woman. By the Allmaker, this will not go unpunished. By Skull tradition, making a false accusation carries the same penalty as the crime that is claimed surprisingly fair system. In this case, either exile or death by sacrifice to the wolves. The verdict is yours to decide. Alright, so do we do we feed this dude to the wolves or do we exile him? Which is probably going to mean death anyway, unless he found the other mead hall to the south, in which case he'll be accepted and live out his entire days just drinking mead. Uh, no, I think he tried to ruin a man's life over wanting his wife, so I'm going to sacrifice you to the wolves. The most honourable death, perhaps, the Cairnlorn. The ceremonial wolves of the tribe would be summoned by the shaman and Halfhand would be fed to them. In that way, his spirit would be purified and reborn. Perhaps a better life than this one that he has chosen to throw away. It's up to you. Yeah, you know what? Feed him to the wolves. To the wolves, then. You have shown mercy, Lusty, allowing him to die with this honor. Perhaps you have some wisdom after all. Lead the prisoner outside that he may accept his sentence. The shaman will summon the Cairnlorn to perform their function. But first... Accept this token. It is unlikely, but perhaps you too can be more like the wolves we revere. Helm of the wolf's heart has been added to you your have inventory. Done well, showing your loyalty I don't think we can wear it. Helm of the wolf's heart. Constant effect. Fortify agility. Fortify sneak. We can. We can wear it. It's, it's got a single big ear. And as pretty as it is, I think we instead go for the yellow hat. It's pretty, don't get me wrong, but the yellow hat has a certain charm that we go. We, we stick with that one instead. Come on, you cheeky little chappy. Time to die. I have nothing to say. My time is done. Come on, you little rapscallion. Outside we go. Time to watch you get mauled by wolves. Don't worry, mate. I did it for you. Just gonna close the gate there. You will die where you stand. And then he actually does get mauled by in-game wolves mm. and dies. And then the ceremonial wolves get de-summoned, and we can. I'm not gonna loot him. He deserves the dignity of that. I will close the gate, though. Okay, rip. Rip in peace. Cole, welcome to the stream. Cole, how you doing today? Ladies and gents, if you aren't aware, Cole Rowland, one of my favourite artists. Been my gym soundtrack for the last few days. I was being serious with that. Echo is really just... Uh, that is getting the reps in. But if you guys haven't searched for Cole Rowland on, uh, on YouTube, worth it. Definitely worth it. 100% totally worth it. How you been up to, guy? Should have fed his wife to the wolves, too. You know what? They're, yeah, let's tell the dude... Yo, hey, man. You are totally safe, totally cool. I fixed it for you. We're all good. You have cleared my name. 
and restored my honor. What can I do for you, my friend? You can do nothing, mate. You can have a good life. You have cleared my name. Just have a good Don't life and chill out. Let's go and let the... Let the dude know that he's been sorted. Hey, bro. We're all good. You have done well, Lusty. You've shown loyalty and wisdom. But there is one thing further I will require of you. Now you must prove your strength as a warrior. I wish for you to travel to Lake Fjalding. I'll mark it on your map. Seek out Korst Windai, who has traveled there already. I'll give you further instructions. Look for him on the northern shore of the lake. Okay, cool. Lake Fjalding, northern shore. Pretty sure I've been here before. Lake Fjalding is... Yeah, it's kind of to the south. It is the big lake. It's directly south of where we are, which means we can jump. There we go. Lovely stuff. This is a lot of stuff to do. It is, just to find a missing captain. That's true. We are only here to find the missing captain, remember, because they might know where he is. Why is the lake on fire? That's not normal. You don't, uh... You don't see that every day. That is an on-fire lake. That's not how it's meant to look. What's going on? Is it dangerous? Doesn't seem to be. It said we can meet the dude on the northern shore, didn't it? So... Maybe we can meet the dude on the northern shore. Can't see him anywhere. You know what, I think he's probably going to point to the big on-fire bit of the lake and be like, that's... that's the problem. Oh, hello. Oh, that was a, a thing that wasn't open last time. What's this? Caves of Fjalding. Oh, of course, it's full of Draugr and Bone Wolves. Why wouldn't it be? We'll pop inside then, shall we? Kill some Bone Wolves, kill some Draugr. Let's go and explore these ice caves. Don't know what to expect. Maybe more Draugr and more Ice Wolves, possibly. Nothing to worry about. It's just, you know, sometimes water does that. I'm not a water expert. Oh. I don't know how it works. Sometimes water just randomly oh. sets on fire. It's just a thing you have to learn to live with. Can you enchant things with multiple mark spells? You cannot, unfortunately. You only have one mark active at any one time. It's down here. Like in the ice graphics, though. This is a dead end. With a body. A corpse. Iron broadsword. Restore health. That's a... Very f that is a very dramatically dead corpse. I like to think if I die in a dramatic way, I would strike that pose right before dying. That makes me happy. That is very overly dramatic. It's good. I am playing an Argonian, that is true. What would you guess is the most common answer to what's the opposite of fire? I mean, I guess most people would guess ice. Stupid sexy skeletons. Hey, what you do in your free time is up to you. Okay? Necromancers, they just want to raise a family. Such a dumb joke. But I'm going to make it every time. Let's rest until healed. It's over here. I don't know what I'm looking for. I've just been sent to the Lake Fjolding to go into the caves. They've been like, yo, just... Just go to the caves, see what's over there, test of strength, go and prove how strong you are. Probably just get something from the center of the caves, like a really heavy boulder or something. I mean, yeah, looks like a good cave. 10 out of 10 in the cave so far. You're putting the romance back in necromance. You were not sent to enter the cave, you were sent to talk to a guy. Yeah, but the guy would have said, go into the cave. The, the guy would have said, yo, lake's on fire. That's not normal. Pop inside, have a quick gander, see what's going on, report back to me, because right now there's some shenanigans going on. And we don't like that. We've got no time for that. Yeah, there's a little bit of, a uh, little bit of strangeness happening. Sort it out. That's what he would have said, because he's very British. Oh, hello. 
Devil Tanto. Fire Shield on self. And... Oh, Bound Dagger. Yeah, we've already got a Bound Dagger. I don't need that. The Bound Weapons are good, though. The Bound Weapons are damn good for what they are. I don't feel safe with all this sequence breaking. We're not sequence breaking. He said go to into Lake Fjolding, and I've gone into Lake Fjolding. I'm in Lake Fjolding right now. Oh, Aslip's lair. Who's Aslip? Why do they need a lair? Let's pop inside. Plot twist. We're here to get the devil dagger. Can you imagine? They're like, yeah, go and find this really rare dagger that's in a box somewhere. What is this? Ooh, woo. What's this? My goodness, thank you very much for the 20 gifted subs. I'm going to try and pronounce your name correctly. Is it... It's either Thetri or Theata. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, because those letters, in my mind, it's like theater, spelled strangely. But thank you very much. That's remarkably kind of you. Let's just... Hopefully you enjoy. Hello. You... There's... There's stuff... Are you angry? Are you aggressive? Draugr Lord Aslip. Let's have a quick save and a quick chat. He, he doesn't seem aggressive. You don't seem aggressive. Hello. I'm trying to I'm trying to chat to you, bro. Just stuck on your box. Hang on. You. I've. I am legit stuck on this box. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we're good. Why? Why do you not wish to talk to me? My goodness. Okay, fine. Maybe he doesn't, uh... Maybe he doesn't wish to talk to me anymore. Maybe I've got to talk to the other dude first. Uh, you've got to talk to Corst Windai. You know what? I'm going to mark right here. Have a quick mark. There we go. Now, I'll go and find Corst. Then, I'll recall here. But you should be able to sequence break. You should... I've just investigated what looked to me like a bit of a weird thing. You know, a bit strange, isn't it? If Stranger Things were made in the UK, that's what it would be called. It'd be called a bit odd. Nordic Mail Curass, Steel Shield, Salt Rice. Now I'm good. Let's go and find out. Just tuned in. Where's your uniform? Mr. Riff, there is still time to tune out and not say that. It's okay. But if you must know, my uniform, I'm going to have to order an actual hat, aren't I? Like an actual helmet in real life. And then so when someone says that, I'm going to have to put it on. There's no way around this. I've, I think this is the only way to solve this problem. I have to do this at some point. Just use your Skyrim helm. I do have a Skyrim helm, don't I? Where the hell is that? Ah, oh, it's probably upstairs. I'll have to go and get that at some point. I'll, I'll work out where that is. But I have got one of the, the hats that they made for the Skyrim release. It's like a little beanie kind of hat. It's a bit odd, isn't it? Yeah. When will Josh wear a maid uniform? If we sell enough gamer subs. That's... There we go. I didn't even... The gamer subs people didn't even know that that was going to be a thing that I suggested. But if we do... Apparently, if you use the code, Josh, a little thing pops up on the stream. I think I've set it up correctly. I don't know, but I think I have. So, if anyone buys something with code Josh, let me know. And I will double check. I will watch to see if that actually happens. Uh, I will, by the way, actually get a, a waifu cup. If... If we ask nicely, I should be able to. What's the numeric value of enough? I've got no idea. I'll just talk to them and be like, yo... Is this working? Is this is this good for you? Let's try and find this dude. Come on, where is he? If I was a dude, where would I be? Wearing a helmet would break immersion. It... Yeah, I mean, I've had a haircut, and I want to show off the haircut now. That's the thing. I need to show off the haircut. It's very important to me that you all see the effort and time that I... There he is! There's our dude. Let's go and have a look. Can I get a cup I can bring out in public? Yeah, they've got some cups without waifus on them. But, I mean, why would you want that? Right, course wind eye. Ah, you've arrived. But our records don't show from where. The stream title says the code is Josh without an apostrophe before it, but not after it. 
Yeah, that's just a mistake I made. Just straight up a mistake. What I would do for an energy drink without the enthusiasm. <laughs> I mean, I'm just... I'm just using the regular waifu one. Uh, how are you supposed to even find this bloke? There's no arrows above him. I know! What the hell? There's, there's like no arrows. These are strange times, my friend. I am unsure what magic is being worked to cause a disturbance on the lake. Fire from water. Flame through ice. Hartfang believes a Draugr lord who lives beneath the lake is the source of this. I am not certain, but I fear that this could be a sign of the Blood Moon prophecy. Though I pray to the Allmaker that this is not true. It's an ancient prophecy. One that I hope is but a myth. It tells of a time when the moon will turn blood red, and the wolves that walk like men will walk the land. The prophecy tells of other signs that precede the blood moon, but they are not easily interpreted. Let us speak of this another time. For now, prove your strength. Hartfang has sent you here to show your strength, your ability to survive in the harshest of conditions. Beneath the lake, there are a series of ice caverns. In one of those caves, you will find Aislip, a Draugr Lord. Okay. You want me to find the, the Draugr Lord, Aislip? From what I have heard of the histories, Aislip was once a powerful mage who delved in necromancy. As a result of these dark magics, he was made a Draugr. But he retains much of his immense power. You are to kill this creature, and perhaps end this madness. Take care with this task, Lusty. This situation seems odd to me. All right, cool. Not a problem, mate. I'm going to have a quick tactical nap. Uh, then I'm going to recall. This is what he's about to see. I will help you right now. After I have penetrated this half-naked man. Oh, damn. You've got a load of health. God damn. How have you got so much... You are way tougher than a regular berserker. How do you have... Confused lunatic. He has no armor on him. Right. Let me have a tactical nap. Y you've you've gone. Okay, bye. Now let me recall and speak to this Draugr Lord. You are brave or foolish to enter this place, Argonian. But I sense a bit of wisdom in you. Perhaps. I might kill you where you stand were you to try and keep me from my task. But there are more dangerous things in these caves than this poor soul. I have been in this cave for many centuries. The Draugr you met in this place are not my kin, mindless creatures driven only by desire for living flesh. My story is quite different. I was once a mage of the people who call themselves the Skarl. I was powerful mortal, powerful beyond their reckoning, but I strayed. I delved into the black arts, became learned in the ways of necromancy. When I was discovered, I was cast out by my people. Alone, I wandered to this place. I continued to learn what I could of the ways of the living flesh and the energies that I animate. I became a summoner. I communicated with the Daedra. It was then that I learned of their machinations, their plans to destroy my people. A group of Frost Daedra had taken up residence deep in the bowels of the island. I thought at first that it was my doing, that I had somehow summoned these fiends, but they were beyond my abilities. I learned that they would wipe this island clean of life, slaughter my people, and all we held dear. I knew I must act. I tried to warn my people, but I was an empty voice to them, as though I were dead. So I used my magic to erect a barrier deep in this ice. Stop it. Serious speech. Don't laugh at the word erect. Strong enough to contain these Daedra and keep them from overrunning the island. Josh should do audiobooks. I would love to if someone wants to hire me to do it. The barrier held. For years I maintained it. But I grow old. I know that my death would mean the death of all life on Solstheim. My life had to be extended. So I used my knowledge of the Black Arts 
and I turned myself into the creature you see before you. A draugr, eater of flesh. But my life was infinite. I could keep the barrier intact, so my people may survive. And now you appear. To kill me, perhaps. You may have the power. But perhaps you have a greater purpose here. Fight with me, Argonian. Together we might vanquish these creatures and send them back to their unholy plane. I will lower the barrier, and we will cleanse this land of the Scourge. I turned myself into a Draugr, Morty. Morty, look. Look. I'm Draugr A-slip, Morty. That's the energy this has got. Right, what do we do? Do we destroy these creatures together? So, this dude knew that if his ice wall failed, what would then happen is everything would die. So he committed himself to eternal unlife just to protect his kin. What do we do? What? I think we trust this dude and fight with him. I mean, I say I am honor bound to end your life. Look, honor, if you know the result is going to be the entire island being wiped out, we ain't doing that. You know, we're not. I'm gonna help you. Let us destroy these creatures together. This is wise. I will lower the barrier that keeps the demons at bay. You and I will be victorious, as the lives of all those above are forfeit, if we are not. Right. Save the game. You ready, my bro? Let's do it. Which way are we going? I assume we're going this way. Oh, there we go. That's the barrier. A slips barrier. It's gone. Here we go. Let's go fight some some enemy baddies. I'm assuming like Daedra and stuff. <gasps> Frost Atronax. You guys are pretty tough. But not as tough as my spear. Oh, okay. He's also a real badass sorcerer. This is a an escort mission. And I am scared that he is not going to be anywhere near as tough as he needs to be to survive this. So, I am just going to be blitzing through killing stuff as fast as I can because my god if he dies everything dies and that's a problem you know because I'm part of everything this is where I keep my stuff I can't be having these things destroy the world I live in the world the world is part of me I'm part of it And I'm using my Eidolon's ward heavily to survive the damage these guys are throwing onto me, because, jeez, this damage is high. Okay, cool, you're dead again. You're dropping things? You're dropping frost salts. I don't need those. I'm not doing any alchemy, because that is way too overpowered. Yeah, that's where I keep my stuff. It was from the tick, wasn't it? Small chest, lock level 50. Hang on, mate. We're just going to take a quick... A quick... Oh, 402 gold. I'll take that. What's in the barrel? Cheap restore health. That's, this is the wrong way. Let's go this way instead. Just join. Nice haircut, Josh. Thank you very much. I walked into the barbers and I said, give me a nice haircut. And you know what? I was whelmed when I walked out. They did indeed give me a nice haircut. They were you know, true to their word. I asked for a very specific thing. They provided it. Money exchanged hands. I walked home happy. It was good. It was a good time all round. Would are they tea posing when they die? Asserting dominance even in death. I've got to be real. I think the amount of Nords on the island could probably fight these guys. Also, you are running out of health, my bro. You are very, very low on health. Can I sleep? You can rest. He needs to rest, too. I need to get my Skeleton Key but better spell. Unlock you. What we got? Glass Fire Sword. Ooh, you're expensive. Steel Dart, Hackle the Leaf, Journeyman's Armor's Hammer. I'll take that. That's very important. This is a big room. Yo. Let us continue. Okay. 
Guessing we've got more evil to kill down here somewhere. How much gold do I have? Uh, I gave it away, so 1,315. And the reason for that is I gave all of my gold away. I was too powerful. You know, I was, I had like 500,000 gold, all the best weapons, all the best armor. So we went on a huge, big adventure. I think this is, oh yeah, if you weren't here last stream, uh, we did that. We, we gave Almalexia her sword back. We gave Lord Vivek his sword back. We put the stealth amulet away. We put the king's ring back on the king's corpse. We put the Daikatana back there. Basically, we undid all of our work. We killed Gaynor and then put his amulet somewhere that we wouldn't be able to get it or use it because it's too powerful. I feel that we'd reached a point where we were so powerful, everything was easy. It is done. My time is over. You have done a service here today, both to me and to the people of this island. Now I may rest. Before I go, take this. May you have the strength of will to continue on your own journey. Thank you, Draugr Lord Aislip. You gave me a ring. What was the ring that you gave me? Draugr Lord Aislip's ring. Wherever it may be. See if I can find it. What was it called again? A slips ring. Constant effect. Fortify willpower and fortify magicka. That's pretty good. We got to a point where everything was easy. Almalexia would like a rematch in an open field. She may want that, but she's not going to get that, is she? That seems unfair on her, if anything. I would embarrass her in that. I, the only reason she stayed alive for so long was because I had an an unnatural desire to go in and out of doors repeatedly. What are we wearing currently? We're wearing the Mudrum Ring and the Ring of Raven Eye. Mudrum Ring is cool. Take it off and put it away and then stick on the ring that we got from this dude. Where's the Ace Lips Ring? That was it. Cool. We are now fortified. I like it. Chest lock level 50. Let's... Let's go with Undoosie's open door for this. That's all we need. Dire Spark Blade, Iron Arrow, Nordic Mail Left Pauldron, Nordic Mail Right Gauntlet. There's probably like one set of Nordic Mail all around. With the last of the Daedra fell, Aislip realized his task was complete and he gave me a magical ring. But we, technically he is dead now, so we can go and report to Karstang that we've done that? We can. We can let Karstang know that we have proven our strength by not only killing the the guy, the Draugr, but also a load of Dremora, a load of Frost Atronachs that were also down here, which is very impressive. I have unfortunate news. My second and third monitors have decided to uninstall. Oh, I see. That's a problem. That is a problem. Now I'm on the first monitor. I don't know if I can take that. That's that's too much pressure, especially because I've been streaming for three and a half hours and I need a five minute break to pop to the bathroom and grab a bite to eat. So guys, I will see you in. Let's have a 10 minute break because I'm streaming for a long time. Let's do a lovely 10 minute break and I'll see you guys then. Stretch time. Just stretch your legs, get off the chair, walk around for a bit, get a glass of water. There's always a distinct interesting emotional feeling of whenever I leave and I come back to more viewers. I'm like, is that what I need to do? When I go away? Is everyone like, he's gone, the stream's good now. Finally, the countdown, the num that scared me. Dr. Paxmore, that's what I do occasionally. I wait for the, I lull you into a false sense of security. Chair stream, it was so quiet. Chair stream, oh no, he's talking again. Fine, I'll just sit here and eat at you. You can't stop me. Get ready. Also, go and buy some gamer subs. Do it. Get advertised at, nerds. You get 10% off with code Josh. You should do it, because they sell waifu cups. Okay, five minutes of just this. You guys ready? Let's work together.
What am I eating? I'm eating a Mountain Joe's Protein Millionaire Bar. It's not a Game of Sops sauce bar. Although I do have those, and they are very nice. Funny how it looks like a chocolate bar. It is very similar to a chocolate bar. It's quite nice. Morrowind is a cozy game, man. I agree. As soon as I finish this protein bar, we'll go back to it being a cozy game. Apart from all the, you know, death and murder and infidelity and cheating and that time we had to help a guy get some sleep because someone else had cursed him because he'd driven a boat wrong and killed their family. Apart from that, the incredibly dark plot points, lovely and cozy. Kiwi says, what on earth is a waifu cup? It is how you assert dominance when you go to the gym. All right. Everyone else is there with their protein cups. No, no. It's, it's how you never lose your cup when you go to the gym. You know which cup is yours. It's the one with the anime waifu on it. Is it that you don't lose it or that no one steals it? Little of column A, little of column B. Swings and roundabouts, guys. Swings and roundabouts. I've been following you since the beginning keep rocking thank you very much thank you man i appreciate that in all seriousness the reason i took the game of sponsorship was because for months i've actually been drinking their supplements and they are very tasty what game will you play after morrowind well after the ash storms of vardenfell almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter i will be playing a game that i've never played before uh, a game that i'm told on good authority is good but I don't know, because I've legit never played it. I'll be playing Fallout New Vegas for the first time ever, completely fresh on stream. I've not researched it. I've not looked into it. I've not read guides. I don't know anything about it. I have watched part of the H Bomber Guy video on it. And after I was convinced to play the game, I stopped watching it and I'm like, all right, we're doing that. So if any of you are fans of New Vegas, yeah, you're going to get to see me play the whole game through with absolutely no idea what I'm getting into. That's that's legit. I'm excited about that. I'm not playing Starfield. Uh, I think I'll play the good games first, and when we run out of other good games, then I'll play Morrowind again, and then we'll play Starfield. Have I played Fallout 1 and 2? No. I've played Fallout 3, and I was disappointed with Fallout 3. I don't think it's... I was going to say I don't think it's a bad game, but I do, yeah, actually, yeah. I think that, unfortunately, Fallout 3 gets a hell of a lot of the stuff about being a story wrong. You aren't even the main character in your own story, which is a bit bad. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to be doing uh, be doing New Vegas. The reason I never got around to playing New Vegas years ago when it released was I always thought it was an expansion pack. I just straight up thought, oh, they've, they've put out a Fallout 3 expansion pack. This is this. I should just play this, but... No, it turns out it's a whole new game. So yes, I'll, uh, I'm looking forward to that. Seeing what's going on. Will I try Fallout London? Is that the expansion pack? Or is that the... That's the kind of fan mod thing, isn't it? I will eventually get around to fan mods. The problem is there's so many of them. I mean, there's Tamriel rebuilt. And all the kind of expanded stuff for Morrowind. There's a load of extra Morrowind content. In fact, I'm pretty sure the, the mod, the new Tamriel mod, is bigger than the actual base game of Morrowind. Like, there's 
there's more fan-made stuff than anything else. That is lovely particle effects, by the way. That's That looks pretty good. Playing Morrowind Rebirth, that kind of stuff. Yeah, there's so much. So, so much. Okay, we need to go and inform the dude that we have done the thing. And we inform by leaping. Okay, let me... Why? Can I not jump? Why am I not allowed to jump? Is it because it still thinks I'm walking on the water? There we go. Okay, perfect. Now we can jump. Beautiful stuff. Have I looked at Open Morrowind Co-op Mod? Yes, I have, because everyone keeps sending it to me. I won't be playing too much of it. I tend not to do too much co-op stuff on stream, simply because you guys know how much I talk on stream. Imagine playing with someone else and talking just as much as I talk now. They would hate it. They would never be able to get a, a, a word in Edgewage. Blazy, welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Thank you for finally catching on one of the things. Chat out Star Wars Battlefront 2 Classic. Okay, so the last classic game I played, in fact, the next game in the Was It Good series is Tomb Raider 2. It took me three days to finish Tomb Raider 2. That is a tough game. All right, the only, the biggest saving grace about Tomb Raider 2 is the fact that you can quick save anywhere. And by the time I finished it, I think I'd quick saved about 300 times. It is a challenging game, without a doubt. Hey, bro, how's it going? I've done the thing for you. You are to prove your strength. I wish for you to travel to Lake Fjaldink. I already have, mate. The lake is... I've, I've done it. I've killed the guy. Like, I've, I've killed the Draugr. The main dude. The main man. The head honcho. Oh, I've got to talk to Corst Windai, haven't I? I've... Right. I have agreed. A slip. Where's Corst Windai? Maybe you need to go and talk to Corst first. Is there like a... Have I sequence broke? Where's the shaman's hut? You're over here. Is he over here, Mr. Shaman? Or is there like two instances of the Shaman and one of them... One of them is over at the lake. He's over at the bloody lake, isn't he? What's that book? The Five Far Stars. Interesting. No, I'm good. I'm gonna have a look nosy around his hut. Because normally there's an environmental storytelling. Bread? Ah, so... Not... Glutose intolerant, I see. Dried belladonna herbs. Nothing secret around here. What a boring man. Okay, now we have to go over and talk to the guy at the lake, south of where we were. Right, back to jumping. But first, stand still for 24 hours so my jumping amulet recharges. Beautiful stuff. Right, let's go back to the lake. I'm carrying too much weight. And by that, I mean I need to reduce the amount I'm carrying so I can jump further. Because as it stands, I'm not jumping as far as I want to with every single one. It's good you don't have to eat. I mean, you could install that mod that means you do, but I've never really been a big fan of the whole hardcore survival mods. I know some people like them because they add a load of mechanics, but normally when people say survival mechanics, they just mean you need to eat or drink often or your character will die which is not necessarily a survival mechanic as much as it is a countdown to death that happens unless you engage by just clicking food and drink. It's basically saying, hey, click this in your inventory every now and again, or you'll die. Where is the dude? Hey, you guys look. It oh. It's those two. Remember? It's the to your the to meet Erna. We have a love my wife would never understand. Hi, okay, cool. Yeah. Hello, Brandy. Let me introduce Erna. That's how he talks. She and I have a love my wife would never understand. Hello, Erna. Have you met my love, Brandy? I've been hired to kill you. Um, 
However, however, little advice. They say Spriggans die three deaths. There's pirate treasure on the island. It's south of... You know what? Who am I to get in the way of true love? Now, I'm big in relationships on yeah, communication. Some people are born dumb. Like me, for instance. I'm just big on the whole communication thing. I like your armor, by the way. Your armor is badass. It looks really cool. So there I Look, Brandir, just go and... the honey jar again. Just go and tell your wife it ain't working and then be with this person. Just, just do that. Just talk. You crazy kids and your... your bad choices. Fine. Leave you to it. The Sisterhood of the Hat. Oh, yeah. You say kill the mistress, but is it not his fault as well? Like, she knows that he's a taken guy, but he also knows he's a taken guy. That was one thing that I really, I found so strange when I was a kid. Because you always watch media, TV shows, films, you know, the news, books, and it would be like, oh, my husband is cheating with me on this woman. I'm going to blame the woman. And I'm sat there thinking, hold up a tick. There are two people involved in this situation. I kind of think that you need to place at least half of the blame on the husband. The guy who was actually in the relationship with you, who chose to go and do that. You know, the woman might not even know. I don't know. But it's so strange that you immediately... I wonder who wrote those media stories. Yeah. Yeah, probably people who weren't as... Uh, you're going to dishonor the hat. The hat has many tales to tell. This is one of them. Hey, Korst. What have they slip, my friend? You were sent to kill the powerful Draugr. He is defeated. It seems there was more to that creature than any of us had imagined. You have done well, Lusty. I, for one, will be proud to call you Skarl. Return to the Skarl village. I'll meet you there in a while. There are matters I must attend to. Like what? Okay, fine. I'm just going to jump all the way back. I'm going to stand here and wait until my jumping amulet gets better. Then I'll jump even more. Also, there needs to be some kind of... I'm going to sell some stuff to the blacksmith, so I've got stuff I do not need. Greetings! First time I've been able to catch you live. Uh, too tired to game, so your main monitor content today. Charles, that's a lot of pressure. You're coming at me with a lot of expectations, mate. Okay, let's... I think we need to just settle those expectations together, you and me. Let's whelm each other. Alright? Neither over nor under. Just whelmed. That's all we need to be. Right, that Dwarven crossbow weighs 10. Eb... Why do I have an ebony longsword on me? It weighs 20... It weighs 40. And has a value of 20,000. You know what? I don't need that. Have that. Uh, what else? Oh, the me... Oh, holy crap. Okay. The Mace of Avar Stonesinger. This was the mace that was given to us by the Chieftain. Type, blunt weapon, one-handed. Chop, 90 damage. That's insane. My spear only does 60. My spear weighs 20. Avar Stonesinger, it weighs 90. That is... That is very impressive. Now, the problem is that I'm selling him a sword that's worth... 20,000 and he's only got two and a half thousand gold but you know what mate sell a max have it you're welcome the question now guys is we have to make a choice this what spear this smith do for you armor weapons some conversation do you want to have a chat do you want to you know, just talk mate we can talk about the latest rumors we can have a little heart to heart a little tete -a tete tell me tell me about um you don't have any interesting... About werewolves? They are perversions. Man was not meant to live a dual life as both rational being and animal. These beasts are evil and dangerous, but they are also very rare. More have been seen in recent times, though. Okay, guys, we have a serious conversation to have here. Do we continue with the spear that we are using now? It was given to us by the Daedric Prince of Madness, Sheogorath. It has seen us through, got us quite far. However, our spear skill is now 98. We've done pretty damn good. 
Or do we use the Mace of Avar Stone Singer, given to us as a gift? A gift because we completed all of the trials, the tribulations of Avar Stone Singer. And this mace got a little face on it, see? A little face on the handle. It's very pretty. It does a ton of damage. 90 damage per slash, which it will do automatically. And an extra frost damage, 8 points when it hits. It's worth 50,000 gold. Now that's worth 130,000. Cast when used. Reflect. We're not reflecting it. So do we thrust? Would you rather thrust for 60 or smash for 90? Fellas, that's a question for you right there. Think about it before you answer. It's a very important thing. Because if we go with the, ma the Mace of Avar Stonesinger, that was a mace that we have earned by doing all of those things in order. Let's use it for a bit and see how it works for us, shall we? What would Lusty do? Lusty has polished the Spear of Bitter Mercy to an almost perfect sheen. But I think she wants to take some time to work on her one-handed. And, I mean, right now, what is my one-handed skill? I don't think it's great. It's a blunt weapon, one-handed. Where is that? Hang on. Let's see if I can find it. Is that, does, is that not a skill? Or am I just being really... Oh, it's there. Blunt weapon. It counts as blunt weapon, does it? Okay, there's no actual thing. There's no skill of one-handed. It's just blunt weapon. 54. That's decent. You know what? I'll take it for a bit. We'll use it. We'll see what happens. But that's where all the bloody weight came from. Shadow Sting weighs... That weighs a lot. Chameleon, 200 to 100% for 20 seconds. That's on me, isn't it? That seems too powerful. That seems way too powerful. You know what? You know what? Look, don't tell me about your problems. I was going to give you a braid, a, a braid, a blade, but now I will not. You have just talked yourself out of a free Lord John in Brett's last dance. You have gained knowledge. Your light armor has increased. All right, cool. I don't. Uh, I'm glad that you read. What's, what's under the table? What's, it's a jug. Okay, cool. I was going to give him that sword, but now no. I don't want that. I don't want to give it to him. You know what? Don't press your luck. You. Ice main. I managed to solve the you crime. You have cleared my name and restored my honor. What can I do for you, my friend? You can do nothing. However, here is a sword. Shadow Sting. Use it well. Here is also another sword. Use that. If hang on, just do you want some more swords? I can here is a no, you don't have that, that's mine. Two swords for your two hands. No more need be said. No more need be said. I think that was pretty self-explanatory. Now you take that mace and you cave in the skull of those deceitful... No, we, we leave them alone. We've got bigger problems. We might come back and smack them if we need to. But they might like that. You've returned from the lake. You continue to surprise me, Lusty. I have matters to attend to now. We will speak again soon. That... You've returned from the lake. I trust you completed your task. Please... You must help. The village is under attack by werewolves. Outside. Quickly. Horrible creatures. They've not been seen in generations. Their appearance can only be a sign of dangerous things to come. Werewolves, you say? Time to mace. Oh, God. Oh, God. These things are well powerful. Hang on. Yeah, sit down, son. You will die where what? you stand. What? You have violated the law of the skull. As you're not of our people, you'll pay for your crimes. I just... I misclicked. I've killed the werewolves. Okay, goodbye. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus, you are... Away. You will die where you stand. 
The object is broken. Oh no! <sighs> this was not how I wanted the werewolf defense bit to go. I wanted to run outside like a hero and defend the village. What actually happened was I ran outside, smacked a guard in the face. He started attacking me. I nearly died, leapt through the air and then killed myself when I landed on the floor. That and thus the Nerevine prophecy ends. As Lusty leapt through the sky. The game really needs a hey if you if you're involved in a group fight maybe don't don't worry if i miss i've got the cure for your curse right here lads it took four of you to kill one werewolf are you guys all right all right sweet we defended the village from werewolves let's go back inside see what's going on all right, man. You're all defended and whatnot. Oh, God, no, they're not. We're in. They're in here. Yeah. I'm trying to hit you with this, but... Oh, my God, I just survived by the power of the door. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, the door! The door! We just full on survived. Also, I seem to be missing every now and again with this attack. Is it because my blunt skill is nowhere near as powerful as my other skill? Your journal's been updated. The werewolves inside the Great Hall are defeated. The Skull Guard that was inside is dead. Heartfang, however, is nowhere to be found. What the hell? Oh no. We've lost Heartfang. Mead, take it. Get drunk. That's going to be a plan later. Heartfang? You being... You being sneaky? Nope. He may have been taken. Okay, we've lost Heartfang. That's a problem. Let's see if any of the guards know anything. You! Of course. I know you have been infected by these werewolves. What? Oh dear. Sainese loop. Okay. I'm going to say this word, and we're not going to laugh. We unfortunately have Sainese Lupinus. Okay. Lupine. Okay, it's not spelt Lupinus. That would be worse. Sainese, okay, Sainese Lupinus. That's what we're going to say from now on. We have the Sainese Lupinus. I've only just arrived. And to this horror, it is good you were here to protect these people. You have done well by the scar. My worst fears have been realized, Lusty. Those creatures are werewolves, as you surely know. This is not a good omen for our village. And I have more troubling news. I have used my magic to detect any of the infest infection these beasts leave in their wake. And you, my friend, have been infected. The infection seems innocent enough. Some weakness, perhaps. Sometimes the effects are hardly noticeable. However, in three days' time, the victim will become a werewolf himself. Or herself, the Nerevine is a woman in this prophecy. It is a fate I would not wish upon my greatest foe. During these three days, though, a simple cure disease spell can stop the infection. I beg you to do this. Until then, I fear I cannot allow you to be a part of our community. 
perhaps infecting others. When you have been cured, I hope you will return to us again. It's not spelled like pine. It's not. Look at the name of the thing. L-U-P-I-N-U-S. Lupinus. Sanis Lupinus. Drain fatigue, one point. Not great. Okay. Yo, I still haven't found I know the bloody you have captain. Been infected by these werewolves. The whole point of me being here is to find the captain. Carnius Magius. That name is not known to me. God damn it, it was known to the other dude. God. Okay, what do we do? What do we do? What should we do? Do we have to go to... Do we become a werewolf? Do I let the werewolf infestation take hold? That's the question. I could just nap for three days. We could do that. What would Lusty do? Is Lusty the kind of girl that would want to be a werewolf? I mean, it would turn her into a bit of an animal. She would be the ultimate scaly furry. That's hitting two very specific demographics. And we've got waifu cups going on. We're hitting three demographics, guys. This is... this is a big thing. Does she want the lupinus? That's the question. I'm gonna have to poll this. And if you guys get it 50-50, I will... I don't know. I was going to say I would leave, become a vampire, come back and do it as a vampire instead. But that would be so much work. I swear to God, if you manage... If you do 50-50, I drop the mace of Avar Stonesinger. And then we carry on. Become werewolf or get cured. Do we become a werewolf or do we get cured? 50-50 replay the bouncer. That's a terrible idea. Why would you do that? We can't drop the bonk. So if we get 50-50, we drop the bonk. And otherwise, I just follow your exact... It has to be exactly 50-50, though. Like 100% exactly 50-50 to the person. And I don't want to drop the bonk. Look at it. It's badass. It's like one of the best weapons in the game. It's, it's cool that we've even bloody well got it. Yeah, I think it's better than the weapons that you get to kill uh, Dagoth Ur. 50-50. Drop the hat. No. Okay, fine. I know what it is. If we get 50-50, before we solve this problem, I will immediately go and kill both those people who were down by the lake. Okay? There we go. That's what happens. So the pros and cons to the werewolf. There are pros and cons to this. The pros to becoming a werewolf is you get increased speed, incredibly powerful melee attacks, and you recover health really fast, and you can become a werewolf and fight with your claws. The negatives to becoming a werewolf are you need to eat people every three days or you start to lose a lot of health. So there is actually a negative to that. We, we could fail at this. We could become a werewolf and it would make the rest of our playthrough a lot harder. It really could. I like how you guys in the chat are like, oh no, someone ruined it. There is a delay between voting and it appearing. So it could appear perfectly balanced, but then someone votes and it's it appears in like a couple of seconds time. You won't do it. You've already balanced it once. If you balance it 50-50, I will kill both those people and then leave the mace by their bodies to make it look like the ghost of Avar Stonesinger did it. That was close. Oh, off by five people either way. We are choosing to get cured. And if I remember correctly, we actually have a cure scroll on me. Scroll of cure common disease on self. Remember? We took it from the house. We are cured. We are no longer a furry scaly. That's the decision. That you, the STD cure scroll. I didn't want to say it again, but yes, that's exactly what it was. Hello again, friend. What may I do for you? I've not been infected. 
Ah, I no longer sense the infection in you. I am happy for you, and for the Skarl as well. You have proven to be a valuable member of this community. You have been true to our people, and the Skarl name. You, Blood Skarl, a blood friend to our people. You'll be given a home here. Rigmore Halfhand's former residence, in which you may rest. Also, it has been decided you will take part in the Ristarg, an important Skarl ceremony. A ceremony of blessing and cleansing that we Skarl perform only very rarely. These are frightening times, my friend. There have been ominous portents. They concern me. Heartfang is missing, and I fear the Allmaker does not breathe freely on the Skarl this day. The ceremony must be completed. But first, I need you to recover the totem of claw and fang. It's a powerful artifact, very sacred to the Skull people. It's used to call us. It is used to call to us powerful beasts that are used in the Ristark. It was stolen many years ago, and we of the Skull were foolish enough to believe it would not be needed again. I have learned it may be found in the tombs of Skalara to the east and a bit south of here. Please, return the totem. Ah, the tombs of Skalara, and guys, we get a house. We get a house. Remember the hut of the dude that tried to frame the other person? This is our house now. This this belongs to us. We've got little slippers, shirt, pants, a bed that we can rest in without being immediately immediately arrested. A little bucket, a little, little broom. Oh, this is great. This is top notch. I'm happy with this. I'm going to make myself right at home. This is a real place that you can actually you know, hang your hat. But I'm going to... The object is broken. Not a problem. I'm going to fix it by smacking it with a hammer a lot. You can leave stuff at your home to lighten the load. I can. That's very true. I'm going to do that. All right, this is my house. Um, what's on the floor? I'm guessing stuff in your home doesn't despawn. Let's find out. Stay there, soldier. And we wait 24 hours. Go back inside. Beautiful. It's still there. You know what I'm going to... I'm going to cast... Oh, we've... I've even got... Half hands old fortify health potion. Cheeky. Okay, I'm going to do what I would normally do in my real life. I'm going to use the floor drobe. As we all know, the biggest shelf. And I'm going to drop a couple of things that I'm not using. We don't need you. Or you. What do I not need? Uh, none of these. Restore magicka. Pointless. Grief is not needed. I instead need 12 sujamas just in case. Flying. Imagine popping into this house. Seeing all this. Let me just... Yeah, I've, I've probably got a problem. I should probably talk to somebody about this. What is the floor but one big shelf? The floor drobe. It is the biggest shelf. Everyone knows this. Uh, the hat can go on. It's very important that stays there. The short bow I'm keeping for the ebony arrow of slaying. The dwarven crossbow I probably don't need. Along with... I probably don't need all of these things, actually. Yeah. Let's drink three Nord Meads. That's fine. What does that do? Oh, God. It drains my agility by a lot. My agility is now two. That is a low agility. Pyral tar is that will kill you if you drink it. So I'm just going to stick a lot of stuff on the floor. This can be our own little dumping ground, and you'll see in a second why I'm choosing to dump so much stuff. It is quite simply because this was something I couldn't understand. These two rubies, for some reason, counters different rubies. They, they stack differently in my, my inventory. I don't know why. I'll keep my spear with me just in case, because I think I might need it. One was cursed. Possibly. Yeah, my carry weight is actually now a lot higher, because I 
have boosted my strength to 189. That might mean that my jump is higher. Let's find out. Right, I need to go to... Where were you sending me to? The Totem of Claw and Fang, Tomb of Scalara, located east and a bit south of the village. So east and a bit south would be that way. So... Oh! That's... Okay, that works. Let's just cast that. And... Oh, my health's also... Oh god, werewolves are in... Oh no, that's a problem. Okay, so werewolves are now in the overworld. That's actually a problem. That could be a bit of an issue. This Skyrim mod looks retro, and yet it's full of gameplay. Has he saved the captain yet? No, we haven't. We still haven't found him. This is, I think, where we had to go to? Yeah, the Tomb of Scalarara. Into the Tomb of Scalarara we go, and oh my god, there are so many werewolves. That's just... God damn. Oh no, they, they can hit you and wind you. The power of the door! We might be back to the door, cheese and strats, guys. I'm sorry, but it might be about to happen. They are loud as well. They are very loud. Pop it back outside whenever we need to. Having a quick save and then back in. The power of the doors will compel you. They're furries. They're loud for a reason. Oh, God. Bet they're at a convention hall and everything as well. Right, we've got to go this way. The tomb of the Scalara Ra. Can't go into you. I am not hitting all the time, which is super annoying. I'm used to having crazy high accuracy with my spear, but the fact that my blunt weapon is not as accurate is a real problem. Item does not have enough charge. Okay, cool. So we're not doing the the special frost damage anymore, which is a problem, but it's okay. Your agility is drained. Uh, no, 83 now. 83 agility. We're back to... We might be back to accuracy now. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe my agility was drained, and now we're back to being accurate. That looks like a button. It's not. Oh god, there's so many of them. I don't mind fighting one at a time. Okay, let's just get... I need to use my spear. My spear is so much more accurate. It doesn't do anywhere near enough damage, though. Why is the game lagging? Why are you lagging? You're an offline RPG. You've got nothing to connect to. God damn it. Okay, I'm very much regretting putting all of my overpowered items and weapons away. This is a problem. Keep your stamina up. That's a good point. Okay, hang on. What have I got with me? Have I got any... I put all of my good stuff away. That's a problem. Go get them back. No, no. No, it's okay. I'm going to... I'm going to stand here for a minute. Just going to stand here. It's the ray tracing. It's all of the particle effects. That's what it is. That gosh darn cheeky ray. Well, well, well. If it isn't the consequences of my own actions. Good luck with the petting zoo in a cave. Thank you. Appreciate that. You guys have a good day. Okay. Let's see how we've done now. I can fight these guys one at a time, no problem at all. In fact, I can even... What can I cast that would work? My Spear of Bitter Mercy has... Summon a Storm Atronach. Which I think will help. Oh god, it did not help. It did not help at all.
Okay, these guys are insane. Oh, okay. Okie dokie. Okie dokie pokey, here we go. We've got this. We've got this. I need to lure one of them at a time. Can you get a silver weapon or something? I can hit them with this weapon no problem at all. This weapon works, it's just not powerful enough. If only we had a powerful ring to fortify our defenses. We're not cheating. We are not cheaters, my goodness. We are many things. But not cheaters. Let's summon the, uh, Storm Matronic. And then let the wolves fight that. Anyway. Nope, hang on. There we go. Okay, so werewolves immediately wreck a Storm Matronic. That is what I have learned. However... However... This is getting me closer and closer... To... The door. And you'll know what the door means. Oh, we're out of item has no charge. Cool. Okay. Save. Here we go. Didn't go as well as I wanted it to go. I'm gonna be real with you. I expected a different result. I very much expected different result. Okay, that also kind of works. Rest until healed. Do werewolves regain health? I can't even... Can I use the Mudrum Ring? Yeah, let's just drop all of our overpowered weapons. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be really fun. Do that. Ah, I'm invisible! Oh, apparently one of you can still see me. How can you still see me? I need to turn invisible. Okay, that's because after invisibility, you can only get done once, can't you? Ah, okay, Mudrum Rink. Where are you? Do you remain invisible when you walk through a door? That's the question. Okay, no you don't. Right. This is really hard. Okay. Is it too late to get the weapons back? No, we can go and get them, but I'm not going to. We're going to do this. I'm going to work out how we can go in there and kill some werewolves. Immediately. You know what it might need? It might need an absolute ton of Sujama. Alright, we drank five Sujama. Our strength is 349. We did it. We got incredibly drunk, ran inside, and used our immense strength to just rip through all the werewolves. And now we are continuing to use our immense strength, 349 strength in fact, to smack these guys around. Drunk Brit ruins furry convention. Oh man, this is the second time I've done that. Come on, furries. Taste my big blunt weapon. Not like, I mean, no, don't. Don't read into that too much. Just, it's just my cold ball, Mace. It's in this barrel. Cheap restore health. I'll take it. I might need it. Of course you guys know I was making a very obvious joke. 
You know, it was too easy. It was too much of an easy joke. How long, long will I stream? At least an hour and a half more. We're going for six hours at a time. That's my new, my new attempt, my new focus. What is this way? What's in here? A box. Block level 30. Anything special in the box? Let's find out. Can I cast my, uh, my on Ducey's open door? I can't. I've got no magicka. Tactical nap. Magicka. Oh, there we go. Totem of Claw and Fang. Got it. Easy peasy. Found the totem, mate. Now I've just got to get out of here. I think we went this way. Here we go. All right, we got it. Uh, Nefora is raiding with a party of 32. Thank you very much. Welcome, Nefora, and everyone whom has raided. How are you guys doing today? If you are new to the stream, my name is Josh. This is Morrowind, a 22-year-old RPG. You're fully caught up to speed. That's everything you need to know. Any other questions, feel free to ask. You pretty much are at the same level of intelligence now, of knowledge of the game, as everyone else has been here for the last couple of weeks. Not much has happened. All you need to know is doors, pretty good. Uh, the amulet that we made that allows you to jump really high, pretty good. We're going to keep that. That's a good thing. So back to the Skull Village. Off we go. This is a thing you can do in Morrowind where you can just create items that let you break the physics of the game in wonderful ways. And it's, it's definitely something we've been exploiting. I am, however, very much regretting dropping all of my really powerful weapons because I thought... I thought I was being smart by saying, hey, look at me. I don't need all these overpowered weapons. I'm skillful. I'm, I'm tough by myself. I'm just a good Morrowind player. I don't need your items. Turns out I do. Uh, they, they helped substantially. And without them, we are struggling. That is a very far jump. Am I enjoying Morrowind? I love Morrowind. I played it when I was a kid, back when I was about 12 or 13 years old. I haven't finished it since then. It's bringing a lot of memories back. There's a huge amount of freedom and variety in what you can do in the game. We have created the character Lust T. She is an Argonian maid. Now, for those of you who are familiar with Elder Scrolls lore, you might be thinking, Ah, I see what you've done there. Lusty the Argonian maid, the book based on the Lifts Her Tail Maid. No, no. The book was purely fiction. It lifts a tale made up for the book. This, this is the real Lusty Argonian Maid. This is the true story of how she became the Nerevarine. But first, she went to the Clockwork City, found Sothasil dead, killed Almalexia, and then killed the king, took his ring, felt bad, gave it back to his corpse. Didn't help, but, you know, closure for me. And now we are going to try and solve the Blood Moon Prophecy, and I need to find the captain, whom apparently is just... Only the chief of this village knows where the bloody captain is. The book is fan fiction. Yes. This is the real Lusty Argonian maid. Uh, Look at her. Come on, then. Say something Look at her hat. On. She's beautiful and gorgeous, and everything about her is perfect. She even She's great with a blunt weapon, and that's what we're sticking with. Hey. I've got, Hello the, again, friend. I've got the thing what for you, I mate. For you? I'm also voicing all the characters, so you guys might want to just get ready for that. You were to retrieve the Totem of Claw and Fang. A dangerous mission indeed. Have you been successful? You found the totem. This is good news. Please take this as a token of my thanks. I hope that your efforts have not left you too drained, as there is still much to be done. That's what she said. For your efforts, I will share with you some knowledge. The Skarl have the ability to summon wolves to fight by our side. You too now possess this ability. The Ristarg must now be performed. Interesting. Let's do it. I'm excited. Do we get like Mardi Gras beads? Is there a dress code? What's going on? You have been of great service to the Skarl, and it seems right you take part in the ceremony. Meet me at nightfall with Rolf Longtooth. That's a that's a suspicious name for an island infested with werewolves. That's... You tell me that you're worried about werewolves and your fighter is called Longtooth. That's... 
I'm putting two and two together, mate, and I'm I'm not making four when you're you're saying that specifically. You imagine that? This is Rolf Longtooth, along with the other guy, Furry von Wolf, and this one over here. Literally just a wolf. Okay. I see him. We need to find him by the western shores of Lake Fjalding. He'll tell you more about the Ristarg. Okay. Why? You love this lake, don't you? You guys go mad over this lake. You're really... You're really into the lake. Okay. Well, what let's jump you? to the lake then, shall we? Let's see if I've got enough jump to make it all the way there in one go. Literally Just a Wolf is an interesting name. It's an Argonian name, uh, which is interesting because they are literally just a wolf. Who is the guy you can meet at the ghost gate called Wolf? Ice Mane, Wind Eye, and Heart Fang. Yeah, I... Oh god, oh god. Hang on. I've... Oh god, you guys are doing so much damage to me. Oh, I know why. My armor's probably all broken. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, actually. That... That does make a lot more sense. Let me just slap you around with my ice mace. And then use my magical hammers, which are in my house, which are back in the stupid village. Oh, I hate this game. Okay, rest for ages. Magical jump. Away. Into the house. Get the hammers I left on the floor next to my alcohol collection and fix my armor. Lusty has truly taken a pounding recently. That is very true. Not even a joke. Not even in an innuendo. Just straight up facts. That's what that was. You know what? I'm going to mark my house. As any true Argonian would do, I am marking my house. I live here. Now I can pick up stuff. What am I getting? Where's the hammers? There they are. Fix my armor. Get ready for the dings. Yeah, okay, that's enough dings now. Now the hammer goes back on the floor. Onto the floor drobe, and off we go. You've done a video on Pokemon Gen 1. Would you be interested in looking at the Yellow's Legacy? It's on the list. The next Was It Good video is going to be Tomb Raider 2. It's going to take me a while to get there, but it is uh, it is being done. Oh! Oh, the uh, the sky's gone a bit more red. The moon's gone a bit of a... a blood colour. Gotta say. Gotta say, it's a bit bloody. And the Colovian Parachute... Did I... Did I land on the top here? What a perfect aim. Right, where was I going? Uh, western shores of Lake Fjalding after nightfall. Western shores. So, over there. Let's pop over to the western shores, see what's going on. Nothing like sharing some lust tea with Josh. If I... Yeah, you know what? If Gamer Sups want me to make my own tea flavour, we are calling it lust tea. That's what we're calling it. Right, it's 9pm. Let's wait another... how long? It's 11pm, so wait one more hour. It's midnight. Where are the people? Western Shore, that's what you said, guys. You said Western Shore. Don't be lying to me. Maybe we have to wait one more hour, so it's like actually 1am. Now it should be around here somewhere. Western Shores after nightfall. The shores of Lake Fjalding. This is this is pretty much it. Not spotting you anywhere. Spotting some people, guys. Anyone? Oh, they're out. Is that you? Nope. You are just an angry woman. Understandable. Now, but let me fighting. let me smack you around a little bit. Oh. oh God! It's these tiny little angry Smurfs. Oh. Hang on. Let me slap the angry Smurf in the face. And then rest until healed, because my god, I am... I am taking damage! Oh good, my block has increased to 15. I am so much better with a shield. Will you have a Gamer Subs thingy mug option? So, they said that if the sponsorship goes well, they will make me an anime waifu cup, which I think that's the highest honour you can earn as a... as a gamer. To have your own anime waifu cup, there is there's nothing greater. I'm gonna wait another few hours to get to midnight. Okay, is it midnight now? Right, it's midnight now. Where is everyone? Am I in the right place? Are they like 
Are they legit? It's more southwest of the lake. Thank you. Thank you. Southwest, I can, uh, I can do. Still not spotting them anywhere. Currently, we're southeast. Southwest is this way. Trying to keep an eye out for anyone, anywhere. Is it them? Nope, you're a hawker. Seriously, where are you people? Oh, where are they? I would love to see Morrowind Remastered. Morrowind Remastered graphical update and possibly making the leveling system slightly more understandable would be good. Somewhere here in the woods. Oh, they're here in the woods, are they? Of course. I actually don't know if you're being serious, but we'll find out. You might be lying to me, but I'm going to trust you. I'm a very trusting kind of guy. You might be lying. You have been upgraded from second monitor to first monitor. It's a lot of pressure. I've got to entertain now. There you are. There you are, you little rascal. You little cheeky chaps. How's it going? Roll for Greetings, Bloodscar. Corst Windeye has told me much about you. Thanks, Rolf Longtooth. Ex-wife. Are you guys not going to help? Oh. We're standing here having an important meeting and I'm being attacked by some kind of angry tus- Oh we god, no! I- oh, it was a mistake! I was a misclick! Oh, goodness. Oh, hang on, are you also you angry at me now? Oh. Right, freeze hag, you're not involved in this. You're dead now as well. <gasps> you had nothing on you of any importance. Let's go back and find the other two. All right, dude, listen. I know there's meant to be three of us. I accidentally just killed that woman. We need to move we on. We must complete the Ristag. The Allmaker demands I this. do hope that the Ristag does not need more of us. Greetings, Lusty. Corst Windeye has told me much about you. You are to perform the Ristag with us, pleasing the Allmaker. In the Ristag, we hunt the spirit bear that is conjured by the totem of Claw and Fang. When it is slain, we will return its heart back to Windai, who will ask for the blessing of the Allmaker. If the Ristark fails, or does not succeed by daybreak, the Allmaker will be displeased. You will help ensure our success. You will act as my second. You are to stay with me at all times during the Ristark, and follow my instructions exactly. You have proven your value to the Scar, but now you must allow me to guide you through this night. I like how I've proven my value by just battering to death one of his associates who was with him. And he's like, that's the girl. That's the girl we want with us for the rest of this night. She knows what she's doing. Alright, I can do it. I'll stay with you. Let's do this. F5. Quick saved. Truly hoping you weren't an essential character. <laughs> it's fine. He's guiding me at night. Mate, I've got night eye. Permanently. On me. Don't worry, I'll go and have a look around. We are in a forest. I think I did some pretty good recon. Just there. An astute observation, thank you. Shh. Must hunt carefully. And quietly. There is no time to talk. I'm wondering if the other member of the group was meant to have done something. I'm thinking I might have broken the sequence here by accidentally killing her. Oh, we can, there's a holly bush there. Right, we're hunting the spirit bear out. Oh, where's he gone? There he is. You wanna... Wanna keep going? Can you resurrect her with the developer console? Yes. Ultimately, we may need to play God and bring her back, but that might have also broken this entire sequence, so... 
Hey ho. It's fine. They were supposed to be attacked by werewolves. I mean... The other dude might have been. He did say it might fail by daybreak. Let's just stand here and do nothing then, shall we? Oh no! My journal's been updated. Hang on, let me try and kill this boar. I need to train my blunt weapon skill, my god. Hey bro! The Ristag has failed. We waited too long to complete it. We should return to Windai and see what he has to say. I can't believe we failed. We had everything we need. Everything. All three of us. Until you turned up and killed the one that started with us. That may have been a problem. That might have put us at a bit of a disadvantage. Who knows? It's not the same. It's just not the same without her. It's not the same scripting of the game. And so we've failed. But you know what? This is a good RPG because it accounts for the fact that you might do that. It's a very good RPG. Who just said give in your dead already? Is someone attacking me? Yeah, I like it when the game you accounts for you failing. That's good. This is very good. Let's go and have a word with the... with the seer. Let him know. Where's the seer live? There we go. Yeah. Oh, no, he's standing out in the open, isn't he? Because he's doing his... He's doing his out in the open thing right now. That's his new... He's in his out in the open era. The restog is complete. Praise be to the All Maker. Unfortunately, the restog has failed. It comes as no surprise to me. There have been ominous signs reported on the island. There have been many, though I've been reluctant to speak of them. The coming of the werewolves, the fire on the lake. And now I've been told the northern shores are the scene of a massacre. Many hawkers are dead. The shores are littered with corpses. And the death of the hawkers has not been explained. All these things are suggested in the Blood Moon prophecy. I have no desire to speak loudly of this ancient legend. Who knows what the ancestors learned about the coming of the Blood Moon. But now let us watch and wait and let the Allmaker protect us. We must find out what has happened. Perhaps this is a sign of prophecy. Perhaps not. I prefer to think this is the work of mortals. I would have you travel to Castle Karstag to confirm my suspicions. It's a castle made of ice on the northwestern part of Solstheim. There lives the frost giant Karstag. The Skarl have lived in peace with the monster for many years, but we have heard nothing from the giant for some time. This slaughter could be the workings of the Reichlings who serve him. Go there, and find out what you can. You will not be allowed in the main entrance, but we have recently discovered an entrance in the waters north of the castle. Good luck to you, Bloodskull. All right, cool. Castle. Castle diving. I like a little bit of castle diving. I'm good with that. Northwest, was it? North of the castle, Castle Karstag. It is the northwest part of Solstheim. Northwest, that means up and left, because I can direction good. Here we go. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Look at that. Look at that lovely, lovely view right there. It's a lovely day. Into the water we go. Need to just quick, quick climb out over here. Hop, skip, and a jump. There we go. Who needed that other person to be alive? No one did. Oh, hello, you. Sit down. Oh, that broke your shield, did it? That broke your shield, my friend. Sit the heck down. Fool. You should have picked an easier opponent. He says, dying. Who am I? Oh, you guys are... Ah, right, you guys got arrows. Okay. Guess it's time for an aerial attack then. Yeah. Here I go. Broke my own legs. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, didn't expect that, did you? Nobody expects to be smacked by the angry mace. 
stop shooting at me with arrows. Stop stop it. Run out of arrows, you fool. You will die where you stand. Oh my god, now I'm out of stamina. Oh, Morrowind's roll to hit system. Lovely stuff. Just stunning stuff. This is the Give in. You're dead already. Morrowind combo, oh. everyone. I feel like I'm reliving my childhood watching this. Yeah, that's the vibe I'm going for. Short bow. Short bow. Whatever this guy had over here. Incredible gameplay. Game of the year. Every year. 10 out of 10. Right. Oh, there it is. Castle Karstarg. Let's go and say hi. Quick jump over. Quick landing. Can't rest here. There are enemies nearby. 10 out of 10. Woods swing again. Rob Stark going to Castle Karstarg. I've not been called Rob Stark in a while. No one's called me by that name in many a moon. Although when Game of Thrones Season 1, 2, and 3 was out, I did look exactly like Rob Stark, which was very cool. <laughs> Just need to hit you. Oh my god. Tactical nap time! Most of this game, by the way, you will come to realise, is me having tactical naps. That's how it works. I missed it. Why the mace? Ah, so, we completed the trials of Avar Stonesinger, and we were gifted the mace of Avar Stonesinger for our troubles. And that mace does... Just roll to it. 90 damage a swing, which is very good. Now, our spear does 60 damage a thrust. And sometimes you want to thrust, but sometimes you want to smash. And you've got to work out which mood you're in before you go and do anything specific. You've got to ask yourself, are you in a thrusty mood? Are you in a smashy mood? Who knows? Oh god, I've ran out of... Damn it! The object is broken, I cannot use my Colovian parachute. Do I have my repair hammers on me? Let me find out. Yes, I do. Quick! Hammer my hat. Beautiful stuff. I mean, Lusty always wants to smash, but she also always wants to thrust. Watch my brave escape from these guys, you ready? Oh yeah. Can't get me now, can you fools? I have, uh... I have overshot that one slightly. Can we... You cannot rest. Only rest on solid ground. Okay. So what I need to know now is, apparently there's a secret way into Castle Karstarg from the north. What is that jump? Oh yeah, I made uh, an amulet that fortifies jump by 100 points and then we are currently wearing it. We're wearing the Amulet of Van Halen because it casts jump which I still think is one of the best jokes we've ever come up with in this stream. You know, you guys should be very proud of that. It wasn't me that made that. How do we get in to the castle? Where is the secret entrance? Just north. Castle Karstark. It was north, wasn't it? Secret water. Yeah, waters north under the castle. We're being attacked by something. It's too dark, I can't tell. There it is. There's the little castle butt. And we fly in. We could walk on water, but no, no, I'm good. I'm good. We're going to swim. We're going to get there, and then we dive down and go into that little hole just there. It's the ca it's the butt of the castle. That's what it is. In we go. Your journal has been updated. Thankfully, I also know water breathing. For two minutes. On self. Here we are. Castle Karstark. Let's go and chat to the troll that owns this place. See if he's got any knowledge about the Blood Moon Prophecy. Also, why am I not wearing my rings? Ring of Raven Eye, constant effect, fortify marksman. Yes. And I'm sure there was another constant effect ring, wasn't there? It was a special... I mean, ring of... S belt of solid armor. That could work. Don't think I was wearing another belt. That was a cast when used. Is it because whenever you change and use a ring as an item. It effectively unequips it to you, doesn't it? Which is really annoying. Do you think people ever mistake Richard Madden for you? I would hope so. 
I would really hope people walk up to Richard Madden in his everyday life and instead of saying, Richard, I really enjoyed your performance in Game of Thrones and then in The Bodyguard, they walk up and go, why do you hate Granado Espada? Because that's how people sound when they talk to me. That's what it is. They walk up and they go, actually, actually, Terra was a very good game and didn't deserve to die. Some people walk up to me and they go, actually, Josh, when you really get into it, uh, what I think you'll find is that Hero Online is a very deep game that really explores a lot of the culture that's involved in it. And by then, I've, uh, I've already turned off, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to be real with you. Until someone walks up to me and goes, actually, Josh, uh, the, the Dragon Scimitar is effectively better than the Whip for strength training. And I'll sit down and I'll be like, look, technically you are right. Because the whip doesn't have an aggressive stance. It only has a controlled stance. But it's not about being efficient. It's about the fashion. It's about sending a message. That's what it is. Right, I'm sure there was a ring we had that had a really good fortify constant thing on me. A slips ring, that was the one. Fortify willpower, fortify magicka. Guy was badass. Let's keep him going on. This dude was super cool. Hello. Whoa. Uh, an Argonian. Ugly thing, aren't you? Too tall. What business you got a castle Karstark? And make it quick. No time to talk. Dead hawkers. Mm, rancid hawker meat. You're asking the wrong guy. I know someone who might be able to help, though. But I've got my own problem. The master. Karstark, that is. Has taken off. Gone. Don't know why. Don't know where. Didn't seem like he was coming back. So, some of the boys and I figured we'd take over the place. Delk has been running the show upstairs. Moron. Toady. Master's pet. Right. Uh, sneak attack from below. Very clever. We even made a deal with a pack of Graal to act as muscle. Didn't work out so well. See, these Graal aren't the most trustworthy. Turned on my guys. Ate them, actually. I'm the only one left. I can't get upstairs now. Right. And uh, neither can you. See, no one can enter the castle without the ma- Cast Arg's blessing. Which I have. I figure. Uh, you help me get past the Graal, I'll get you into the castle. Then you can ask little Dalk anything you want. So, come on. Let's move it. Alright, you and me, Krish. Krish, man, it's you and me against the world. Bestest mates forever. Let's do this. Here we go. We will unlawfully make a voiceover mod for Skyrim 3. Just let me know and I'll do it. If anyone's making a, a mod for either Morrowind or Oblivion or Skyrim and wants voices, just let me know and I'll do it. Yo! Okay. You got... Okay, you're really tough. However... I heal myself repeatedly. Yeah! Sit down, son. Did it. Deadly growl. Give me your eyeball. It's always useful for those. Most coherent rightling ever. He was, wasn't he? He was a lovely little chap. Where is he? There he is. Come on, you. Come on, Krish. We've got adventuring to do, you and I. You and I are blood brothers. Bound. By the binds of binding. Oh god, there's no <laughs> doors around here. I don't know how I'm going to survive this. The ties that bind. Brothers in blood and bonking. As we bonked him together. Didn't we, Krish? Oh, there's more eyeballs. I'm taking them all. Just in case they're useful in the future. I don't know. It's a deadly growl. And instead, I gave them dead growl. Yeah. You know why? Because that's just what the Nerevarine does. That's just who I am as a person. Will I someday play the Gothic games? Yeah, definitely. I've got so many games I want to play. I want to play through all the Tomb Raider games, sort all the Gothic games out, uh, replay all the Witcher games at some point. Okay, you are gaining an absolute ton of health back. Chris, don't die, mate. Your journal's been updated. Oh, for God's sake. Okay. Hang on. Right. Krish, I understand that you tried. 
Right, I, I can't hit you without the spear. The accuracy of the spear is more important to me. Okay, Deadly Graal, steal your eye, Krish. He's dead. Krish has been killed. Krish, I feel that we need to say some words for Krish. I only knew you for a brief time. In that time, you were a Reichling. Striker, thank you for the 500 bits chair. That's remarkably kind of you. Uh, they realized you were too powerful and had to remove your doors. You're teabagging Krish. It's how he would have wanted to die. You know, we're, we're giving him his last rights. It's okay. Right, so Krish is dead. Not a problem. Now all we have to do is get into a castle that we're not allowed to get into. Interesting. Going to be a problem, obviously. Let's see if we can get in this way. The castle above may not be entered until permission is granted by the master of the castle. Okay, so we can't get in there because Krish is dead. That's a problem. Let's have a nap. That didn't help. That, that was not helpful in the slightest. So we cannot go in from there. The whole point of taking the back door was to be able to sneak into the castle without being seen, and we tried it. So far, there have been two rituals that we've been involved in, and both of them have failed because we killed the people involved in them. Hey look, sacks of money. Let's just take all this gold. It might be useful. Who knows? I mean, it's not like they need it, is it? And... There was a, ah, there we go. Let's get on Deucey's open door going on on this little box. See, it wasn't a total loss. We found a journeyman's armourer's hammer. Good stuff. Nordic mail pauldron, orcish bolt, and a throwing knife. See? Krish may have died, but in his death, he led us to loot. Which, and let's be real here, is the real treasure. Yeah, so my spear is better because there's a chance that it will stun the enemy. And that is a good chance. This makes Krish's death worthwhile. If anything, had I have known that, I would have killed Krish myself to get to that loot. So my unarmored skill increased because I got hit so damn hard. Where's my hat not on? The object is broken. This hat has been so much trouble. I swear to God. I missed two weeks of Morrowind and you've already reached Blood Moon. Yeah, I, I haven't finished the main game yet. So that would probably explain why that's happened. Uh, we, we are still... I finished Tribunal. I've done all of that and now I'm doing the Blood Moon expansion. But after we've done this, then we go back and then we try to kill uh, Dagotha. So we've we've very much we've very much kind of done this out of order, if you will. Oh. If I hit you enough with the spear, it will stagger you, and the stagger is worth enough. I'll tell you what, though, goddamn, you get some experience for killing these things. Tribunal before the main quest. Think about the timeline. Look, we've killed a god. We've killed a king. What? What power does a timeline have over me? None. None at all. I care not for the trivial effects of the timeline. Krish would make a neat coat. You know what? He probably would. I'm trying to level up my blunt skill by smacking you with a blunt weapon, but I might need to go and do some blunt training at some point because my blunt skill right now unfortunately is only 55 that's not great I do need more than that need to uh, increase the skill of the blunt 
First time I played Morrowind, I didn't know English. I was very confused. I mean, to be fair, that's very impressive that you were able to get that far while not knowing English. I mean, I do know English and I'm still very confused. There is still a great deal of confusion going on. That chest is locked. Can we slap you around? <laughs> If we hit you in the right timings, we can just about. There we go. Take you down. Can I have a nap yet? Yes, I can. Then I can get my spell, skeleton key, but better, and then cast it to open this. What's in here? Silver battle axe, gauntlet. Some other stuff. I think that there's like one set of Nordic armor hidden throughout the armor. At the armor throughout the island. Oh, this is the other side of the ice thing. Okay. Okay, I'm I'm seeing where we're going now. I'm picking up what you're putting down. We are back at the start. And this has not worked at all. Okay, so apparently we can't just go in through the front door. We might have to though. Has anyone tried that? Have we just tried going in through the front door? You know, see what happens? Pop inside. Josh, can you tell me a fairy tale for my boyfriend to sleep? I mean, a fairy tale? I can tell you the tale of the Nerevarine. And thus the Nerevarine entered the ice cave underneath Castle Karstag, and there met Krish, a friendly little smurf-like thing. They journeyed together for all of seven minutes before Krish was turned into jam by an angry troll. Unable to enter the castle without the magical power of Krish, the Nerevarine selflessly decided to leave Krish's mutilated body all alone and swim back out the castle and find another way in. Leaving into the beautiful, glorious sunshine of Solstheim, the Nerevarine then prayed to their god put on a magic ring and leapt 300 feet into the air to try and get a better look at where they were and what they should do. They saw a few things, but no door, which makes this the weirdest castle ever made. And then everyone was happy, apart from the two Nords that were taking a walk along the river, cheating on their respective partners. They were not happy, and then everyone died. Okay. Krish has been killed. How do I get in? This best not work. No way. You can... You can just jump onto the castle and go in. You remind me of Krish. Okay, cool. So we've uh, sequence broke by just jumping. Hello. Deodric Wright Pauldron. You cheeky little bit of treasure. Hanging out right there. Hang on. So this isn't actually the castle. That was just the Deodric Wright Pauldron. That's all that was. The only one in the game. It matches our left pauldron. That means... We now have two Deodric pauldrons. That is the only Deodric right pauldron in the game that's actually just hanging around. The other one is on a dude that you have to effectively kill to get the entire set. That was incredible. I thought we found a kind of back way into the castle. Nope, turns out we just found some of the best armor in the game. The, in fact, it is the best heavy pauldron in the game. That's really cool. In Morrowind, there are a couple of armor pieces and there's like one of them in the game. That's incredibly cool. Okay. Doesn't solve our problem. Let's have a tactical nap. 
Right. Ah, the magic surrounding the castle allows no one to enter without Karstarg's blessing. That's a problem. Krish will let me enter with him, but Krish is dead. Say, oh no, we're not safe scumming. We're working out some other way to do this. So first of all, let's head back to the village and be like, yo, problem. Uh, only person that could let me in, dead. We also use the special magical jump ability to jump really far. And then one more this way. Yeah, there we go. Is there any way to get the blessing of Karstark? We've probably got to find him. God damn, I don't hit anything with this mace. Okay, there we go. You're both dead now. Let's just jump one more time. Oh, no, we've broken the hat. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, you're tough. You're tough as well. Oh, God, no, there's so many of you. Uh, let me just run away, because I'm about to die. Right, where's my... Where's my safety village? Safety village. Apples. Apples, I'm saying the safety word. You guys need to stop attacking me. That's how this works. Oh, my God. They're about to see me, an honorary skull, running through the village, being chased by an angry, almost naked woman. And they're going to be like, oh, you kids. You kids, your shenanigans. Stand still, let me hit you. I don't need those. Sujama? Hell yeah. You get me. You understand me. According to Reddit, there is no way into the castle without Krish. Ah, okay. Do we need Krish to get into the castle? I don't want to need Krish. You know what I do need is... Help. Oh my god. Thank you! Come on, guards! Yeah, get him! Get them, boys. There we go. Good job, guys. Uh, yeah, hey. I need to talk to this dude about the castle. Yeah, Castle Karstag. Um, that's, yeah, so Krish is dead. Enter through the underwater caves. He's dead. I need somebody who's not him. Is there any other way? With this current quest path, there is no way into the castle. Gotcha. Okay. When was the last time we saved that we had Krish alive? So, that was day 287. That was up where we found it. Before the lifting. Before the lifting, that was ages ago. Um, okay, cool. Krish is dead. Krish is dead. We, we ain't dealing with that. He's dead. We now just wait for a bit. He's, he's dead. It's fine. Krish dying is a hard lock unless you console command it. Do we need to console command Krish back alive? Do we need to be God for this? I don't normally play God too much with this kind of stuff because I like to play the game as the game. Oh God, the object is broken. Oh my God. Okay, hang on. We're about to land on the floor and possibly die. Okay, that's how we ended. Not only him, but the quest too. God damn it. If we don't play God, we kill them. That's a good point. We We did kill Krish. Um, come on then. Say something or move on. The Blood Skull's house, that's us. Let me get my hammers back. Now you can go and speak to Krish in heaven. Uh there's the hammer. 
Let's just use the hammer to smack my hat. Moral and logic. And then fix everything else. We didn't kill Krish, the Graal did. That's a good point. Right. What is the console command for resurrecting Krish? Now, I will fill a couple of you guys in on the basics of what we could do apart from this. There is a way to get into Castle Karstag if you become a werewolf. I remember that, because the first time I played this, I'm sure that's what I did. So there's very much a way to do it if you become a werewolf. But we've already opted to not become a werewolf, and therefore, we need to resurrect Krish. He is literally our only lifeline to getting into this stupid castle without becoming a werewolf. God should give blessings to any he resurrects, like... Okay, what if in order to resurrect Krish, we need to drop all of our gold? That to me seems like a... A somewhat fair trade-off. We're getting him back, but it's going to cost us. Call Todd and tell him to bring back Krish. Let me just keep jumping all the way. Let me cast this to land. There should be one more major jump to get there. An afterlife in the hunting grounds. He's probably having a happy time. He's probably having a great time. He's having a lovely time with what he's doing. I would sacrifice a village of innocence just for resing Krish. I'll drop all of my gold. Hang on. I've had a thought. What is this place? What if... In order to resurrect Krish... We must sacrifice the mace of Avar Stonesinger. Because Avar taught us that it's not about who you are born as. It is about what you choose to do. So, we can get Krish back. Kill Branda's wife! I think we drop the mace of Avar Stonesinger. What's Krish worth? I'm not... We need to resurrect him. But Krish is worth more than this. We could sacrifice the spear that Sheogorath gave us. We could sacrifice the Daedric Pauldron because it is the only right Daedric Pauldron in the game. He's worth the amulet of Van Halen. Okay, so we need... If we're going to resurrect Krish using console commands, which I'm okay with doing, it, there needs to be a trade-off. There needs to be a trade-off. What do we trade? Okay, choose a random village and go and kill literally all of them. Drop the amulet for the resurrect, the right pauldron. Would Krish spread the gospel of Lusty? Doesn't matter. Mace, the cone hat, all your gold. 10,000 gold, 5 gold. Drop the sponsorship. <laughs> Phone up gamer subs and be like, yo, guys, listen. You know, enjoy your product. I think you make decent stuff. Audience seemed pretty on board, but unfortunately, we had to resurrect Krish with console commands, so I need you to tear up that contract. That has to happen. The spear seems fair. Shio Gorath would laugh at it. Okay. Okay. Does it need to be a weapon? You did say you wouldn't get the pauldron if it wasn't for his death. The spear for a life? No more games. Give up your hat permanently. Do a poll for mace, spear, or gold. I think I will. Okay. 
If we're going to resurrect Chris using console commands, we need to lose something. What do we lose? What do we sacrifice for Chris? I'm uh, doing a poll right now. Do we sacrifice the mace of Avar Stonesinger? Do we sacrifice the spear of bitter mercy? Do we sacrifice all gold plus consumables? Or do we sacrifice the shield? If you're able to balance it perfectly, we do all of them. Do we do the amulet as well? Okay. The am if we sacrifice the amulet of Van Halen, my god, man. My god. Okay, the amulet of Van Halen. You have two minutes to vote starting now. We are going to resurrect Krish. We are going to use console commands to do it because we need to get into Castle Karstark. Unfortunately, this means we are playing God. Playing God demands sacrifice. What do we sacrifice in order to get Krish back? Do we get rid of the Mace of Avar Stonesinger? Do we get rid of the Spear of Bitter Mercy? Do I drop all my gold and all my consumables? Do we get rid of the Healing Shield or the Amulet of Van Halen? Your dignity of not using console cheats. And if you're able to balance this perfectly, I will get rid of all of the options. God's artifact for a god's power is fair. All gold plus consumables right now is winning heavily. In fact, I don't think any of you guys are going to be able to catch up with the all gold plus consumables option. For some reason, you guys are pushing for the least punishing one, because I can probably get gold and consumables back pretty quickly. It would mean dropping 4,315 gold every sink. Guys, quick question. Do arrows count as consumables? Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, that does mean that the... the five ebony arrows of slaying, which I was planning on using to kill the final boss, will be dropped. Okay, cool. Uh, the Ebony Arrows of Slaying, the rarest and most powerful weapons in the game, the thing that will kill anything in one hit, gone. Any enemy that is giving us any kind of trouble, all gone. Throw away the coins and elixirs, bye-bye arrows and scrolls. Arrows are one use, so yes, they are consumables. We have traded Krish's life for the Ebony Arrow of Slaying and everything, so gold and consumables. Save. What is the console command for resurrecting Krish? I am going to need somebody to help me out with it. Okay. Because we can open the console pretty quickly. Is Krish's body still there? Can we just resurrect him? <laughs> Krish, get up. Target the body and then type resurrect. Okay. Let's see where his body even is. I think we had his body. It's not Resurrect, this isn't Skyrim. I'm pretty sure that it isn't Resurrect. That seems way too simple. BM Reichling Krish Unique. You type wakey wakey eggs and bakey. It is Resurrect. It, it, it literally is. Okay, cool. I have to just make sure that I can spell the word Resurrect now. 
Because normally I'd be able to spell that fine, but while under pressure from people watching, that I'm unsure about. Wasn't Krish around here somewhere? Like, Krish, I'm pretty sure you died around here somewhere. Yeah, you went up there. Where's your body, dude? Did we walk past him? Okay, hang on. Let me just find where he is. He's dead somewhere. Oh, oh there he is. Okay. Is it literally just resurrect? My god, you stepped on his corpse. Is it... Okay, don't type resurrect wrong, because I will, will misspell it. Krish. Krish, my beloved. You're alive. Talk to me, Krish. Just gotta get that passage upstairs now. My sense direction isn't the best. You lead the way. Oh. Oh, goodness. He dies after the gate is opened. Can you imagine? Can you actually imagine? Let's just check it worked first. I'm, I'm pressing E to get in. Krish, you... Mate. His pathfinding might be broken. <laughs> Alright, dude. Come on. I need you to... I need you to come this way with me, dude. Oh, no. His pathfinding is actually broken. <laughs> Let's just dispose of that corpse. You gonna come with me? What if we leave the area and then reload? What if we go this way? We're gonna get it, don't worry. <laughs> Can we kill him again? No. No, we're gonna see what happens if Krish works with us. Come on, Moral, and I'll drop everything. As soon as we are in, I drop everything. Oh, God. Oh, no. I have, like, a horrible feeling that we're not going to be able to finish the quest because of the fact that he just won't follow me. Oh, this is a problem. You resurrected the body, but not the spirit. He's haunting the cave. You have to move him with the console. Okay, do we have, a, like, an exact movement thing to put him somewhere? Fixing this takes a few steps. Oh, no. Oh, are there... Are there steps to do? Okay, hang on. Krish is dead and you've forgotten to save. Here's what you do. Um, kill the rest of the Graal. Do that. Go to Krish's body, click on Krish, and it'll read that. Enter Resurrect. Now Krish is alive, but he will not follow you to the entrance because of the... Oh, okay. Right. Open your journal and you have the journal entry. Krish has been killed, which means the game has been flagged that the quest has been failed. But we can do that. Run to the end of the cave, the part that you need Krish to open, and then type that brings Krish to the point where he would normally open the door for you. So, first of all, I need to see if I can use copy-paste from... You cannot. Okay, cool. So you can't use copy-paste, so I have to just manually type this in the entire time. Hang on. We're using God power to do it. Well, this is very much an Elder Scrolls. You can't copy-paste. Krish is also not currently tagged, is he? Oh, god damn it. God damn you, Krish. Hang on, I can probably click you from here. Okay, cool. That's the console of Krish specifically. Now we come over here. And I have to type a very specific series of characters exactly to him. Okay, hang on. Oh god, I clicked on the wrong thing! Krish. Krish, come here. He's there, though. Like, he's... He's further than he was. He's further along than he was. So that's decent. We've got Krish unique. We're, we're using the powers of a god here. What we need to do this is... Set POS 
X370. Then set Y Hang on, I'm being God. Minus one seven eight. Then set Z of to minus one one seven. Okay, brilliant. We've got him here. So, we have now got Krish to the correct place. He is where he needs to be. We we do a little console making. We do a little god power. It's what we do every now and again. But he still won't open the door because the thing has failed. So, we take care of that. Player set journal index BM underscore frost giant 180. Okay, I've got the same Neo Seeker page that you have opened. Let's see how we do that. So, player. Arrow. Set. Journal. Index. Blood Moon. Underscore Frost Giant. 180. Frost Giant is not found on type 1. Chris scripts dialogue. Oh, so do we need to click on the player first of all? Okay. Do you need to clear that? How do we clear the console from Krish to the player? Hang on. We try one more time. Set journal index, blood moon, underscore, frost giant, one, eighty. Okay, cool, that worked. And now, we can go in. Can we... Chris has been killed. Still says that. This will removed, and the... You will still have Chris has died, but the thing will... Yep, Chris, come on. Save. Guys. We did it. We have played God. We have... We've played God. And... Krish? I appreciate you. And... This is how much you are worth to me. All of my gold. <laughs> now, now kill him. Do we need him again? <laughs> Eleven chitin arrows. Gone. Two orcish bolts. Gone. Five ebony arrows of slaying. Gone. All my Sujama. Gone. The eyeballs we've been collecting. We store health potion. All of the magic scrolls. They will be left at Castle Castag. In memory of Grish. We brought him back. Fortunately. Lockpicks, they're consumables too, aren't they? Use the ebony arrow to kill Krish as a sign of respect. Do we need him again? Krish, I need to understand, mate, that I love you, but we need to uh, let him live. I don't know. Keep him alive, the poor lad. Krish's soul is incomplete. Hang on. The bitter cup is consumable. Can you even hit him? Don't know.
<laughs> she's been killed again. Okay, cool. This is unfortunately what happens. when you play God. You have to understand there is a price to pay. And I don't like it, but we made a mistake. We made a mistake. The bitter cup is one of the most expensive, rare, powerful items in the game. And it now lives in Castle Karstark. I think that's pretty much all the consumables gone. Nope, Kite and Arrow, that's there as well. Silver Bolt, don't need you. Nothing else. Okay. We've lost the Bitter Cup. We need it though, it's a quest item. So was Krish. He was a quest item. We killed him. We brought him back from undeath with console commands. We shouldn't have done it. The Bitter Cup is a quest item, but we need to make sacrifices. It's needed for a Thieves' Guild quest. I understand that. But things only have value if you're afraid of losing them. It's a consumable. Things only matter if you don't want to lose them. And we knew that bringing Krish back was a sacrifice. You can eat the ruby. Bringing Krish back was a sacrifice. It demanded sacrifice. Can you consume a cup? Yes. Yes, you can. Oh god, these guys are really tough. So Krish was just a consumable to you. Yes. Yes, he was. Okay, my luck is now 40. It's fine. It's okay. We're good. You weren't afraid to kill Krish, so Krish didn't matter. Krish mattered to me. Okay. Might not have mattered to you, but he mattered to me. That was Krish's family. Personality is 20. Yeah, affects your ability to deal with other characters and how they like you. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Personality 40 to 20 because of that. Well, we use the consumable then. And now we're in the place. Okay. Now all we have to do is survive and not die. Yes, I know that I probably could have kept all those important items, but... If I did that, resurrecting would mean nothing. If we make it really easy to use console commands, we use them all the time. The same reason that we put all of our overpowered weapons and items back. We don't want to make it easy for ourselves. Lusty is now tainted to all because of meddling with dark console magic, but Lusty will, together, with all of our help, slowly gain it all back. Why is there an ebony mace? Ring of poison blooms. Poison, that's always useful. That's like a really good weapon. It's... Re Quality restore health. Okay, now I need to start taking stuff back. Huntsman spear, shock bite, battle axe. Quality restore health. I'll take you. That might be important. Yeah. One console command is not meant to be wielded by a single man. It, they're too powerful. Two, two, apprentice's lockpick. Steel die katana. Let's just see what there is over here. Apprentice's lockpick. Now we start building back up more of the stuff that we lost. 
It's a dark, dark moment in Lusty's life when she was forced to use the commanding console. Console commands aren't about restraint, they're about balance. If you give life, you must also take life. We did give life, didn't we? And now we took it. What's in here? This is the throne room of Castle Karstark. Technically, you said you would drop all of it. No mentions of picking the stuff back up. No. There's got to be consequences. Actions without consequences. The action means nothing. There's got to be consequences to it. And we... We have seen those consequences. What's in here? Ooh, woo. What's this? Open door. They remind me of Krish. They do. They remind me of Krish, too. I miss Krish. Him and his family. Hey, Grand Soul Gem. Sweet, I'll take you. Although, in, you know, good news, I'm moving really fast. Gold! Oh. Ah, you can't open that because that... Gold. Gold. This is easy, guys. There's gold everywhere. Gold. Gems. Jewels. Diamonds. What's behind the throne? No, nothing special. That, however, is locked, but we happen to know an open lock spell. Skeleton key, but better. Rest until healed. Use it. Didn't pick up the money mace. No, don't need it. Don't need it. Ring of Poison Blooms. Grand Soul Gem again. I'll take that. Could be useful. Have another quick nap so I can cast this 100 point spell again. He didn't drop the hammers, didn't I? I don't have any. I dropped everything that I had that was a consumable when we uh, did the thing. Devil Cellopod Helm. Spell Absorption Bind Cuirass. First Barrier Belt Shield. Journeyman's Hammer. Always useful now that we've, you know, dropped all the other ones. Can you wear the helmet? Ah, oh, I can't wear the helmet, God damn it! Not worth it. Not worth it. At least with Dulk we can reload the save, though. Yeah, like, there's there's going to be things that we can reload. But, for now. How did you mispronounce a magic creature type? What, Celopod? Or Celopod? Celiapod? Snail? Surely that's what they are, isn't it? These guys have got crazy good loot on them. Like, really good loot. And I need all of it, because I just dropped everything. Like a glass fire sword. Might be useful. Journeyman's lockpick. Might restore health. We might need it, you never know. Cephalopod. Okay, I told you some deep lore earlier. I'm going to tell you some more deep lore now. I can never pronounce the word apothecary without thinking about it. Because as a child, I kept saying a copper fairy. And whenever someone's like, oh, you must go to the potion maker in the fantasy, in the fantasy village, I'm like, oh, the apothecary. And they're like, no, no, the apothecary. Right, gotcha. The apothecary. That's what it is. <laughs> potion seller. It's easier to say potion seller. Just say apothecary. It's so much easier than saying apothecary. There are a couple of words that I just absolutely can't pronounce, and without thinking about them, and Apothecary is one of them. Hey, the Gamersops banner worked again. Fantastic. I'm glad it's doing that thing. Right, let's go down to Castle Karstark. How hard can this be? Karstark's chambers. Ooh. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. There's... Oh. Who's that? A corpse! Two barrels. Standard restore health. Some other stuff. Karstog's castle seems to be melting. This isn't... I wouldn't call this good. Eye maze ring. Chameleon. Oh, okay. Chameleon could be good. We like a bit of chameleon going on every now and again. You guys have got some banging loot on you, by the way. Like... I swear to god, half these skeletons have better loot than the first half of the game. So I'm just looting them as I go. 
When I play Fallout New Vegas, I will be doing the same thing as well, by the way. I will be looting everything that I come across. There's another ebony mace. Jewel wield them. And a dire viper sword. I don't need that. Can we, we jump up there? Let's see what's going on over here. It's an amazing ring. Global warming in Solstheim. This is what happens when the blood moon starts shining. Steel die katana, nothing else necessary. Oh, that's some kind of nest. Oh, okay. Some kind of super strange nest. What is that? A diamond? Take that as mine now. Quality restore health. Standard restore magicka. And I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep on your, on your hay. Okay, what are you going to give me? Scroll of Unduce is unhinging. It's always useful to have open stuff. Crossbow, iron bolts, mails, firebite war axe, and armor's hammers. Always take the armor's hammers because, my God, my stuff is breaking something fierce. Um, right. Where's the dude that's meant to be in charge? Is he meant to be in here? Uh, glad to see so many people playing this game. Oh, it's beautiful. It is absolutely lovely. Morrowind is one of the one of the best made games. It's got flaws, don't get me wrong. You killed him. Krish, don't say Krish needs to talk to him. You killed the guy you needed to talk to. He got bludgeoned. You killed him. The dude you killed then went on 30 minutes of looting. That guy. Oh! Hang on. I'm pretty sure I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. Right. That's a problem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're not resurrecting him. We've already resurrected one person. I'm not sacrificing other stuff to do this. <laughs> this is this is without a doubt an unfortunate turn of events. However, I don't think that there's much else that would have been Does that mean I'm going to sleep on this chair for 24 hours. Does that mean that we sacrificed every consumable we have to resurrect Krish to get into the castle and then went into the castle and killed the one person that I was meant to to speak to, thus actually negating any benefit that we would have gained from resurrecting Krish. Right. Okay. I feel like we should load the save from before fucking killing Krish again. Kill Krish again. Empty more arrows to make sure he's definitely dead. Continue to drop everything that's consumable. Drink the bitter cup. And now, after dropping all of the lockpicks and probes, which is what we pretty much promised we would do... Now carry on. Okay, now we just also eat the ruby. Good point. Ruby's been eaten. Now we go and find the dude. We use the... The mace to fight. It wasn't you, was it? It wasn't you either. 
here's a problem. With my personality being so damn low, will he even talk to me? Interesting fact, sometimes enemies and corpses have other random items on them when you search them. Like this one's got an ebony mace as well. See? It's actually generated as and when you search stuff. Milky, my goodness, thank you very much for all the subs. Hopefully killing Krish didn't offend you too much. Let's go see if we can talk to this dude now, shall we? Let's see if we can. Hey. Dulk. What are you doing here? The master will not be pleased, and you come with Krish. Yeah. Evil. Evil Krish. Krish is bad, and you are bad for helping him. What is it that you want? You should leave. Tell me about the death of the Hawkers. This was not our doing. Not even Krish could have done this. He was too busy here. I was too busy here. The master is gone. Gone with the wolves. Big wolves. Evil wolves. Wolves that walked like men. Took the master days ago. No time for the fat hawkers. And Dulk did none of this. The master is gone. He must return soon. The wolves came and took him away. Big wolves. Evil wolves. Okay. Cool. So now... Is that all? Is that... Right. Werewolves appear. The rest of the giants may have been involved in that. I should report these findings to Windai. I just... There needs to be so much death. Otherwise, Krish died for nothing. Let me just... Let me loot these chests at least. Having you. And I'm having you. This is a reminder. There we go. Dulk had it coming. He did. Dulk. He tried to take over the castle, and all of his Reiklings have been attacking me, so in many ways, I'm the victim here. I think you're just the nemesis of the Smurfs. I am Gargamel. This is a full-on, 100% role-played Gargamel playthrough. That's what this is. He called Krish evil. Krish wasn't evil, he was just resurrected. And, you know, we all come back a bit different whenever... Who hasn't had a bit of resurrection sickness? Oh good, the jump works. We can jump further now, because we're carrying less, because, you know... We had to drop everything. Cutesy wolf girl. Oh, man, you have joined at the exact right time for some hot furry action. We're about to get taken by wolves. Not in that way, but also kind of in that way. So, yeah, good timing there. Spot on. Well done. <laughs> good job. Uh, so you agree that Lusty isn't just made, but also Gargamel? Apparently, apparently she is. This is just the energy that she's... That she's bringing to the table. Right, let's go and let this wind eye know that we have discovered that we're werewolves have been kidnapping people and seeing what's going on. Shimmering harmonies. What? Okay, look, just if you've not been in this stream before, you're in for a bit of a culture shock. The best I can say is just bear with us. We're going to do our best. We've had to kill a lot of Smurfs so far. How am I dead? What happened just then? Did, did I get attacked by some massive fish or something? Hang on. The spirit of Krish. Did I cast water walking at the exact moment that I was actually inside an iceberg and ended up wrecking myself on the iceberg? I feel that may have happened. Do you do audiobooks? I do not. Audible are cowards. They have not approached me. They they need to. I'm to risk your neck coming you, here, right? so stand aside. you guys are angry at me for some reason. I don't like this or know why. Let's go chat to this person over here. Hey, how's it going, bro? Have you learned more about the death of the Hawkers or the involvement of Karstark and his minions? I fear as much. Even those creatures could not have caused such carnage. This is a bad sign, Lusty, and I fear we have not yet seen the worst. Take this. From what I hear of those Graal, it will be a valuable aid to you. Perhaps it will keep you safe during the troubled times ahead. Now I fear 
we must speak more about the Blood Moon prophecy. Star Rim Longsword of Flame has been added to your inventory. It is time we spoke of this. The legend tells of a time that occurs once in each era, when a demon god will walk the land in the company of his hounds, creatures of terrible might. He is the Hunter, and his coming is preceded by three signs. I had prayed that I had misread the signs, misunderstood the prophecy, but I am sure it's not so. The first sign tells of fire from the Eye of Glass. This we have seen on Lake Fielding, though I had hoped it was the mere magic of the Draugr Lord. Next, the prophecy tells us of the Tide of Woe. Even now, our shores are lined with the corpses of hawkers, dead for a reason which we cannot fathom. Finally, the prophecy tells us of the Blood Moon, when the young moon itself runs red with the blood of the hunter's prey. Look to the skies, Blood Skull. The third sign is upon us. Now we wait for the hunter's game. According to legend, it varies from era to era. Our grandfather's grandfathers tell of a time when the hunter and his hounds preyed upon entire tribes of men taken to the hunting grounds. The men were hunted by the hounds. The ones that died were the lucky. The survivors faced the hunter himself. In another era, the hunter took only a single man as his prey. It is said, if the prey can last through the blood moon, the hunter returns to his demon realm for another era. We have only to await the hunter's plan. There is little to be done until he lets it be known to us. Certainly, it will not be long. I fear for our people, Blood Skull. There is little I can do to protect them in these times. I have only to pray to the Allmaker that he watches over us and keeps us from the hunter's grasp. The restars ah, is complete. Are stand Praise aside. be to the All-Maker. Praise be indeed, my friend. What did you give me? You gave me a magical sword. Stalrim, long sword of flame, long blade, one-handed, fire points, and weakness to fire. Ah, it's, it's a sexy looking sword. I'll, I'll give you that, my friend. Yeah, it's not a bad looking blade, is it? Praise Alma. Maybe Alma Alexia. Oh yeah, we gave you two swords, didn't we? Why you have even... cleared my name and restored my honor. What can I do for you, my You aren't friend? even looking at the swords. Like you... Oh, my God. Do you even know where the captain is? Like, the whole point of doing any of this was to find the captain. And, you know, you know what? I'm done with it. I'm done with all of you. Just divine intervention. Back to the thing. Back here. I'm safe now. Back in amongst my own people. Amongst the guard. The Imperial Guard. I'm all happy. Have you missed me? Where's your uniform? Fuck you. <sighs> I'm... I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna go to bed, and none of you can... get involved with this. I'm gonna go and see what else is happening in this fort. I'm not part of your stupid game. I don't care anymore about any of you. Don't ask where my uniform is, it doesn't matter. There was a dude around here. Where's your uniform? Oh my god, I will kill you so hard, you will die. There was a dude around here who just wanted to make some money. Where's your uniform? If you've not been on this stream before and you're wondering, does every single guard say, where's your uniform? Yeah. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Okay, so there's nothing in here. Nothing in your chambers. Caius was the guy we're looking for. He was the cool dude. There was, however, from what I remember, a businessman somewhere around the place. Oh yeah, that was the box room up there, wasn't it? I will kill you so hard you will die. Sometimes I say things in anger that, when you analyse them, make less sense. So just, just don't analyse them, it's fine. When you said Skyrim reference on the wall, that's just the Imperial symbol. That's been used since Morrowind. If anything, Skyrim is a giant Morrowind reference. It's pretty wild every guard knows you're a guard too, if I'm, I'm just dressed like this instead. Oh, Antonius. Remember the good old days when it was just you and me getting drunk together, buddy? 
Good old times. Where is the dude who wants to make money? There he is. What do you want? Is this about the East Empire Company? I'm a very important man, I'll have you know. And I have no time for anything other than business. I feel his voice would be squeakier. Right? If you put your uniform on, do they stop asking? What yes, they do. Right. While we're waiting for whatever the hell's going to happen with Once that weird plan, with I think we should do some of his quests. What do you want? Is this about the East Empire Company? I'm a very important man. I'll have you know. And I've got no time. That's right. I'm the local factor. Not that it means much at this point. Our operations are just getting underway, and frankly, we're short-handed. We could use some help. Do you wish to join the East Empire Company? You know what, guys? I'm all about that that capital. I'm 100% about that capital. That's what I am. Hang on. Some of you weren't here at the start of the stream, and you did not see my amazing graphic. I'm going to make it for you right now. Okay, I'm going to show you. I was really impressed with this. Some of you have seen this already, but just bear with me. Bear with me, it's good. I've recently been approached by a company that I actually use, and I'm not ashamed. I've got the Gamer Sups Waifu Cups. Okay, I do. I drink them. It's tasty. There's a little link in the chat. You can click uh, exclamation mark drink, and you can go to Gamer Sups slash Josh. You can use code Josh to get 10% off. And the Gamersub said to me, Josh, if you're going to work with us, you need to mention Gamersubs at least once a stream. And I said, am I contractually obliged to do that? And they said, yes. And so I created this. I'm very proud of that. You're welcome. Uh, in all seriousness, the drinks are tasty. Cool. Right, let's go back to this. I, like I say, you guys know that I'm all about getting that bag. It's about the capital. You can only be a true Brit if you join the East Empire Company. I'm going to be real. We should have started with this quest line. This, this should have appealed to me immediately. Let's join the East Empire Company. Uh, at a closer glance, it seems you'd be of little use to me. You certainly don't meet the requirements. Is this because of my 20 personality? This is pointless. Give in. Wait, wh wh what the hell? Where did you get that mace from? Crime has been reported. By who? Why do you have a Stralrim mace? And ten restore health potions. You know what? No. I'm not going to become a criminal. I'm not going to become a criminal. We're not doing it. You need 30 personality minimum to join. What is it? Do I have like a fortify personality spell? Oh, hang on, there's got to be. I've got to have a fortify personality spell somewhere. If not, I'm going to go and make one. Oh, it would have been a scroll that I had to drop. Won't work. Bring back Krish. <laughs> Use some consumables. Oh. The bitter cup truly was bitter. And all I can do is... I can't even sleep in that bed. The only bed that I can sleep in Where's is the Mead uniform? Hall. They were cool. The Mead Hall guys were good. Stuck here. Forever. I miss the Mead Hall. Should we go back there? Let's go and hang out with the Mead Hall people. They were cool. They were over here. They were in Thrisk, weren't they? I'm going to just wait for a while. I'm going to go and hang out at Thrisk. That was this way. We're going to get drunk. Thrisk was this way, I believe. Yeah, we're like halfway there now. 
Rest until healed. <laughs> what the hell? That was loud. Ah, you have arrived. The others have been here for days now, and you are the last. It is time for my hunt, and you are to take part. I have chosen only the most worthy to take part in the hunt. Carius of the Imperials. Heartfang of the Skull. The Frost Giant Karstag. And you. You have proven yourself a worthy hunter. And so you have been given this honor. You and the others are to find your way to my hunting grounds. Take great care. As only one of you will earn the glory of facing the hunter himself in battle while the blood moon lights the sky. The others have gone ahead, so only you remain to begin. Beware, mortal. My hounds are about, and they hunger for blood. Perhaps I will see you soon. Now go. Would have been useful if we had some ebony arrows of slaying. Right, I'm glad that King of the Furries is now here. The Alpha. He's literally the Alpha. You know when they talk about the Omega-verse? That's him. He is Mr. Omega. Right, let's just, uh, let's just quick save. Now, this is the hardest part of the hardest expansion of a relatively hard game. And we are level 20. I have just gained athletics by walking up this step. So I'm going to have a little nap. You have ascended to level 21. The results of hard work and dedication always look like luck to saps. But you know, you've earned every ounce of your success. Strength, 101. Agility, 85. Speed, 82. Okay. Quick save. Let's get ready. You guys ready for this? Personality, 20. I'm going to start with the Spear of Bitter Mercy. And I'm going to use my hammer that I don't have anymore. Bugger. Right. The Spear's condition is fine as it stands. We're okay. That condition's fine. Let's join in with Hercene's hunt. Oh, it's Caius. Lusty, it is you. I'm sorry that you two have been brought to play in this nefarious game. Since the werewolves captured me at the fort, I have been held here by this demon Hercene. Soon others joined me, one of the Nords named Hartfang, along with a beast named Karstark. I believe the only hope for a escape is to find our way through this maze. That is what the demon told me. We are to fight our way through this maze, which is hunted by the werewolves, the demon calls his hounds. I am weak, my friend, and have been here for too long. Perhaps together, we can find our way to safety. We must find the key to allow us through the gate in the center of this maze. Captain, Carius, you were good to me. We fight together. I am glad for your companionship. Together we'll fight our way through these demon halls and escape this evil prison. There's a door in the center of the maze, but we'll need a key to enter. Let us find the key and leave this place. Carius, I can... I can literally see a werewolf right there, my bro. Right there. Let's work together. Here we go. I'm going to use the spell... The Spear of Bitter Mercy. Storm Kill Atronach. Come on, Carius. You and me together, my bro. Oh my god, these wells are really powerful. Okay. Okie dokie. Oh, I can see this is going to be a bit of a problem. Here we go. <laughs> we got this, guys. We got this. Um, 
There is a 19% chance I cast this. Hang on. Get lifted. Will this work? We test something on you, Carius. Damn it! Oh, levitation magic doesn't work here! Right. You can't rest. Enemies are nearby. Can we... You can't magic... You can't rest! You can't sleep! You can't rest. You can't sleep. What do we have? Alma let lovers kiss. Paralyzed target for 60 seconds. I can't fight this. No magic door. You must jump. Call wolf. Ah, good. S effect summon creature 01 for 45 seconds on self. That is my favorite S effect. Thanks, game, for that really specific... <sighs> Great. Great. Hide. Invisibility. You don't have enough magicka to cast this. Quick load. Hopefully I didn't save it after using the magicka. Thank God I didn't. Hide. Let's find out. Succeeded. Quick save. Go. Can werewolf see you if you're invisible? Apparently. No. Carrius, we were good friends. Good job, dude. Good job. You, just, you keep going. You keep fighting. Fight the good fight. What's that? Werewolf Ice Statue. Your journal has been updated. Carrius has died in the Mortan Glacier. <laughs> Sorry, Carrius. Oh, God. Okay, two hits and I die. Two hits and I just straight up die. Some of those returned artifacts would be great right about now. They really would, wouldn't they? They would be absolutely splendid and tremendous. How do we win? First of all, this is falling away, so I run. We need to get to the center of the maze, get a key, and then run away. So maybe if I get to the center of the maze, get the key, and then run away... Is there a key around here somewhere? Ah, ha, ha, there we go. Don't know what that is. Ah, chest. A glowing key. Carry us, mate, we got it. Oh, oh. I just jumped up here. I don't know what this does. Oh, no, no, no. That, that didn't help. That did not help. That's a lot of... It is a lot of wolves. Is it possible to quick intervention out? Let's find out. Uh, can we use divine intervention? Nope. Okay. Teleportation magic does not work. We can't leave. We can't keep Karius alive, and we absolutely definitely can't kill these wolves. We also can't sleep. So what do we have? Right, what do we have? We need to work out what I can cast that will help. Do I have anything that casts... Okay. Where's the mudrum ring? Invisibility for 30 seconds on self. This is going to help. Okay, so we cast this. I can stay invisible. As long as Caius doesn't come and help me, I'll be okay. So I just need to keep casting this. Then we get the key. To stay invisible, come on. Okay, this is a problem. Right, when you interact with something, you become visible. That's a real problem. I don't think they can smell through invisibility. I think what happens is when you interact with literally anything, then you become visible. So as long as I... I must start invisible and remain invisible. The problem with that is... I have to open 
this chest. And I don't think it was this way, was it? Was it this way? No, I've gone the wrong way. There are way too many werewolves here to be able to fight. I cannot survive this without the dude. There's the door. Okay, cool. So there's the door that we have to get through. We have to get to the chest, open it, and then... Yeah, is this new Elden Ring mod? Pretty much. Invisibility should break aggro, but it doesn't. Use a high-level chameleon. I don't have one. The only chameleon that I have is the amazing band, which I don't have anymore because I picked that up in the first run of Castle Karstag when we had to reload after I killed Glunk or whatever his name was. Ah. <laughs> okay, you know what? New plan. Um, you need to die. Careful with that, friend. Sorry, bro. Surrender now, and I might let you live. Oh, that summons... Why would that summon you? Why would that summon the wolves? Cold, wet, no sun. I was watching the RuneScape documentary, and I saw you in it. If it was from RuneFest 2010 with the red party hat, yes, that was me. Okay. Okie dokie. We can do this. It's fine. We've we've got this. I I believe in us. I think we can do this together. Okay. So the mudrum ring is pretty much our our saving grace. This is needed. The mudrum ring 100% is needed. And you need to then loot the the thing. But you need to loot it while you're still invisible. See me? That's got to be a mishit. I have also completely... Oh! Bye! Okay, so apparently you can just jump out of the arena. I don't think there's collision on the roof. There is a door there, though. Speedrun tactics. There's no collision on the roof here because they didn't expect you to ever actually do that. Hang on. Got any idea how You're not meant to be able to get up there. Work. So... Careful with that, friend. You make this too easy. That summons the wolves. My spear has a longer range than a wolf attack. Which means, in theory, as long as we stay here, the game doesn't account for you jumping. Because you're not meant to be able to jump in this area, and it's such a small area... They have not done it. Good luck the spear doesn't break. It's going to. With this many wolves, it's 100% going to. This is how I beat it as a kid. Doors are old tech. Jumping is the new strat. Okay, we're actually taking a few of them down. What if we could merge the dump and the dump and the jaw strat? The jump and the door strat. God, okay, I've been streaming for six hours. This is... We're gonna get tired soon. Caius, mate, I love you, but you were unfortunately a worthy sacrifice for this bit specifically. The old Donatello. Caius, I am sorry. But, unfortunately, only one of us. Your spear skill increased to a hundred, and the final hit was on Caius.
Caius, I need to take something from you. It's your uniform. Maybe this is what we've been waiting for. Your gold. Imperial Temple Knight Cuirass. Heavy, armor rating 55. Not as good as my Dragonbone Cuirass. Armor rating 310, resist fire 100% on self. Imperial Templar Greaves, 55. What am I currently wearing on my legs? Nothing, apparently. Cool. I'm having your Greaves. Left Bracer, I think I'm wearing gloves right now. So I'd rather keep wearing Treachery, Fortify Sneak. Boots, we can't wear. You don't wear a helmet. Left pauldron, right pauldron. We've got Daedric, mate, going on. Right. We have taken his trousers. Just curious, what is it about Game of Subs that you like? Uh, the flavor, honestly. I just like the taste. Uh, blowhole Blast, I think it's lovely. I've quick saved the game. We have not taken his full uniform, but we have taken his trousers. We now have pants. We did not have pants before. This is a new experience for Lusty. Imperial Templar Greaves. We now have them. Can we rest yet? Apparently we cannot rest yet and we can still not go back through the door. Now that, to me, did not seem like all of the werewolves. However, we do still have a jump spell. It's a very basic simple jump spell I'm sure we do have it somewhere that was it jump 20 points for 10 seconds on self quick save is this enough to get me up there it is okay cool but i cannot cast it again so i now know that i can cast jump to get me up there Not enough. There we go. And now... Well, bugger. Oh, oh. He's back. He was really smart for a second. I was like, oh no, this isn't going to work. Ah, now he's back for more. Oblivion Arena strats still work. Technically, Oblivion Arena strats are definitely Morrowind Wolf strats. Quick save. Okay. There is, however, a problem now. The problem now is I don't have any jump abilities left. And I don't know how many more werewolves are in this place. Can they still get me if I jump onto the Flaming Braziers? Let's find out. Come on. Come on, where are you? No! Oh, yes! Not if I stand on the other side of it, though. Okay, so the reason that fire's not hurting me is because I've got the Dragonbone Cuirass on which gives me 100% immunity to fire. You know what would be really useful right now is the... Um, the King's Ring that gives me a massive amount of health regen. Remember that? That would have been great. In fact, any amount of health regen would have just been super. Okay, so you can still hit me if I am too close to one edge. God damn it! Quick save. I've got to find something I can jump to that you can't hit me from. Like up here or something. There's got to be a place 
where you can't hit me. Or I can use hide. Can't cast it, don't have enough. Maybe I can use my... Where's the ring? The mudrum ring, that's the one. Okay, cool, we're invisible for several seconds. I need to find the key bloody quickly and hope. Is it viable to play melee in this game? Play melee the whole time, so I hope so. Wasn't that way. You seem confused. They'll be able to get me from any of those positions. I need a position where I am high enough away from their melee attacks. Like here? Oh, oh no, they can get me. Huh? Oh, yep, yeah, they can. Damn it. There's got to be a way. There's got to be a way to do this. I will find this. Can we invisibility through the rest? If I can work out where the hell the key is, yes. Just need to work out where the heck that key is. The key has got to be somewhere. The mudroom ring. That's what I need. Where was the key? It was in a box. Did you pick the mana potions up in Karstog's castle? Yeah! Then we dropped them. Remember? Because I thought that'd be a fun little time. Okay. Right, I'm searching. Cool, we've done it. I've got the key. I'm still invisible. Oh, hello you. Did that... Did that werewolf just spawn? Do they spawn? That would be a problem. I need to find where the hell the end of this bloody maze is. There's got to be a bloody great door somewhere. There it is. Okay. It's you, Lusty. How did you get this far? We've little time, I fear. The Frost Giant Cast Arc has gone ahead, even now. I fear he may win this battle before me. Perhaps together, we can fight through this place. Let's go together. Then I will go. I will reach the end of this Hunter's Game. All right, sweet. We made it through the first bit. How is he there? With a lot of luck and not an insubstantial amount of cheese. We cannot rest here. Enemies are nearby. That's the problem. I can't keep using this mudrum ring because there's no way to even jump to. I'll take care of this Kill the beast. All right. Okay. Quick save. You and me did it. Heartfang. Heartfang, you absolute babe. Kill one. Let him tank. The dude's strong. Is that guy a little bit fuzzy? Another one down. All right. Okay. I feel that we're doing relatively well with this guy. Yeah, you're my new... Heartfang, you're my new best friend. Kill the and the cool thing about my spear is... It occasionally... Will stun them. Do I have any items that refill health? Like, any at all? We're doing way better here than we were before, and there's no loot here at all. There's nothing we can get. Do I have any... I mean, I've got my Eidolon's Ward, or Eildon's Ward, but I don't want to use that yet. Bralazar's Maze Band, Ancestral Ring, I could use all those things. Heartbite Ring, damage health, detect... I can detect key. That's what I can do. Detect key. I can cast buoyancy. You have a couple of potions, right? I've got cheap restore health. Okay, good stuff. That did 
almost nothing. I have very little else. Quick save. Oh, if only the vampire ring had returned. That would have been great. That would have been super, super useful. Unfortunately, it's not there. That's the heart bite ring. Damage health on touch. Do we need to just get through this maze? Because if this is just like a get through the maze section, I might see if the long sword does anything for us here, mate. It'll be your blood here, not mine. <laughs> Nope. No, it does not. Longsword is nowhere near as good. Ah. <sighs> okay. Oh. Apparently you can jump behind the scenery. And... Oh, they can get you. Yeah, okay. Didn't realize you can do that. Didn't realize you can just jump behind the scenery. If I, mean, I can see you say uh, he was right about it being your blood, it was. Where are my notifications? But I still made it on time. Remember, if you're unsure of what time I stream, there's a handy dandy rhyme. Saturdays at seven, Sundays at four. And this is because I stream at Saturday at seven o'clock and Sundays at four o'clock. Have I, have I outran the werewolves? Have they left me alone? Have they just stopped attacking? No, here they are. Oh, no, yep, there they are. Cool. Right. Have I ever considered starring in a James Bond movie? I wish it were that easy. I wish I could wake up one day and be like, you know what? You know what I'm going to do this weekend? I'm going to get involved in a James Bond film. I'm going to walk on set and be like, do you know who I am? And then they'll say no, and I'll say good, and I'll run away, and they won't be able to arrest me, because they... Do not know who I am. Very simple. Very simple, very direct, very quick, very easy way of doing it. Uh, but no, in all seriousness, I, I've always wanted, that was my dream as a kid. I wanted to play James Bond in a film. It's all I ever wanted to do. But then I realized that apparently there is a curse on James Bond where you're not allowed to say that you want to play James Bond. And if you say you want to do it, you end up never being able to do it. I didn't realize that as a kid. So now, apparently, uh, because I've said it, I can never do it. It's one of those weird Hollywood tradition things. And, you know, Hollywood's all about their tradition. This chest is empty. Uh, what's up there? Nope, nope, enemies. God damn it. So that chest is totally empty. That's really annoying. I would, yeah, it, I'd be a good Bond. I'd be fantastic. I can... I can do some uh, acting for you right now. The name is Bond. James Bond. There you go. That's the entire audition right there. I don't think I need to do any more. I think I've pretty much got it. Hello, M. What gadgets do you have for me today? Ooh, oh golly. It's a car. What also shoots other smaller cars. That's it. That was the whole thing. I hope you appreciated my audition for the role of James Bond. Nailed it. 100% straight up nailed it. I don't know what else I could do to show you my acting skill. Where is the door? This is a maze. You're meant to have a door. Only thing Bond needs is to look similar to Sean Connery. Shaken. Don't stir it. It's a car with tiny cars, because we know how much you like cars. Can someone mod your face onto Bond in GoldenEye 64? Would that work? That would be great. I'd be happy with that. Oh, man. You thought doors were your ally. I did think doors were my ally, to be honest. Can I... Can I just slowly jump higher and higher? Okay, so... I've been able to jump higher and higher to here. Uh, 
And I want to see what happens now. Okay, so I fall down. I was able to jump out of bounds. Why can I not do that again? I can't use the amulet of Van Halen. There's not enough charge to jump. Can I jump on you? Oh, there we go. How does it feel to know that is Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. Yeah, you've got the... Uh, you can distract those two while I go this way. You go that way. I'll go this way. What is this way? This, this way is nothing. There's nothing here. There was never anything here. We shouldn't be here. I've got to kind of glitch out of this. There's no way I can win, effectively. Heartfang is dead. As he died, the ring of Hercene disappeared from his finger and appeared in my inventory. Hercene's ring. Let's put it on. Would you like to use the ring of Hercene? Yeah. What's the worst that could happen? Apparently now a werewolf. Although somehow still not that strong, but incredibly quick. Okay, so you become the wolf man, you fight the other dude, get Hercene's ring, and now you can move really fast if you want to do that. No, don't eat the skin for God's sake. You don't know where it's been. Is that what you're meant to do? Are you meant to actually kill him? Also, how am I up here? Excellent, now I'm here. Maybe you weren't wrong about him being a bit hairy. Apparently, yeah, he was a werewolf the whole time. Who knew? Maybe he can 1v1 all the wolves. No, so you're not meant to kill him. Can you kill all the wolves? Can I just, like, call my own wolf for a bit? Don't have enough magic to cast a spell. Fantastic. I was a werewolf, so I had to kill everyone here. It's supposed to be a tournament. It is supposed to be a tournament. That is very true. Maybe that's what we do. Maybe that's just how we do it. I can't think. It seems to be that there's no way to progress apart from him dying. Him dying seems to be a thing that needs to happen. Okay. You're supposed to be a really strong melee character with cracked enchantments on all items. Go werewolf and kill them. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. They, they do think you need to be a crazy high level, but I'm only level 21. And... I just don't think I've got. It either sets your crazy attributes or it boosts them. Well, how much can I summon? So let's just have a look. Summon Ancestral Ghost for 60 seconds on self. Summon Ancestral Ghost. Then we can use Summon Fabricant. Then we can use Summon Storm Atronach. Okay, cool. That's pretty much all the summons that we've got going on. You should have picked an easier opponent. Let's just see what happens if you summon everything and let them attack the werewolves. Especially if you try and help. Okay, so you can actually just slowly ping the werewolf to death by summoning everything you've got repeatedly. This is the meta. This is the Beast Master meta. Every time, just one more. 
Can we glitch behind the... Oh, hang... Oh, hello. Hello. Okay. We are, You can actually jump on top of the werewolf ice statue. That was not something I was expecting. You can do that. Oh, if only I had the ability to jump a little bit higher. Okay, cool. I've I've jumped into the ceiling. And I am now on the top of the roof bit. I've made it up here. The question is where do I go now? So there's a box just there, but there's nothing in it. That's clearly the center of the of the thing, the level. So yeah, I'll die again, because the werewolf will just wreck me. Unless I can somehow jump on top of the statue again. Which I'm... If for some reason the werewolf stopped. Oh, the dude's here. Okay. So you going to fight the werewolf for me? Let's find out. You made it pretty far letting him tank. You might be able to get through just going with him and being careful. Right. The problem is, I, I don't think you're meant to let him die, are you? What would happen if I just kill him? Mind who you're fighting. I will bathe in your blood. This is as far as we go, Lusty. I have the key to reach the next stage of the Hunter's Challenge. And only I shall continue. This hunt is for Hartfang and Hartfang alone. Many generations I lived now. Her scenes ring on my finger. This hunt is my birthright. Hartfang alone shall face the hunter. Hartfang alone shall earn the glory of the hunt. See now the power I was born to wield. You now face Hartfang in his true form. The form he was born to wear. Ah! Okay, so apparently, um, yeah, you are literally just meant to wait for him to die. He would always have betrayed you eventually. Hey, Heartfang, why don't... Do you have to kill every werewolf in here? Is that literally the plot, the point of this next bit of the game? Kill every werewolf. Because if kill every werewolf is the point that we have to, to get to with him. Can you pickpocket the key? I... Does he have a key? Let's find out. No, he doesn't. I'm thinking the ring goes in the chest. Okay, you can just run through, but not sure. Do you have to put something in the chest? He said he had the key. I know. I know. A glowing key. What if we put the glowing key in the chest? What if that happened? The key is the ring of her scene. Okay, cool. So... All I need to know is, do we need to kill every single bloody werewolf in here? Because if we do that, it's a, a genuinely a problem. Okay, the mudrum ring. It's got a tiny bit. You need to get to the gate. You don't need to kill everyone. Okay, so the first thing I've got to do is kill him. But for some reason, the werewolves always prioritize me. Okay. We can do this. I can do this. We can do this. You might heal as a werewolf. I think that you might actually do that. There is nowhere to stand that you can hit the werewolves safely with this dude. There is no safe spot. Not that I can see anyway. Okay. When you're a werewolf, do you heal?
I need to use this to just slowly move around. Okay. Mind who you're fighting. You say mind who I'm fighting, mate. Let's see if I can just. You're growing weak. Okay, so you guys are super weak to fire, it seems. Oh, there we go. Actually killed him. Cool. Actually killed him, and we got Hercene's ring. Let's put it on and see what happens. Do we... Do we get our health back? Let's find out. First time watching live, big fan of your content. Hello from Australia. Oh, thank you. Right, We do get our health back. Fantastic. Thank you for joining from Australia. Don't forget the keys. Okay. You cannot do that as a werewolf. I can't do anything as a werewolf, can I, really? Okay. However, my strength is 150, agility, speed, endurance. Everything is bloody powerful. Right. It restores all your stats. Perhaps you can walk through this as one. I don't think you can. They still see you as an enemy. However... Fought more okay. Than you. And then they attack you. So the frozen werewolf statues come to life and attack you. And provided you attack them rhythmically, you can stun lock them. Okay. Attack rhythmically and stun lock. You do not regain health. You cannot. You can, however. Oh god, you can just jump really high. Okay, so we can just jump straight over these guys. We can't open chests. We can, however, jump ridiculously high and move crazy fast. We just need to find where the end of the the actual kind of maze thing is. So we, we've jumped all the way up here. Where the heck is the maze, the end of the maze? Is it in the middle somewhere? I think you're slowly regening health. 250. 251. <laughs> I swear it was just there. Okay, so we did actually slowly regain health. However... We do not have the Royal Signet. I gave it away because it was too powerful, and I didn't want to cheat and use it. Why are we back on full health again? I've just got to find the end of the maze. That's all I want to find now. Where the heck is the end of the bloody maze? as I can. I cannot attack any of you. I can't get over there or up there. Right. I like how the subtitles do say growl. There's a lot of yiffing going on in this game right now, and I'm not sure if I'm comfortable with all of that. Too much yiffing, if anything. I know some of you may be thinking, Josh, no such thing. But apparently there is. It's this much yiffing. The jumping's fun, though. That's good. Where is the end of this maze? I don't have an inventory. I can't pick things up. I can just sit on this wall. can't even attack you guys, because you're too far away. Okay. Look at the local map. Oh, do we have a local map? Oh, okay, cool. Huntsman's Hall in the centre. So you've got to get to the middle. I thought you'd get to the edge. 
The middle is this ice thing. Oh, there we go. In we pop. And through we go. Oh, quick save. I'm going to regret doing that, but we're a werewolf now. Fantastic. We are... That's a cool statue. We are a werewolf. This is who we are. Deal with it. It's not a phase, Mum. It's not a phase. Oh, God. Oh, God. You are the troll, aren't you? Am I going to have to jump over you and slash down every time I want to try and hit you? Oh my god, you're so tough. Morrowind. Peak Morrowind gameplay. Remember that time when the Elder Scrolls tried to become an action game? That you play as a werewolf? Slap you. Apparently, I'm so powerful I can stun you. I didn't want to become a werewolf, but you've got to wear the ring of her scene, I think. I can't even talk to him. Sorry, bro. Your journal's been updated. What's. Is there anything around here? This ring is not permanent, Werewolf. What's up here, if anything? Can we... So, you are the one. You have escaped my hounds and beaten back the other challengers. I had rather expected the giant to prevail, but no matter. You have proven yourself a worthy hunter, and you have earned the greatest honor that can be bestowed upon a mortal. You are to be my prey. I ask you, though, what is it that makes a hunter great? Is it his strength, the speed with which he strikes? Or is it his guile, the ability to outwit his prey? Answer me, mortal, and decide your fate. What is the hunter's greatest strength? Strength, speed, or guile? Now, I happen to remember this bit from when I was a kid. This is the one bit that is burned into my mind from Blood Moon. Whichever of these you choose, you must fight his specific version of that. I chose Guile, and you must fight a, an enemy that can paralyze you and drain your endurance. However, if you beat that enemy, you get his spear and it's very very good it's a really good spear but we have got a spear from Shiogorath. however his spear is amazing i think we go with guile we get the incredible spear and we use that but it's so good you need to put it away what if we get the spear, and then just to prove a point, we don't use it? So you have chosen, and so shall be your fate. To face me in all my glory would be less than sporting. So you shall face but one of my aspects, the one you have chosen. We have little time. The blood moon sinks low in the sky. Prepare yourself, mortal, for now you are the hunted. I have quick saved right now. Oh god. Okay, he's very fast. And he can hit me and paralyze me. And while paralyzed, I remain paralyzed for ages and then he does that hello game 
Y you, you good, game? Her scene? Um... You good, bro? Uh, don't mind me, Hercene. I'm just going to slap you. I don't think he could handle the Neutron style. I think he took one look at us as a werewolf and went, you know what? This bro's good. Is this how we want to win? Do we want to win because he just glitched? This is the aspect of Guile. This is like the most amazing level of Hunter. This is the toughest boss in the game. And how do we get, hang on. How do we get his spear? We can't pick it up. Also, you can only barely see it. There's like a pixel of it just there. Okay. Um, take the ring off. You, you can't. I don't have anything. Can we have a nap? You cannot rest in werewolf form. Just wait. Still dead. All right, let's, uh, let's leave. Sweet. As I left the glacier, I heard a loud rumbling sound, as if the entire structure were coming down around me. I found myself outside the fallen ice mountain, with Hercene's message echoing in my thoughts. The hunter has been defeated, but he will return one day. To hunt. Again. I have Hercene's ring, which means I can now turn into a werewolf as and when I need to. And... You did mention that I can wait, effectively, to leave werewolf form. But some of you will be angry at me. You will be very angry at me if I don't load this back up and get the spear, won't you? How do I not be werewolf? I'm... I'm still pretty werewolfy. I'm... I'm waiting. The ring resets. Six hours. Okay. Six hours, yeah? Wait for six hours. It's pretty... Pretty werewolfy. It seems... That I'm... This is me now. I guess this is it. How about you leave the game running for a bit and react to a YouTube... Six real hours. Six hours real time. No, that, that can't... That's definitely not how this works. 100%. No. What if I just, like, right-click on the werewolf? Okay, so... Restore health. Spirit of the wolf. 
Detect animal, night eye, fortify attributes, resist poison, and resist common disease. I don't think 36 in dog hours. Three seconds equals one minute in the game. Okay, do we have to actually wait? React to Spiffing Brit's Morrowind video. Genuinely, try from the point of quick save. You could hear the ring re-equipping. You could, couldn't you? So let's let's go to load the auto save. You could hear the ring re-equip. So if we rest for like five hours, and then one more. There you are. Oh, is this? Yeah, there you are. It does save every time you do this. According to some old game facts, some people had to wait for several days in game. Maybe... Uh... Oh, there we go. Thank goodness. Um, okay, oh, right. I'd lost control of everything for a second there. Cool. We're back. Everything is completely unequipped. Lusty has gone back to being the most base of Argonian maids. This is her in all her glory. Lovely, fantastic, lusty glory. That's, that's who she is. Just accept this. Spear of the Hunter. Thrust, 60. Cast when strike. Paralyze for 10 seconds. Burden, 50 points for 10 seconds. Poison, 4 points for 5 seconds. You say it's the best spear in the game. Okay. It's doing the same damage as the Spear of Bitter Mercy. It's doing less damage than the Mace of Avar Stonesinger. Spear of the Hunter. A glowing key. Taken. Quick save. Now we leave. Skip the final animation. Your journal has been updated. We have defeated Blood Moon. The hat. The pauldrons return. The cuirass. The clothes of Mara we found from the lady in the random temple. The shield, that's mine. The sword. The sword saved us. It truly did. Imperial Templar Greaves. They were an important thing to have. What else did we have equipped constantly? A slip's ring is a good one with a constant effect. There was another constant effect, I'm sure, somewhere else. The ring of the raven eye. It's a good constant effect. Gloves. We want to wear our nice, powerful gloves, don't we? Nothing else was necessary, I don't believe. Hercene's ring we've got, just in case. The belt of stolid armor. That's a constant boost effect. I think that was it. I don't think we have an amulet with a constant effect. But I'm going to wear the amulet of Van Halen. Because that's our most important amulet. And now we're back to what we were. We can even jump as high as we need to jump. Where are we currently? This is... The Glacier. Castle Karstark. I think we should probably go and... Let the Fort Frostmoth know... Via Divine Intervention... That the Captain is dead. 
Hey guys. How's it going? Now before you say it, I am wearing Imperial Templar Greaves. So what do you want? Where's your uniform? Oh, I thought it was done. If there's a barrel at the bottom of the barrel... You know what? Do you think the captain was a bad man? That's a question. A genuine question. Do you think the captain of this fort was an evil person? I don't think he was. I think he was trying his best. Yes, that's why we killed him. No, no, we killed him because we had to. We had to. But he wasn't a wolf. The other dude was a wolf. He was very much a wolf. He had no uniform. I want to give the Spear Where's of Hersey... Where's your uniform? Oh my god, shut up. Okay, you know what? Fine. Fine. Surrender now and I might let you live. I don't need this island anymore. And I am sick of all of you telling me that I need a uniform. We are leaving, Frostmoth. I've trifled with you long enough. I don't even need it to be charged. Not going to build the colony. Let's see what you're made of. Just going to... Just going to satisfy. A little urge. Just briefly. Just feeling a little bit good about myself now. Okay, you know what? Fine. Maybe I won't kill you all. Where's that... your uniform? Krish changed you. Man. After Krish, everything changed. It did. It will really, <laughs> truly no uniform behavior. Man, if I had a uniform, it would be way better. Where's your uniform? Where's your uniform? That was said in exact... Exact tandem at the right time. That was very impressive. Now, there is another thing we can do on Solstheim. You can actually build up a colony. The colony of Raven Rock, which I think is actually now in... It's in Skyrim, wasn't it? It was included in one of the Skyrim expansion packs. You can build the colony of Raven Rock if you want to. But to do that, you need to have at least... 30 personality and I don't have that now I could go and create a spell that allows me to boost my personality to at least 30 or I could not do that do we build the colony of Raven Rock I think we should Josh love the other land video oh thank you very much I really enjoy making those that was probably my my magnum opus do you have that spell IRL? Yes, all of the glass. That's what the well, exactly what the waistcoat does. I have three personalities. You can borrow one. There's an Easter egg in Skull's Village, a ring in the mouth of a cliff racer. Really? Easter egg in the Skull's Village Great Hall. Are you being serious? Because if you're being serious, I'll go and have a look. I'll go to the Skull Village Great Hall. Let's go see what there is. That's all the way over there, isn't it? We can just keep jumping to it repeatedly with our jump spell. And I will keep boosting. Using my... Oh, no. Not enough charge. Rest for 24 hours so we can jump again. Let's 
Let's keep jumping. Am I going to play Dragon's Dogma 2 when it comes out? I've not played Dragon's Dogma 1, but I'll happily play it for a review video at some point. It'll just take me some time, so give me a chance to get to it, and I'll definitely play it. Let's keep, keep launching for this. It's a unique ring. Okay. You say there's a unique ring. I'm always happy to go and uh, see what we can find in the Great Halls. Especially if it's a reference to cliff races, which are always funny. Oh yeah, the lake's not on fire anymore. So, good job guys. We put out the burning lake. I should probably let the... Because I am an honorary Skarl. I should probably let these guys know that their leader is dead. But, in good news, got myself a sweet spear. Yeah, we kind of... I think all of this, all of this was thanks to Krish, wasn't it? Without a doubt. Krish, Krish did this. Let's go let this dude know what happened. Hey, bro. The Blood Moon prophecy is no more, and the Skarl live on. The time of Thrust and Hardfang has passed, but the Skarl will remember him as a once great warrior who has fallen. I have heard whispers on the wind of the fate of Hardfang. He had been tempted by dark magic and was corrupted by it. I can only hope our next leader does not suffer the same fate. As for who that leader will be, only time will tell. You would be a good leader, I think, Lusty. But you are not Skarlborn. While you will be remembered with honor, cannot lead. For now, I will guide the Skarl until a time when the Allmaker lets it be known who will carry the mantle. You say there is a unique ring. Oh, it's... That's the the cliff racer. And there is, indeed. Blue Dev's Ring of Viewing. Interesting. What does this do? Which movie would you like to view? Long Werewolf, Totem 1, Totem 2, Bear Hunt 1, 2, Karstag 1, 2, Wild Hunt, or Endgame? That's... that's pretty cool. You get to re-watch in-game movies. You get to... it's incredible that they put all of Endgame on here. In a ring. What if you want to watch none of them? Like, long, long werewolf. I'm sorry, but that werewolf eye really looks like the cover for some kind of horny book. I suppose smut or erotic would have worked better, but I couldn't think of the words smut or erotic in my brain fast enough. So my brain just went, you've got to think of something, Josh. Just go with it. And I'm like, horny book. That works. Same thing. Straight up same thing. The classic uh, horny book. Uh, yeah, it's it wasn't the smoothest transition, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased with it. All right, we'll keep the ring of viewing. It's very cool that it's in the Cliff Racer's mouth. Uh, I suppose that's kind of our chair now, isn't it? You know what? Castle Karstag is destroyed, isn't it? Castle Karstag is completely destroyed. Although, can we go back to it at all? Hi, Josh. You're cute. You can't prove that. You don't know. You know what I think we need to do? I think we need to go and thank Thrisk. The only people who didn't attempt to kill me for sleeping in a bed. And to me, that's a pretty big thing. They were like the only people who straight away didn't try and murder me when I had a kip. Everyone else, straight to death. Immediately. Those guys, yeah, they were cool. Okay, look, guys, you really, you... Oh. 
Okay, so what happened just there was I attacked an enemy with this spear. The enemy had reflect, and I have reflected the paralyzed for 10 seconds, burden, and poison onto myself. <sighs> Cool. Good choice, guys. Good choice. Thankfully, we are closer to Thrisk, so Amulet of Van Halen and jump over to it. And now let's go and let these guys know that I appreciate them for not trying to kill me. Being an enjoyer of Morrowind, do you know or remember Gix from YouTube? I do not, unfortunately. Tell me of them. I will happily listen to them. Oh no. What? The Mead Hall. The one place that didn't attempt to kill me. For having a nap. No. Skjöldir. Wow. Pause of the Wolf Runner. Constant effect. Fortify athletics. Fortify speed. And I can't wear them because I'm a beast class. Wolf pauldron. Wolf cuirass. Wolf greaves. What happened? By the gods. You tourists are a nuisance. He... He came to the meat hall and killed... He killed everyone he could. There was no warning. My clan fought bravely, but they were no match. I rained arrows upon the beast and finally drove him off, but he'll be back. It all happened so quickly. We were just standing here enjoying our mead and the warmth of the fire when he struck. Never have I seen a creature so savage. If I didn't know better, I'd say the monster that did this was the Udfrikt. But how could that be? A remorseless monster with a taste for human flesh, according to legend, has been sealed within his lair for centuries. The entrance is on the shore of Lake Fjalding, but it's covered with ice. How could he have escaped? Wait, no. The strange fire on the lake. He must have seen it. I don't know what sorcery caused that fell flame, but it must have melted the ice. If this is true, the Udfrakt is free to walk the land. Maid, the beast must be stopped. You are no stranger to combat, I can see that in your eyes. And do you have the power to slay the beast? Do you have the courage? Skaldir Wolfrunner was the last chieftain of Thrisk. He took possession of the hall when he slew Gris the Yellow and placed his head on the pedestal. But now Skaldir is dead and Thrisk has no chieftain. If you can kill the Udafrakt and claim some kind of battle trophy, you might be found worthy to rule over Thrisk. What say you? Will you kill the Udafrakt? Yes, I will. Your words honor me and my fallen comrades. The Udafrite makes his lair in the ice caves that run beneath Thrisk. The entrance is located on the shores of Lake Fjalding, just to the west of here. I'm sure you'll find the creature there licking his wounds. If you can manage to slay the Udafrite, make sure you claim some part of the beast as a trophy. Bring it back, and I will name you Chieftain of Thrisk. For that is our way. This is the skull, is it? The skull of the previous one, the yellow skull. And you are... Well, the old chieftain. Right. Bear with me a moment. I'm gonna go and kill the Udafrisk. You said what? His... Entrance on the eastern shore of Lake Fjolding. Everything comes back to Lake Fjolding, doesn't it? God damn everything. The eastern shore. Well. The eastern shore is... Nope, this is the west. I always get those two things mixed up. This is the east. If I... Were an entrance lair of the Ulderfrakt. I think we go and kill this thing. I think we use the spear. 
that we got from killing her scene to make extremely light work of it. I don't think you can use it. I think you'll find I can. Look at this. Look at that. See? Straight away. Quick stabby stabs. There you are. Come here, Uda Freicht. Get paralyzed, noob. Oh. You resisted magic, did you? What a boss. What a fight. What a fantastic constant back and forth. Oh my goodness. Todd, you've done it again. What's over here? Nordic male helmet. I don't think we can wear that. A skeleton. Well, we'll see what else there is first in the lair before we go looting the Uderfreicht himself. But that was thrilling. I, I actually didn't know who was going to win that fight for a while. There was a lot of back and forth. There was some, some seriously interesting tactics by all sides. What's in here? Warhammer and nothing else. What's over here? Oh, lots of skulls. You got your little nest going on? All right, give me something from you. Severed Nord Leg. Blunt Weapon. Heart of the Uderfreicht. Severed Nord Leg. Just hang on. Is that... You can punch someone with a foot. Okay. Is... Well, you know what? Lusty... She's a lusty girl. She's not against showing a bit of leg. All right, cool. Uh, we've got the, the heart, the Uderfreicht. There's nothing else in here. And we have found our ultimate weapon. She's going to get a bit leggy with it. Lovely stuff. Lusty confirmed. Sometimes, hey... This is her feet picks. You should enchant that and give it a leg pun name. I'm gonna... Okay, we're gonna do this. Here's the plan. Here's what I think we should do. I think we should go and get Azura's star, capture a really powerful soul, and enchant this leg with something. What? Don't know. Something. Something important and powerful. Oh, that was where we found all that really cool stuff that we can't use anymore. Is it a legendary weapon? Hey. Is this where I'm meant to be? Yeah. So this is Thrisk. This where's, where's the meat hall? Yo. Thrisk is closed and without a chieftain. I'm sorry, mate. Sad time. But none may enter the meat hall. What? You. You hold the heart of Uderfright. Can this be? You have slain the fell beast by the gods. You truly are a warrior worthy of song. Give the heart to me, then. I will make ready the mead hall. And when the debris of battle has been cleared, the heart of Uderfright will be placed on the pedestal of Thrisk. There is but one more task you must complete before being named chieftain. You must go to the barrow, go to the mountains, and find the barrow of Hrothmund the Red, the first chieftain of Thrisk. One may only be named chieftain of the mead hall if Throthman's spirit approves it. Inside the barrow is Hrothman's great axe. Lay your hands on this weapon and utter your intention to rule over Thrisk. If you are found worthy, Hrothman will grant his blessing. Go now. Seek Hrothman's barrow at the Eye of the Wolf. While you're away, I will see the repairs to the Mead Hall. I sh I've found Hrothman's barrow before. Okay. Throthmund's Barrow, where journey west to the Mose Ring Mountains and find the Barrow. Pretty sure I've found Throthmund's Barrow before. I don't know where, but like somewhere before. Yeah, we found the Kinky Amulet there, didn't we? That's what we found. Let's have a quick nap. Get our jumping powers back. And then do some serious launching across the map. 
Oh, forgot to cast the thing. Forgot to cast the thing. Prothman's Barrow, where are you? Apparently it's in the Mosering Mountains. I mean, they're pretty much only over here, so... Maybe the local map will tell us where Hrothmund's Barrow will be. Can't see too much of it over here, but... Like the local... Oh, is that it? No. Yeah, it's okay. We've got a... It doesn't matter if we break a leg. We've got a spare one. How you doing, bro? What are you up to? Sigvatar the Strong. You look pretty far from home, stranger. I am, actually. Oh. Yeah. So, my blunt weapon skill is increasing. Unfortunately, oh. the leg skill is not... Turns out that kicking an enemy by hitting them with someone else's leg is not the most efficient way of winning. Are we going to kill Dagoth Ur by hitting him with a severed Nord leg? Is that what we're going to do? I mean, I'm okay with it. We need this map to be way bigger than it is. Yeah, the Jonglier Barrow. We've found a couple of barrows so far, haven't we? Where the heck is Hrothman's problem? Don't have the arrows, so it's the only thing that feels right now. Just kick them. I'm just constantly searching. That's the Jonglier Barrow. Where is Hrothman's? Goodness me. Northwest, you think? Northwest. We'll try Northwest. God. This is a terrible weapon. Like it's, it's legitimately really bad. I will find the northwest thing, though. You know, I should probably make the map, like, a little bit bigger. There's no reason that I can't have done this before. There we go. That's a bit of a bigger, easier map to read, isn't it? It's, leg it's legitimately a bad weapon. You can't reflect. How do you resist? Stop resisting. Just enchant it with a dumb amount of damage. I think we might need to do that. Right, let's rest until healed. Did you say it's northwest of here? Okay. We can go northwest, that's fine. I'll jump northwest and see what I can find. Now we continue to use the map. I've been there before. We should be in the Mosering Mountains by now. Make the foot drain fatigue so it tires them out. I know what we need to give the foot. Soul Trap. You can hate me, but that is the greatest thing we could give it. We give it Soul Trap. Was this the place? I'm trying to find any kind of entrancey place. Fortify speed and acrobatics. Make it give you a leg up. That could also work. I do need to know where the hell this place actually is, though. Um, it's just weft... 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 Weft off Hrothman's Bane, which has a marker on the world map. Cool. Hrothman's Bane is there. So just west would be kind of north from where we are now, I suppose. God, this place is big. Oh, this is better. I love it when it's like a clear day. Because then you can just do that and see everywhere. And it's lovely. Just west of Frothman's Bane. I don't think we've been around here too much. No, we have not. Was 
was not expecting as long of a stream. Seven and a half hours, neither was I. That was definitely... Hey, Throthman's Barrow, there we go. Just up here. This is the big... The big cheese. The daddy of the Nords. Pop up here. We'll say hi. Oh my god. I totally forgot these guys have Reflect. Let's switch to a weapon that doesn't do that. Oh my god, I hate these guys so much. Heal myself. Twice. Get my weapon back out. Alright. So I'm going to... Hidden Barrow of Hrothmund. That would be up here, then. There he is. Yeah, this is where we found that... We found the amulet. I found the axe there last time, and I tried to interact with it, and I wondered why I couldn't. Now I know. It was part of a quest. It was part of a gosh darn quest. That is a fast wolf. Holy hell. Look at it. Look at it being a speedy boy. Then it died. All right, Rothman's Barrows, pop inside. Sup, Daddy Rothmund? Need to grab your shaft and say that I want to rule in the Mead Hall. You grasp the mighty axe of Rothmund and utter your intention to rule over Thrisk. In answer of approval, Rothmund grants you his blessing. Frost Shield. Sanctuary. I don't know if those are two things that I will always have. Maybe they're permanent, maybe they're temporary. Let's wait 24 hours and find out. They were temporary. But we have still been approved by Hrothmund. He was like, yep, you, you are the party bro now. You rule it. Josh is in his 30s. Isn't he whisking death being awake after 10 p.m.? I don't like what you have said, because there's a lot of truth to it. It's very important that you understand there is truth to it, and you make me sad. But yes. Yes, that is true. It's okay. I will treat myself well. I will have my Metamucil tomorrow. Make sure I have my, my healthy breakfast cereals. And make sure I go for my nice daily walk. All that kind of stuff. I'm kidding. I've got no idea what Metamucil even is. I just know that it's a thing all people eat. And it's a nice word to say. I will sleep when I have become the ruler of the Mead Hall. Allow me to do that first. I will become the ruler of the Mead. Oh, it's you guys! Hey! I'd like you to meet Erna. We have a love my wife would never understand. Oh no, enemies. Oh, what if you got caught in the crossfire of this fight? Oh, what a shame. Can you guys, can you attack? Okay, no, they can't. I thought maybe I could lure that dude to attack the other guys, but you can't do that. Yeah, this, he's annoyingly proud of his affair. That's a good way of putting it. He's like, irritatingly proud of the whole thing. And it's the, it's the irritation that really gets to me. There's the mead hall. Let's just jump over there. Let the lady know. Kill him and tell the wife. The wife was... We're wearing the same hat. Why are you in here? Did you see the size of that beast? Bring your fear. That was horrible, Lusty. I had finally found someone interested in my custom snow bear and snow wolf armor. We're talking about prices, when suddenly this hideous black beast comes up from the ice lake. It killed my customer. Then it went inside the meat hall, and I heard screaming, sound of battles, and the thing came out again. Pierced with arrows, it headed back toward the lake, but it first came back for my customer and dragged off the body. It's simple. If you bring me snow pear pelts and gold, I'll make you a pack custom light snow bear armor. All right, cool, thanks. Uh, appreciate it. What about snow wolf armor? You bring me snow wolf pelts, I'll, uh, I'll have it for you. What were you interested in? 
Uh, nothing right now, mate. Nothing right now. What else you got on you? you got any games on your phone? Yeah, you got stuff, do you? Alright, cool. Pretty... What were you doing while the fight was going on, mate? Just standing in your little pot, selling weapons to no one. Oh, God. Can't take you guys anywhere, can we? Tragic we couldn't marry them. Let's, let's go and hand this person over here. Thrisk. Oh, cool, everyone's here. Good old Berg Yolt. All hail the new chieftain of Thrisk. Just review the mead hall is open again. You're welcome. In the cave she met the beast and cut quite short his evil feast. And when the Odefrek did fall, the chieftain came and claimed his hall. Her hall. You got it right in the first sentence. When she met the beast. You, spot on. You got it there. He's like, it's, it's almost like the, the kind of localization team went, make sure that you understand that players might be playing a, a female character. And then halfway through they went, but they won't. What a stupid idea. All hail the Chieftain of Thirsk, Slayer of the Udefrekt. May the mead flow forever. I know that Rothmund has granted you his blessing, for I could feel it in the air. The heart of the Udafrekt has been placed on the pedestal for all to see, and you, Lusty, are the new chieftain of Thursk, which I will pronounce Thrisk because I've realised I've been pronouncing it wrong the entire time. Ruling the Mead Hall is great work, and I understand you may have business elsewhere. I offer to serve as your advisor and second in command and will oversee the Mead Hall. What about Mead Hall business? As chieftain of Thursk, there are things you may order the clan to do. As your second in command, I will make sure your orders are carried out. Do we order mead from Skyrim? Do we collect the mead hall profits? Or do we send out hunters to kill snow bears and snow wolves and return with their pelts? Order some mead from Skyrim. Do it. Great chieftain, I'll put on the order for the mead. Beautiful. What about my quarters? They're upstairs. I've left a gift by your bed. It's a true chieftain's weapon. Okay, the one with the wolfskin rug in front of the door. We may have actually found uh, a house. It's, the, it's this one here then, the wolfskin rug. And you've left me a gift, have you? Clan bringer. Rally, cast when used, rally humanoid. Sanctuary, fortify personality. That's not a bad little, a bad little sword. It's fun. It's a unique sword. We're never going to use it, but it's a cool little unique design that can make humans like you. You know what? I'm going to open this. Some stuff in there. A candle. Chest of drawers. Clothes. Can I have a nap without you shouting at me? Yes, I can. This. This is home. This is home. However. The clan will remain here. All hail the Chieftain of Thirsk. And therefore... Slayer of the Udefrekt. May the mead flow forever. The sword will remain here as well. That's your sword. Be good with it. In the cave Shut up. Met the beast and, cut and now... I like how they gave you the room with the single bed. Yeah, they, they knew. They knew I wasn't bringing anyone back. I believe now the only thing left to do is to build up Raven Rock. However, to do that, we need more personality. And to do that, we need to make a fortify personality spell. A pretty strong one, in fact. And that will be happening tomorrow. Guys, it's been seven and a half hours of uh, Morrowind. It's been a long stream. I will be streaming tomorrow from four o'clock late into the night. Thank you very much for joining me. I will show you one more time the amazing graphic that I made that I'm really proud of, because... Uh, 
If you type an exclamation mark drink into the chat, you can go and buy some gamer subs using code Josh for 10% off. And I've just contractually mentioned and completed my obligation so I can play this again. Very proud of making that. Anyway, I dare you to do the seven minute move. Oh yeah, some of you are held back for seven minutes, aren't you? Seven minutes of Morrowind lore. Setting a timer. This is your detention. You did say this was going to happen. This is your detention. Morrowind, previously named Dwemereth, Veloth, Redsane, Redania, and Dunmereth, is the nation in the northeast corner of Tamriel and the home of the Dunmer. It is dominated by the large island of Vardenfell and its centerpiece, the ash-spewing Red Mountain, but also includes territory on the continental mainland. The Inner Sea separates Vardenfell from the mainland, and the Sea of Ghosts lies to the region's north. Solstheim, an island in this sea near northwestern Morrowind, has not traditionally been associated with any particular province, though Morrowind had long maintained a theoretical claim to it. The Nords of Skyrim conceded the island to Morrowind in 4E16 following the Red Year, allowing the Dunmer to settle it without contest. Morrowind is the northeasternmost nation of Tamriel, bounded on the north by the Sea of Ghosts, on the east by the Padomake Ocean, and the northwest by Skyrim, on the southeast by Cyrodiil, and on the south by the Black Marsh. Morrowind, Morrowind is the seat of intense volcanic activity that shapes its landscapes. The Velothi Mountains separate Morrowind from Skyrim, and the Velas Mountains separate it from Cyrodiil. As a result of this isolation, Morrowind has developed a unique ecosystem. At the back, pay attention, this will be on the test. Cloud movement shows the province is predominantly exposed to upper-level southerly winds, resulting in a mild, though often hot, climate. Morrowind is mostly free from snow and ice, excluding Solstheim, unlike other parts of Tamriel at the same latitude. Morrowind is composed of the great island of Vardenfell, dominated by the huge Red Mountain and separated from the continent to the west, south and east by the Inner Sea. The mainland and cent of central and southern Morrowind, south of the Inner Sea, the coast of the Velothi Mountains, the Telvani Peninsula and northeast archipelago. The clockwork city created by Sotha Sil, one of the three living gods of Morrowind, exists outside the reality of Nern. Teacher, no. One of you can go to the toilet at a time. And when you come back, then the next person can go. You can't both go at the same time. If you pay attention, we will get the TV out next lesson and then you can watch some cool stuff. Vardenfell, also called the Black Isle, is a large island located inside the bay-like Inner Sea and is surrounded by mainland Morrowind, with the exception of the northern coast, which meets the Sea of Ghosts. The island is dominated by the great volcano Red Mountain. The island itself is named after the original Dwemeri name for the Red Mountain, literally translating to City of the Strong Shield. It is characterized by arid wastes, rocky highlands, and coastal wetlands filled with unusual and unique flora and fauna. In ancient times, the majority of Morrowind, then named Resdane's population, was concentrated in Vardenfell. After the sun's death eruption in 1E668 e made the island largely inhospitable, there was a permanent population shift to the mainland. Most of the remaining population of Vardenfell was confined to the relatively hospitable west and southwest coasts. Before the eruption of Red Mountain in 4E5, the landscape of Vardenfell was diverse, with the grasslands of the Ascadian Isles and the Grayslands, the dry plains of the West Gash, the volcanic crags of the Ashlands, Molag Amur, and the Red Mountain. 
the coastal areas of Azores Coast, the Bitter Coast, Zafrabel Bay, and the Shio Gorad region. The area south of the Narrow Sea is composed of the tormented volcanic coast of Stonefalls and Balfoyen. They lead further south to the fertile Deshan Plains and the marshes that surround Tyr. Most of the modern population of Morrowind is gathered by the high, hilly uplands and rich, fertile river valleys of central Morrowind, especially around the Inner Sea. Stop drawing on the benches, otherwise you will stay behind after class and you will clean it off. Stonefalls is a region situated along the southwestern shore of the Inner Sea. It borders Balfoyen to the east, Deshan to the south, Cyrodiil to the west, the Rift in Skyrim to the northeast, and the Morrowind part of the Velothi Mountains to the north. The region contains the cities of Davon's Watch, Ebonheart, and Cragonmoor. Other notable places include the necropolis of Othrenis and the two great volcanoes, Ash Mountain and Tormented Spire. Stop passing notes between each other. The region's landscape fluctuates from volcanic crags to fertile fields and fungal forests. Balfoyen is a tiny swampy region on the southeastern shore of the Inner Sea, situated between Stonefalls and the Telvani Peninsula. The region contains the town of Dalmara and Fort Zeren. Dashan is the broad southern plain which gradually slopes down into the dismal swamps of Black Marsh. Dashan is a southern region of Morrowind, situated between Stonefalls, Cyrodiil, Shadowfen in the Black Marsh, and the northeastern and southeastern coastal areas of Morrowind. Stop scraping your chair on the floor, please. It's very annoying and it destroys the carpet. I hear that Mr. Hayes likes lady lizards. What I do in my free time is up to me, but while we are teaching, I would appreciate you stay focused on this. We have a lot to learn and there will be a test. House Dress rules the southern sweep of Morrowind, where the fertile Deshan Plain may emerges with the swamps of the Black Marsh. The southeast is a warm coastal plain with broad cultivated areas and marshes and swamps similar to those found in Black Marsh. Southeast Morrowind is flat, wet, and warm. The area around Tyr is much hotter than the Graceland's and is practically Argonian in nature. The west region is mountainous and sparsely populated with a few settlements. The city of Blacklight, a Redoran stronghold, is located at its northern extremity near the Dunmeth Pass. House Redoran guards flank the western of Morrowind. The Nords of Skyrim are still resentful of the land lost in 1E416 and can the bell does not dismiss you i do the telvani peninsula compromises the eastern arm of mainland Mo stop packing away you pack away when i say you can pack away we will get to the end of this page it is compromised of flatlands along the river with a number of secluded clearings between the road and the coast its main settlement is Ald Isra, where the Telvani Magisters occasionally meet. Right, remember that there will be a test tomorrow on all of this, and I expect to see all of you in class at 4 o'clock, because it's Saturdays at 7, Sundays at 4. Note that down, otherwise letters will be going home. Have a good night.